Hello, crypto world. It's your boy, Muddy Mo, aka Mr. Bing. Coming at y'all again with another daily DeFi degenerate update, also known as the DeFi Crypto Show. And today we're talking about how elephant money and Zen is the next level DeFi. Mm, 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 mm. We're going to talk about it. We, hey, listen, listen, listen. I keep telling y'all all the time before we get into a shout out to y'all. Pull on in, bro. It's Saturday. I know some of y'all got your coffee. Y'all just waking up. Y'all fed the kids. Y'all went out and cut that grass. Y'all ready to kick off y'all shoes and just chat. That's what time it is. It's the DeFi Crypto Show. Um, but yeah, so we're talking about elephant money and Zen, how it's next level DeFi. You know, in being such a vet in the space and being around so long, um, we know that you know certain projects come and go, and certain projects, you know, push the mold on what we know to be reality. Um, you know, it just really pushes us up into the next stratosphere of what we're trying to achieve here. Um, the thing is, too, also we're gonna talk a lot about regulations today. Now. OAFC, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about that group, that organization. It's a lot of people on ETH that doesn't know what's going on. You got to be under the umbrella. You're going to get rained on. You got to come get this information. How y'all doing today? Listen, I'm going to give y'all time to pull on in, bro. It's early. Some of y'all kids, I'll take y'all kids to practice. I get it. I get it. However, we don't take days off of making games. Ooh, we don't take those days off making no games. We here every day making games, so... Um, we'll leave a light on for you. Appreciate everybody um, who understands what we're trying to do over here at the DeFi Crypto Show. Um, and I'll just appreciate everybody who has been listening to all the content. We got a lot, lot more content, some stuff that I think y'all going to really like. Money talents. I'm Listen, my talents is starting to 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 rise to the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's starting to, to cream up to the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. Um, so now we're kind of putting that into um, into motion and doing some things that's going to work. Um we got a lot of stuff to talk about in this space as well. Um, what you're starting to see, you know, use it as a pack or, you know, pun intended, or there's a her mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, use it as a pack or her mentality um, in most things. And, you know, when you look at different projects that we got, in our, our, got out in the space, you know, we got to talk about the things that's next level because some things are going to be sunsetted. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be sunsetted. Have you ever, man, listen, we used to let people go all the time like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're just going to discontinue your position you know what I'm saying? in other words other words y'all fine you know what i'm saying so you know some of these DeFi contracts needs to be fine you know what i'm saying like they gotta go um because we got some new stuff coming in and again next level DeFi is what we're here for we're here for most are here for the technology and to make some money but if you don't understand the technology you're not gonna make money you know what i'm saying like you if you don't understand the people's mentalities you're not gonna make money you know what i'm saying so you know it just is what it is um, but so, yeah, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about. My my main thing is it's talking about is ETH centralized and things like that, you know, and connecting it with Zen. Zen is going to be powerful, um, especially being on all these different blockchains. Some of y'all use maybe one, two, three blockchains at the most. Uh, but Zen being, you know, able to jump over multiple blockchains, it's like, you know, what they say is going to last. If, if the world got blew up, we had another world war. What did they say the one thing that's going to last on this earth is going to be? The roaches, you know what I'm saying? Like the roaches, you know what I'm saying? So Zen is like a roach, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't mean it in a bad way, but no, Zen is like a roach, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, is it gave you know, fair lines, everybody got free tokens, everybody got free tokens, it's going to be here, you know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, make it make it sure that we use it to the best of our ability, I think that's key, you know. So, um, we just got some exciting things to come. Um, all right, now. Y'all know how muddy is, man. Listen, take your shoes off. Pull on up, bro. Even if you don't, I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? It's just family. It don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just things we're going to discuss regardless. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it don't really matter. Um, Been looking into some, uh, y'all know, sometimes you go down a rabbit hole. You know what I'm saying? So, man, TikTok, ooh, TikTok, and all these different platforms. You can go down a rabbit hole, right? Um, And... You know, I'm just going down the rabbit hole talking about, you know, extraterrestrials, ETs, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and thinking about all this stuff that, you know, I don't know what you believe. People believe different stuff, right? But, you know, once you see how we are as, as far as technology in our world, you can't help but imagine and understand that we're far, far, far behind other worlds. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all be like, oh, no, we're the only ones that exist. I mean, whatever you believe. I ain't trying to, you know what I mean? Um. 
sometimes when you woke, you can't take those glasses off. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's where we are, you know what I'm saying, right now. Is where some people don't believe. They think we're the only ones out there and this and that and this and that. Um, just know this. You know what I mean? Like, you know, even whatever you believe, just know this. It doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, because if something is or something else is out there in the world, you know, you have to have the best technology to even keep afloat, to even protect yourselves. You see what I'm saying? Um, so some people don't understand that, you know, here in DeFi, it's the same exact things. We're extraterrestrials in the in the e economic world, right? The things that we we see and the things that we're going through, the, the, the way that we're finding ways to find all of us some gains, right? Um, with these smart contracts, it makes us ETs. We're not regular people. Like when you look when you look at the regular world, like if we talk about people, we tell people what we do, we're going to sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like we're gonna sound crazy, right? We are the ETs of the financial world, not just that, um, of also the technological world of how much we know it, right? Um, and that's why I shout out to all the devs that are actually creating new things, right? Because you got different types of devs that make it confuse what people are coming here to get. You see what I'm saying? You have some devs or some dev teams that just want to make money, right? And that's all they are. They're greedy. Um, and not just that, it's just, it's almost stealing in a certain way, right? So you got that set um, of devs. Now, you got another set of devs that want to create things. And this is why we're talking about next level DeFi today. They want to create something that's going to be lasting, right? And this is the bigger picture of things. It's not just about, oh, I made $100, I made $200, I made $5,000, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. You know, the systems that's being put in place is not just for you. It's not just so you can buy a Lambo. You know what I'm saying? It's not just so you can get a Venti uh come on la frappe latte from uh from starbucks that's not why that's not why you do this. you know what I'm saying? this is even broader than i think most people know um but the thing is is creating a way to make things financially stable for a lot of people around the world with what we're doing with this technology bar none you can't be really compared you know so shout out to all y'all pulling up man. i'm see who all in that chat bro it's saturday morning man y'all pull up bro we just chatting today you know what i'm saying it's all good but we're talking about how elephant money is in its next level d5 it's the next level um and we're gonna also compare it to what's going on in some other deep projects so just know that and also we're gonna talk about the big things we're talking about is eth now centralized now as y'all know, Vitala, Vitala been now. I got I got personal feel about Vitala. Ah, <clears throat> first off, Vitala been doing this for how long now? He ain't nobody look here. He a grown grown man. Um, Vitala is, to me has always been under the influence of somebody's thumb, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like he just created to me when he created Ethereum. He was just so young that you know I, I it, it goes without knowing. Like oh, Mark, Mark, this is like Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. Oh. Mark Zuckerberg, does he have da, da, da. no? It's somebody controlling what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. So, you know, over here in what we're doing in ETH right now, you know, we got Ricky fighting cases. There's a Ricky fighting a real case, y'all. He's fighting a real case. Uh, Ricky's fighting a real case on securities, which is gonna mean a lot to what we're doing in our space. It's gonna if Ricky lose if Richard Hart loses that case against the SEC, I think it's in South Carolina or whatever it is. If he loses that case, we're all in a world of trouble. You know what I'm saying? We're up a creek, and it's all full of brown waste. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know, know what I'm talking about. We up that creek. If Hex and Pulse Chain is um, indeed a security, we're, we're in a world of trouble. But this is why, you know, things like Elephant Money and even Zen are better iterations of what Richard Hart tried to create, right? Um, You know, just like anything, you know, there's certain people that's going to take things to the next level. It's certain certain people. Your goal, your your me, your reason for being is for today. Is to set the next generation up to be great, right? And to me, Richard Hart just hasn't done it. He ain't set nobody up. He hasn't taught nobody what he knows, right? Um, he hasn't come through on any kind of promise that he's guaranteed. None of these things. You know what I'm saying? And then all just that. His main project project is now on to me a centralized. Um, chain. So we'll talk more about that. A lot of y'all don't know about. See, that's what we're here for, bro. Pull up, bro. Hit, listen, listen. Pull up. Hit the like. I don't know if they. I doubt if they sent my um, my notifications out. So y'all, please hit that like. Hit that share. And if not, it's just gonna be us, the fam, today. We can talk. You know what I'm saying? We got time today. We got time today. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. One thing I want y'all to know. But while we're talking about all this security and all this censorship, and you know, I explain exactly what that means in just a moment, right? 
OFAC, Office of Foreign Assets Control. OFAC, Office of Foreign Assets and Control. They're in charge of enforcing economic sanctions. Slow down, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is what's going on right now. So OFAC, to be honest with you, OFAC is now um, basically running Ethereum mining. Everything is OFAC compliant. So we'll talk more about that. It's just little things like that. You know what? I just got to get out in the world. You know what I'm saying? It's been on my chest. It's on my heart. I don't know how y'all feeling, but it is what it is. Let me see who pulled up today. Levi pulled up. Said, let go. Levi, I like that. I like that first. I like that. I like that. Look at her and say, here we go. What up, her? How you doing today, money? I'm doing good, her. I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I you know, I do so much DeFi. Sometimes you gotta you gotta take a step back. You know what I'm saying? I got life and all these other things. I got a lot of stuff on my plate. Um, I'm doing good, her. Thank you. Thanks for asking, bro. How you doing? Uh, the main thing here, especially in DeFi, is you know, keeping your sanity when we had a week like last week. Like some of y'all don't know, being in the middle of a bull of a bear market and then being in the middle of, you know. Contracts that just want to leave for no reason when they like, you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of stuff puts you in a, a fuzzy mind state. Like, what am I doing here? You know what I'm saying? Don't you ever ask? That's how, listen, everything in life, you always have to stop and assess, like, what am I doing here? You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to really reassess what, why you're doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, to me, um, you know what I'm saying? like, you can go to, you know what I'm saying? You can go to work and y'all can have meetings. I've had meetings with people for months on end, right? About one subject. And three, four months down the line, it seemed like all the work we did was for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, just it don't mean that. It's just like, what are we doing here? Like, what? Like, what are we? Everybody has to just shake our head. Like, what are we doing? Like, no, you know what I mean? Like, no. Same thing goes over here in DeFi. It's like you know, everybody wants to get into you know, I guess popular contracts. I don't know, but we decide what's popular. But the way that we decide what contracts are going to work and what's popular because the people control it. Yo, y'all know this money model DeFi crypto show. Make sure y'all pull on up, hit that like, hit that like. We control the the destiny of DeFi, right? We control the history books right now. Have y'all ever seen one of the movies where they had a blank book, but the writing starts showing up as things happen? Like they have a time capsule, whatever. Same thing. We write what happens in this play in this book, right? We don't have to sit here and hold ourselves a pr uh, prisoner to certain contracts who's not willing to help us make money. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like that is a choice that people make. We don't have, cause what you're doing is you're wasting time. We are talking about the next level DeFi stuff. We got elephant money, Zen and some other projects that has better tech than this stuff that y'all in. Right. So, you know, being over this specific DeFi degenerate space, me showing, you know, the next level plays, you know what I'm saying? And knowing that we're writing a book as we speak, the key is it comes down to the users. Users in this space always try to make this traditional finance. Let me ask a question before I get going. Y'all know I'm just warming up. Does traditional finance, right? Has it worked? Has traditional finance worked? If traditional finance has worked, and I'm not just talking about, for, oh, it worked for me. No, I'm saying the entire system that we have, even the creation of money and funds and whatever, has it worked? Let's keep it real. It's Saturday. Pull on up. Keep it real. That hasn't worked up for the vast majority of people. 99%, 99 plus percent of the wealth is going to less than 1% of the world. How does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. We So my, my point is this. We can go generation after generation after generation, just copying what the last generation did. Just copying, 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 copying. Thinking, oh, I've done this over here. So... No, 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 no. This is a brand new playbook, a brand new book. It's, it's the, the pages are not filled out. Traditional finance has done it wrong for years. Some of y'all know that. Some of y'all know that. It's made for specific people to win. Over here in DeFi, if you're a part of this, right? If you're active in this community, if you're just willing to think outside the box and be a creative mind, there is room for you. Does that make sense? We got room on the bus. Have y'all ever seen people? It's two buses, right? We go into football games. We had an offensive bus and a defensive bus, right? One year we had way more defensive players than offensive players. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, is it room on the bus? Is it we going to be sitting three to a seat or is it everybody going to have their own role and lay down and go to sleep? You know what I'm saying? Like, so in DeFi, y'all have to understand, you know, we're not going to talk regular things here at the DeFi Crypto Show with Money Mo. Hit that like. 
You know, we different here. We talk about life stuff too. Y'all talk about whatever y'all want to talk about in the chat. We'll pull up on that in just a moment. Um, but we're writing, we're creating a book. That's why I can't let um to me, not just me, me and the good folks over at the Muddy Crypto Movement, we point out the um the ones, the people that could hurt our space. And what I mean by that is is you know, with a pack mentality, we're wasting time that we could be advancing our technology. But I'm going to be real with y'all. The tech is here. It's here already, bro. It's here. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we're going to talk more about these things. Let me check out y'all uh, y'all in the chat. Appreciate you checking on me. Heard? I appreciate that. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to ask me, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's slow down. You know what I'm saying? Oh, money, money, money. Yeah, we're going to, you know what I'm saying? How you doing? How your day doing? How you, how's the family doing? How's the wife? You know what I'm saying? Like, little different stuff, man, you know? Look at Dougie. She said she like my egg, hey, fresh, my duck, a fresh. Oh, what's going on, Dougie? Pulling up on the Saturday like in the building. Just letting y'all know. Ooh, I like that, Dougie. Said my guy shows, um, knows how to fill up my Saturday with this crazy DeFi world. Ricky, right on, Rick, Dougie, right on, Dougie. Yeah, you already know. You already know. Appreciate you pulling up, bro. Look at her and say, doing great. Can't wait to see how the farm launches plays out. Okay, her. Now, let's talk because. They have y'all ever heard the saying that you know there's only two to three chances in life that you really that most people really get to be a hero, and you when that moment comes, it's what you do with that that spot, right? Um, I remember going to school, right? Y'all know I play college football, um, and I wanted to start as a freshman. Yeah, I was cocky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was cocky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I don't care if they're 22 years old. I need to be playing right now. You know what I'm saying? Um. So, you know, long story short, you know, I had to come in and just, you know, prove my worth. You know what I'm saying? And just prove it and prove why I belong to be, you know what I'm saying, in in the, the space, right? Right now, we have an opportunity to to have people and have contracts prove that they deserve our patronage. There's no, oh, because this guy said it, I'm gonna do it no more. There's no, oh, I'm gonna put my money in this farm, right? For six months, eight months. And make these people money and they're giving me injections, right? DeFi does not, injections is not DeFi. If a project, right, is based off of injections, you already lost the war. You're just waiting to lose your money now. It's just going to happen slow. And now you're just waiting on other people to react first. That's why this space, DeFi space, has to be filled with leadership. It can't be filled with the same people that's in traditional finance. In general, people are dumb. You know what I'm saying? People are dumb and impressionable. They want to hear about stupid things, right? We've got a lot of stupid projects right now that just waste people's time and just make devs money. That's all it does. That's all it does. And it's artificially promoted. You know what I'm saying? That's another, that's the biggest thing. Right yesterday, I was on a live, right? That live had 160 people when I pulled up. Right now, we got what? Eight people on. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm just sitting there listening to this live. I'm like, this dude has talked about nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. He's trying to explain one contract, and it's so boring. I'm sitting there like 160 people are watching something on a project that, that he's not teaching y'all nothing new in, right? Y'all sitting here for hours just listening to him just ramble and just spit off this, all this childish, petty stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like all this pack mentality, childish stuff. Hey, guys, you're on our team. We're going to play hide and seek. That kind of talk. So it just showed me how dumb the space really is. Right, we sitting here talking about ways to make people gains in multiple projects. Who's gonna sit up here and tell y'all to only eat rice for the rest of your life? You can't eat no other side, just eat rice. That's what these people are telling you. But you got over hundreds and hundreds of people in this space that don't know um real blood. They don't they they're, they're gonna be followers, right? Uh, just for ex example, when they hear about muddy mo, they're gonna hear about it through somebody else or hear about it because oh, he was so controversial. They not. They're not in a place to accept the knowledge that people like myself have to give to them, right? Because why? They just want to be a part of something. But those type of contracts is ruining our space. We don't have time for people to make a clone, right? And have that clone be spread out for three years. And in that three-year span where that clone is, is just, you know, here, just some, it's not dying, but it's surviving, just enough to keep you in it, right? While that clone is here, what's happening, this is what's happening in our educational system around the world, too. What's happening is you're missing out on the next baby genius, the next baby bank teller that's going to create one of these contracts. It's going to create a way for us to get this contract out into the world to the people, right? We're the crazy people over here. Getting this out to the world is important, 
But the issue is when the world comes here, what do they see? What do they see? If you pull up to, to yours lives and 150 people, you're going to expect a certain quality of live. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? So that's why, now look, right now we got probably less than 10 people on, right? When you pull up here, people use the numbers as an indicator of basically seeing how, how if they should watch or not. Not just that, the algorithm is really, that's why I always tell y'all hit that like. When you hit that like, when you share the video with other people, right, it pushes you to the top of the algorithm. Once Something like the DeFi Crypto Show, once we keep getting pushed down and down and down and down, and then you get blatant people that's, you know, personally trying to push our, what we're doing down and down and down here at the Money Crypto Movement, right? You're going to get a, a few people like y'all. You know what I'm saying? A few smart people like y'all that catch on because y'all looking for the truth. You're seeking it. You know what I'm saying? Your body can't, you can't resist. It's like going towards the light. You know how a fly always just, you, know, you look at this light, the fly just flying around that light. Bzz, bzz, keep buzzing into the light. Before you know it, here you go. Bzz, bzz, bzz. You know what I'm saying? The fly just, uh, you know what I'm saying? The fly is zapped. You know what I'm saying? It can't help it. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. The smart people, you can't help but know that when you have a live like that with 200 people on there and they're not talking about anything to help you. Nothing of influence. They're not even entertaining you. Are you not? They're not even entertaining. They're boring. You know what I'm saying? How, they, how are you going to have to have one of them, too? Are you going to teach me something or you're going to entertain me? You got to do something. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, you can't. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? You got to pick a, pick a choose a side. Either way, next level DeFi is what's important. Ain't nobody about to sit here and keep arguing with these people about how bad their stuff is. They know it. If you don't know it, now it's on you. It's not on them no more. You know you're not making money in certain projects in the space. You know we're wasting time. We're wasting time. That's the most valuable asset. We're wasting time. People think they're making money and they're not making anything. Oh, Tay, let's talk about him. She just talking about Dougie said, if XRP loses their case, crypto would be in a bad place. The corruption between the ETH Foundation and the SEC head before Gary uh, Gensler uh, took over the job is absolutely insane, and Gary is no better. Let's talk about it, Dougie. Now, I don't really jump into XRP often, but this is you. This is huge news. I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah, so XRP has been in the middle of this. I don't know how many, how long has it been going on? Years. Oh, my God. XRP to us just wants us to be regulated so badly. Oh, God. Now, I know why they want to do it, but, you know, over time, and you got a lot of people that love XRP, but at the same time, XRP, what it is, it's still crypto, and it is not a security, all right? Um, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we just got to make the government think that, you know? Um, but yeah, so the ETH Foundation is very corrupt. Y'all got to, y'all got to think, bro. Money, y'all know I got a good heart, bro. I got a, got a good heart, bro. I'm a good person, bro. It is what it is, bro. I like good people and I like telling people the truth about things, bro. What have I been telling y'all about Ethereum? What have I been telling y'all about Ethereum? It's corrupt. If Ethereum's corrupt, y'all favorite projects on Ethereum, is that not corrupt? I'm sitting here looking at Zen. I'm looking like, look at all these idiots. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just love getting to, into corrupt stuff, just like the stock market. Y'all think the, uh, the stock market and what these, these companies report is factual, actual? Heck no. It's corrupt. To be real with you, we're probably the most um, non-corrupt financial sector in the world right now. Think about where we are in DeFi. We are the decentralization even though we have bad actors right once we figure them out and, and get them out of here right we have the best technology when it comes to fairness in the world so it, it really perplexes me when people come over here and try to turn us into what something that already exists huh i don't need an, a, a, another fruit that it tastes like an apple smell like an apple and, and look like an apple i don't need that give me the the, the 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 muddy uh, fruit over here that's gonna have a completely different taste, a completely different smell. It might be um, it might be it might <laughs> it might have some um some hallucinogenics in there. You know, what I'm saying? it might take us to be on a little trip. You know, what I'm saying you never know, but you don't know. Like right, you know, what I'm saying like how do we know things in this world where everything wasn't meant to be eaten? Somebody had to taste it first. So right now in DeFi, I don't want some people to get this discouraged. Right, we we're tasting things first. We're just the first to really create this system to create a fairer world. That's deeper than all y'all. Some of y'all got some little petty. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than all that. But thank you, Dougie. Uh, but yeah, the correct the, the corruption between the East Foundation and SEC, hey, before Gary Gensler um took over the job, is absolutely insane. Yeah. Uh the SEC, it the SEC working with Ethan, working with it, like it, 
it's going to put us in a weird spot and everybody think, oh, they got all the money. They got all the money. I'm sorry. Who cares if they got all the money? How did they get their money? Let's talk. We in DeFi. Let's talk. How did all these traditional finance people get their money? Be real with you. I come from nothing. You know what I'm saying? I come from nothing. So I see things differently than most of y'all see it, right? I know. I don't listen. My people ain't. I, I am the end of the road. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing to give me. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. A lot of these people, you know, through nepotism and other ways are in their positions right now in traditional finance. I mean, y'all, so y'all want to be like a follower, right? Because a lot of these, especially these kids are spoiled kids, right? Um, They don't have creativity. Why would they need it? Huh? They having chefs and maids and, you know, lawn care and all that. They, what, what will make these people think? You know who the best thinkers are? The people that's in poverty. The people who have little, right? The people that's hungry. This is why I, I talk against centralized influencing here in DeFi because I don't stop telling people y'all got everything in the world. This is not it. It's not it. Oh, I got a couple million dollars. I'm real good compared to how I used to be. Are you comparing yourself to how you used to be? Or are you comparing yourself to the person you could be? That's the key to what we're doing here. It's what we can be. It's not what y'all, oh, what we're saying. I'm making a little money. I'm a little money. A little money. Right. You're going to be behind in money forever. And y'all not catching nobody in no money. That's traditional, right? And half of this, if you real old, half you over here because you don't, you can't figure it out over there. You know what I'm saying? So you come over here with us. You know what I'm saying? And you want to be with the creatives. Cool. But you got to allow yourself to, this is the big thing. You have to allow yourself to let your mind be changed. Some of y'all, right, don't allow yourself to let new information come in. Just like, Ricky! This is why I don't like Ricky, like personally. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, his personality, him and I wouldn't get along. And we're the same sign, but it's weird because we're polar different. We're totally different when it comes to things like that. You know what I'm saying? I care so much about the other person, and Ricky doesn't seem to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it just, you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Let me stop. Y'all know I ramble all day. Let me let me check out that. Appreciate your comment, her. Y'all know, I, I mean, uh, Dougie, y'all know I go off, bro. Y'all know how it is. Um, yeah, her, see, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We're trying to come over here and change lives. And these people come over here acting like they already rich, her. This was making me mad, right? These people and all these other projects. I'm not even naming no names. They don't deserve no light. We're talking about the Elephant Money Farms today. We're talking about Zen. We're talking about, you know, even Furio. We're talking about things that work right now. We're not talking about nothing that worked in the past, right? But her, this is why it's deeper, right? Traditional finances work for 1% on the top. That's it. That's it. One out of 100 of y'all. Right, you know what I'm saying? So one out of 100 people that was on that, that live last night with your, you know what I'm saying? One out of 100 of them is going to be really wealthy. You know what I mean? DeFi doesn't have to be like that, but you got people that's trying to keep it like that, right? They don't know how to handle wealth. The only thing they've seen, the only thing they've seen is bad stewardship of funds or bad stewardship of economic systems in wherever you're from around the world, whatever economic system you're in. That's all they've seen. So that's what they're trying to mimic, Right? When people want you to be stupid, when people don't want you to read write papers, right? When people just want you to put your money in something and believe in that person because they say it, right? How is that any different from what you've left in traditional finance? How? You might as well stay in traditional finance. It's more regulated. That's obviously what you want. So people just got to know what they get into when they come over here. Thank you, Herb. Yeah. We tired of, like, listen, ain't no top 1% over here. You know what I'm saying? And it is. We're trying to figure out ways to stop it. In real life, wills are never stopped. Wills are just built, continuously built in a broken system. Does that make sense? So the Waltons, right, they got 13, all these kids that's going to be heirs. Heir, 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 right? What did them kids do? It's just like kings and all that, the, the different feudal systems back in the day. What did they do? And eventually, one of those kids are going to be crazy. One of them kids are going to be um. You no, know, a drug addict gonna, gonna throw it off, gonna blow the money. One of them kids not gonna know. You see what I'm saying? So it's gonna, gonna have a problem down the line. Right now, all I'm trying to say is, is that passing things down is great. I think we all want to be in that position, but the the vast majority of us is not in that position, right? So we got to figure out a ways in using DeFi to make sure that we can take care of our families too. It's not just about the, the top one percent. They people try to come over here and act like the one percent and be the one percent, right? And hurt us. They don't care. They don't care. Um. Oh, look at her. I see you heard. He said, You got one shot. You know what, I'm saying? Ooh, what you know about that, her? When you capture it, let it slip. Right. 
Look, look at her. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> you know what I'm look at that. Look at that. Listen, this these these elephant money farms is coming up. It's mom spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? You got one shot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? What you gonna do with it? I like that her. I like that her. Shout out to y'all, man. Um, yeah, I keep talking to that chat. We're gonna get to um to the to the business in just a moment. Look at her say, with uh, waiting for an injection is like you're a baby bird sitting in a little nest hoping you get fed. That's not the position I want to be in. Right, her? Right. Right. What are we doing? Somebody got to, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, somebody has to stop the, stop the music. Hey, 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 ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, wait, wait, ho. Oh. You're telling me I, I put my money into a DeFi contract, decentralized finance, to not have people's hands in what's going to happen, to have a smart contract. Basically earn me rewards based on how it's constructed and built. That's not a con a smart contract when somebody's injecting something. That's somebody's physically trying to uh, to change something. Have we not seen em enough systems where people are physically trying to change something and it doesn't work? Because why? Because they're greedy. It's the same thing goes. But people think DeFi is so much different. These guys don't know what they're doing. They're not smart enough to understand what they have in their hand. They have vibranium, right? They're not even making a shield out of it. They're making a, a, a something that you don't even need, a, a, a pocket calculator with the vibranium. They don't even care. Right? They don't care. They rather us live in squalor so they can, you know what I'm saying? Like it just is what it is. Um, but so you just have to know where you are, you have to know, you know, what's going on. Look at D pulling up. What's that D? D pulling up on a Saturday. What's that D? Yes, sir. Look at Doug. He said, I don't think I truly understand tribalism until I got into crypto. Yep. And how bad Bitcoin maxis are. But if we want mainstream crypto. Do we need XRP? We just do. I agree with you, Dougie. And this is, you know, the problem, Dougie, the XRP, um, it's just like, and I say this all the time, it's just like when credit cards came out. Let's even go back before that. Think about going back to, what, the 50s, 40s, when checks first came out, right? Um, You know, people didn't know what to expect from it, right? People didn't know, you know, oh, I'm not, you know, people are always going to say no until it becomes natural. You know what I'm saying? Until somebody steps out on the limbs like, well, I'm going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then it changes. Same thing goes over here in D5. There's so much tribalism. You see it in Drip. You see it with Bitcoin. You see it with all these other communities. This tribalism stuff, and it doesn't even make sense because you know what, Dougie? It's all grown men. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, it's grown amen. I, I never knew grown men wanted to just be followers up under something and then something that's not even healthy for them. It's not healthy to be up under somebody else you know to be a somebody who is not going to lead you to, to the promised land. Let me just put it like that. But yeah, Dougie, we do need XRP to work. Um, Cause I'm going to be real with you, Dougie. If S SRP is not a security, they're going to leave us alone. You know what I'm saying? They, they, let's get it on the books. Let's get it down. Write that down on paper. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You can't, Listen, I ain't even listen to you. Give me that writing. You got to give me that writing. You know what I'm saying? So what XRP is essentially doing with this case is, is getting it in writing that all of crypto is not securities or most of crypto won't be a security and that we can just freely make money. You know what I'm saying? So basically, yeah. So that's why you're saying SRP's need. I think, Dougie, but yeah, I, I agree with you on that. It's needed for that. Um, We just got to make it happen. Look at D said, they scam the hell out of people. Right, D? It's easy. It's just, we, we, listen, it don't take no rocket scientists to see what's going on. Yeah, it's a lot of scams. But now nah, we're going to talk about... A, a farm today that's lossless. It should be, it could be coming out today. You never know. It could be coming out live. You never know. But we're going to talk about a farm today that's lossless. And permanent. That means no impermanent loss, right? No fees to get in. Um, And you control it. It's permissionless. What? And it, you just put your money in and you make more money. Well, I don't know. And you get your money back, your principal back when you want it. You you can you're not gonna be able to find something to compare to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care what you go ahead. Good. Let, let, I'll wait and I will be more than happy to hear you out. But it just is what it is. Um oh see D, here you go with that zodiac D. Okay, okay. The year you was born and that zodiac sign matters. Oh, okay, got you, got you. D, you have to tell me a little something about that zodiac. I don't really do the zodiac stuff, but I'm interested in knowing. I like like information. So you know it don't matter if it's, it's you know, I, I just like knowing stuff. I need to, I want to figure out more about that. Look at V-Double. What up, V-Double? Double up on Randy V. D v said, I'm going to double up on it. Ooh, I like that V. I like that V. said, tell it, Mo. You're allowed to ramble. So, right? right on, right on, V-Double. And also, this is the DeFi Crypto Show, but this is a podcast, y'all. Hit that like first off. Hit the like. This is a podcast, y'all. So it can go any old kind of way. That's why I say I, I feed off energy of people. You know what I'm saying? Like some, you know, some influencers feed off of numbers, which is really great. Some 
you know, people feed off of educating, which is awesome. Some people feed off of just making money. To me, I feed off of y'all energy. This is the people show. You know what I'm saying? This is the people show, bro. This is for us. So it is what it is. Appreciate you, V-Double. V-Double, V-Double. I like doubling up, V-Double. Ooh, I like doubling up. Look at Nakamoto. He says, salute, MCM. What's that in Nakamoto? He say, Muddy, once OFAC starts to blacklist our ETH wallets for messing with contracts, it will get real and we'll lose our... That's for the people in the back, Nakamoto. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to turn the music up so they can hear it. Let me turn it to the left. Or is it to the left, to the right? To the left. No, it's to, how you turn it up? To the right, to the left. One of them. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? Righty, tight, left, music. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? Nakamoto, exactly right. We could be in a world of trouble. This is why Richard Hart, I'm going to have to have a whole show about how Richard Hart, while he thought he was helping the space, he could be terrorizing and ruining the space. And especially his shenanigans that he's got going on right now and holding his, all this money, that's going to hurt us even more. It's not going to help. But Nakamoto, I think you bring up something that's very, very dear to us in DeFi, and it's something that we have to strongly think about. Once OFAC starts to blacklist our ETH wallets, right, which they could, for messing with contracts, it will get real and we'll lose our freedom. Do y'all know what that means? Y'all know what he's saying? He's saying what OFAC can do, right, financial affairs, all that, what they can do is if you mess with a smart contract and you make 10x gains, or if you mess with a token and you get 100x gains, you could be blacklisted without not without any prior knowledge. Just blacklisted. Anybody ever got their bank account taken? It's like that. You feel so naked and dirty and alone. You know what I'm saying? I'm not lying to you. You feel cold. You know what I'm saying? You feel, just hold me, hold me. That's how you feel. You know what I'm saying? This is what's gonna. This is what we're at risk of right now. You know why? We just talked about the one percent. Because the 1% that hasn't figured this out, we have better tech. That's why we don't have time to waste playing with people, with their little projects, with their clones, and their injections. We don't have time for that. We have real DeFi. We have to make sure the world, if they see something, it's the real DeFi. Not this. Not, not this. Nakamoto, you're exactly right, though. The Blacklist Wallet, that's, a, that's the biggest fear. That's the biggest... You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest drop we could ever have. Like, that's the biggest hard drop we could ever have. And it could come at any moment. And that sucks. It sucks. Now, let me say this. This is the problem I have with Ethereum. Ethereum has a lot of things in the background. The Ethereum Foundation has a lot of corruption that's going on, bro. If you don't know it, just trust Muddy. I'm not going to. Y'all know how my, my Muddy not going to lie to you. This now, you got to look at projects like Zen. And look at projects like Elephant Money. You're not going to get this nowhere else but the DeFi Crypto Show. Hit the like. It's a Saturday. We up. We talking things. We're going to talk about some money in just a moment, right? You have to look at cryptos like Elephant Money and Zen, right? What makes them more significant than, say, a Hex? What makes them more significant? What, what's your favorite token? Bitcoin, even. What makes them more significant? I'm going to be real. It looked like, it looked like, we don't want this to get political, but it looked like, is CZ, which is, you know, Binance, which is of an Asian, you know what I'm saying? From the Eastern part of where I should say. You got CZ with Binance Smart Chain. You got Ethereum getting all these, oh, all this, all this SEC and this and that, and affairs and not, all of that. I'm going to be real with you. I think BNB and CZ is protecting us from that. See, this is why I, I try to tell people, too, you have to diversify yourself. Don't be all on ETH blockchain, because, and especially if you're older, you're going to stay on ETH because that's where we started. But forget all that stuff where you started. Forget all that, bro. BNB, y'all tell me if I'm wrong. If you talk to me in that chat. BNB could save us from all this ETH stuff no matter what happens on ETH. You hear what Nakamoto just said about the ETH contracts? If that can happen, first off, we're getting gypped. So in real life, we're used to getting taxed a lot and we used to getting gypped just is what it is right we're getting gypped with ethereum um miners period point blank we are um we got all these other things going on it's slow it's not the best technology as far as a blockchain i'm talking ethereum it's slow you know what i'm saying it was the first one cool i don't want the first car ever made you know what i'm saying like i'm it, cool you know what i'm saying it's, i'm glad it happened you know what i'm saying leave it there you know what i'm saying put it in a, a put it make a statue of it and let it sit over there I don't want to drive the first car ever. I want to drive the newest car that has the most technology. That's what we're doing now over at BNB, and that's what these smart contracts. Zen is on BNB. It's on Eve Two, but it's on BNB. Um, Elephant Money is on BNB. 
some of you ETH heads got to think a little bit differently, bro. The times have changed. And if this OFAC stuff is real, if it goes through, y'all in a world of trouble. You might already. Nah, nah, nah. It could be retroactive because you might already be in trouble. It's the blockchain. Let's think about what we're talking about now. The blockchain is, it, you can always go back and see that. You know what I'm saying? So you might already be in trouble. I don't know. All I'm trying to say is, is in DeFi and what we're trying to do to make gains, we have to make sure that we're looking at projects or tokens like um, BNB with all these structures behind it. And that's made sure that they're trying to keep the, uh, um, they're trying to keep crypto crypto which basically means keep decentralization decentralization that's a big deal it's a big deal all right let me hurry up and keep going appreciate y'all man appreciate y'all we're gonna get into it in just a moment dude we got more stuff to talk about look at dougie he say me i would take um your do your research and giving up any regulation i know um the u.s government are going to get it wrong especially with the greedy ftx scale. yeah i ain't even gonna talk about ftx today um wanted to destroy DeFi all by itself yep um it's going on as we speak yeah yeah Ah, um, it. The, I think Doug, you got a good point here. It's the type of regulation the U.S. is going to get it wrong. Exactly, you know why? Because the financial systems that they understand don't work like this. It's not fair like that. So, they, how, wait, wait, wait a minute. Give us that. We're going to give us the money until we figure out how to make sure that we can make it fair for us and then make it. That's what it feels like. Um, and I'm just. They get too much wrong, Dougie. Now, let me say this. I'm going to tell you this real quick. This is kind of connected. Y'all know how I kind of go off sometimes. This is DeFi Crypto Troll with Money Mo. Hit the like. They got it wrong. The U.S. government gets things wrong. Guess what? The, guess where it starts from, though, Dougie? I'm just going off on my soapbox. Guess where it starts from? It starts from the education system. It starts from colleges. Let me talk about it. Now, let me talk about money. I'm just talking about me because I don't. people get in their feelings, right? I went to college. I was smart enough to go, of course. Y'all know, y'all know I know dumb, you know what I'm saying? I went to college because I had a physical gift. Physical gift. Really good at it. That's cool. But that's essentially why I went to college. Everybody I went to school with, all my peers, most of them, none of them had an opportunity to go to a university straight out of high school. You know why? It wasn't about their talent level. It wasn't about what they knew. It wasn't about, you know, none of that. You know what I'm saying? How good they could adapt. They were some of the smartest people you'll ever find. You know why? It's because of who they were born into, what family they were born into. That's what it came down to. And in this world, you got to understand something. Again, I said this earlier. The most creative people are the people who make something out of nothing. They use the other part of their brain, right, that spoiled people don't have to use. So right now, what's happening in society, we're looking at – um. A, a, a big, big issue, a, a, a big wall that we've put up because of all these systems that we put in the, the false education that we give these kids and then how we separate rich from poor. Like that means something. Because a lot of these rich people, again, they don't have that part in their brain that is going to keep the world moving forward, right? They don't have a desire to fulfill a need of the world. They just want to keep their money. That's what it comes down to. And I'm being honest with you. So, again, it comes all the way down from a system, right, where you got schooling that is used as a way to keep certain people out of certain professions. Let me tell you this. You got some kid in the projects right now. There's a, there's a mom in, in all these different apartments. They call them apartments nowadays. Y'all know, ooh, you really don't have to do apartments. The projects are the most apartments, right? You got people in them apartments right now. They can heal any sickness that you have. You know why? You know why? Because they didn't have a choice. They didn't have the money. They didn't have a copay to get in the ambulance. They didn't have anybody figuring things out for them, right? So right now, we're putting our futures in the hands of people who have money to go to college. So that's already the top, what, 5%, 10%? You might get an extra 5% in just because they don't want to make it seem weird, right? So you got all these rich kids. Oh, I want to be a doctor. You know how stupid I look at somebody right now talking about they want to be a doctor or a lawyer? I was like, what are you talking about? Are you dumb? Why? We are not in the 80s. We are not in the 90s. Y'all mama and them, how they thought and what they thought was important is not important. Back in the day, doctors was at a premium. You know why? Because we didn't have the technology to fix people. So they could get sick, they just die, right? So the doctor was the main person. He could, he could keep mama and them alive for another two more years. You see what I'm saying? That was a big deal back then. Right now, everybody, what's, what's the first thing you do if something's wrong with you? If you, you ain't feeling away, what's the first thing you do? You're going to Google it. We have the tech that's caught up to that profession. That profession is not needed as much. It's not. 
Doctors aren't needed for real. You need specialists. You need surgeons. That's what's needed now. But these kids don't realize this, right? So the issue, let me go to my next point. The issue is, is our society is not promoting, or most societies, I should say are. If you're on the East too, it's like this too. Most societies are not promoting these kids to get more creative and to learn and think outside the box. You're trying to make them conform to something. I had ADD. Still got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't sit still for nothing. You got to make sure I'm, it's got to be lit. That's why I'm always, listen, that's why I talk like this, because I got to stay lit. I can't, I used to fall asleep. I can't, I, listen, if it, and then if I'm, I was, I knew certain things too. You know what I'm saying? So if I know it, I'm going to sleep on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. All I'm trying to say is this. The way things go in this current society and what we deem as important or popular is not what it seems. Right now, we, we have the most creative people. You know what they're doing? They washing dishes at IHOP. You know what they're doing? They working at the mall. You know what they're doing? They working a second job at Amazon. All this talent, right? In this, whatever country you at, all that talent is not being used. Why? Because this system is meant to keep certain people rich and certain people not rich. We cannot allow DeFi to do that. We can't. And it's personal to me. Because I know I wouldn't have went to school. Everybody all the time, hey, man, I went to the military. I would have too. I ain't, bro. Listen, listen. And again, and I don't even want to tell y'all what I got on my ACT, SAT. I am not no dummy. By a long shot. It don't matter where I'm from. I'm not no dummy. So you got to think. If a person like money, I wouldn't be in front of y'all right now if I couldn't play ball. Can you, can you, does that make sense? So all this wasted talent is going over, going on in the world because of the systems that's created. So we can't ask these systems to come into DeFi and help this. They're going to break it. Is what it is. Got my hands up. You can believe all you want to believe. It's a fact. It's a fact. And some of y'all feel crazy because you went to college. No, 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 Cool. Good for you. I know people who are smarter than you and, and couldn't go. And now they're doing remedial jobs and their talent is being wasted doing nothing all day, scrolling all day. You know what I'm saying? Doing lame people stuff. Let's talk about it. All right, let me keep moving, y'all. My bad, my bad. Y'all know how I get, bro. I had to get on my farm because some people, and this gets me mad because some people, oh, you need to pay your loans back. What? What are you talking about? Privileged boy? Pay your loans back? So I got to pay $120,000? This is how you, this is how, I ain't going to use the S word. But y'all, right now, it don't matter. What, it don't matter what color you are. It's all about money. You're a slave or you're not. That's it. You're slave or not? Come on. Come on, work. No. You got to work a double so you can pay your rent. You, that's not enough. You got to work to live, right? We don't. We were born into this, so you good. And our kids do nothing but eat bagels and, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, living a life of luxury, drinking $10 coffees in the morning, right? Our kids are going to be the ones that are going to be the ones that's smart enough to, to lead you guys. They're going to be the scientists. They're gonna, ones that, they're gonna be the ones that's healing you, right? They're gonna be the ones that, that help us use the technology we have to, to expand to another place. Is that what y'all trusting? Y'all trusting rich, rich kids for that. This is what we're turning into. This is why DeFi, this is why I'm so, some of y'all, I don't always go into the specific reasons on why I feel so, so strongly against these people who are trying to turn the DeFi space into something else. I feel strongly about that. They don't know what they're doing. They have no clue. They just want to make money, and that's sad. There's a lot of ways to make money out here. You know what I'm saying? And you rather keep the world behind so you can make a couple of dollars. And then a lot of people. It's weird. Uh, all right, let me hurry up. Dougie said the, X, the reason XRP is needed um, is most people won't, will not be involved in crypto. And XRP is just makes all transactions happen instantly over ledger instead of days um, instead or even weeks. Right, Dougie. Now, um, let's talk. Let's talk while we're here. Um, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? But I think we're on the other side. I'm on the other side as to you. Um, I, don't think, I don't think we need XRP to make traditional finance easier. I don't think I think just like the big jump that people had to go from using cash into using a, a, a check and to then using a debit card, I think you have to, I think you have to just pull off the Band-Aid. I don't think, that's why I don't like XRP because I don't like teaching people how to stay lazy in an old system. We don't need, XRP can help a bank do an overseas transaction in less than three weeks. Cool. Great. It can do it in seconds, honestly. Cool. That's great. But are we not just burying in bad habits with the same people and keeping the same people rich. That's why XRP, it, it is DeFi, but it's, I mean, it is crypto. But to me, for what you just said, I agree with you on that. I just don't agree that that should happen. Forget, I'm sorry. My grandma, you know what I'm saying? My mom and them, boom, with all them, they're going to look to me anyway. I, 
They're looking to me for the answers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need XRP to make the, the old world easier for them. You know what I'm saying? We need them to understand the new world. You know what I mean? Like, you know how many boomers right now? Um, shout out to all my boomers. It was how many boomers right now. My mom and them, they just hated to say that they use technology. Uh, mother, help me, help me with this. Do this, do this for me. Mama, it's Google. Uh, do it for me. I don't know how to do all the technology. That's what they keep saying. That's all they say. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to use all that. But she making posts. You know what I'm saying? Facebook and whatever. You know what I'm saying? All I'm trying to say is this. All I'm trying to say is this. We can't feed lazy um, government officials, and we can't feed lazy people by making the world that they know um, faster. If you made uh, swaps between banks faster, why don't we just, we already got swaps over here that's faster than right now, right? And people can control their own money. We don't want people to have their money controlled by them. So uh, that's the only reason I, and then, Dougie, to me, XRP coming into the gate, that's why I didn't like them off the gate. I'm like, y'all just want to have a regular world use this. And that's cool, but I want to create, we want a whole new we're gonna create a whole new world. We don't. There's no reason to do that. Eric NYC, what's happening? He's like, in the building. I see you, big dog. My bad, I'm late, y'all. Let <laughs> me hurry up. Look at uh, uh, hers. Like, good vibes, good vibes. Yes, sir. We talking today. We talking today. Now we still gotta talk into the defi stuff. Don't think we just getting we just getting warmed up. You know what I'm we just getting warmed up. Don't don't. Mm -mm. Look at Doug. He says it's all about speed and cost. Fast pay worlds cost of fast pay. Doug, now you. I like that, Doug. Dude, that's definitely get some money more. Bing, oh, that's exactly, Dougie. It's all about speed and cost. Exactly. Exactly. The fast-paced world calls for fast-paced technology. Not somebody injecting you. Not somebody making you go through this thing and this thing and this thing. And this. That's not, that's not fast-paced technology. That's ways to keep you dumb and keep them rich. I like that, Dougie. I like that. I like that. Let's see. Let's see. Dougie said, Wonderboy Ray, um, who is Run one of Ray Ray. <laughs> Show his love of that hostage holding. Right. Ransom talking. Straight farm lion food. Right. right, Dougie. This little dude is not smart enough to lie to y'all. I'm sorry. Let me put it like that. Because I gotta uh, now I gotta challenge y'all intellect. Is he smarter than y'all? Is he smart enough to tell y'all that y'all don't know what y'all seeing right here? It's weird. Like what, I said, but, but he has look, I got what? How many people on right now? Ten, eight, hundreds of people be on. Go listen back to it. I'm, I hate, I hate, don't, don't lift this algorithm up. They don't need it. They, they bomb anyway, right? Hundreds of people are sitting here listening to nothing. This is what's happening in the real world, right? This is why it's less than 5% of us who will even know what's going on. Half the world is scrolling, scrolling right now. They, they can be listening right now. They, they scrolling, doing nothing. They're just being entertained all day. That's what Ray and them is doing. They're entertaining y'all with nothing until they just take all your money. That's it. It's weird. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Y'all know I get on my soapbox. All right, let me hear up. CZ uh, doesn't seem phased by government pressures like the U.S. He was doing business with Iran despite U.S. sanctions. Right, Hurt? Listen, listen. I think differently. I think differently. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. I don't, I don't know who the bad guys are anymore. I like CZ. I like what he's doing. Y'all know my, one of my favorite movies is um, Avengers, right? You know what my favorite character was? I know some of y'all ain't gonna like it. Thanos. Thanos my favorite character, bro, by far. I, listen, listen. We like Thanos in this house. We like Thanos in this house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be real with you. They couldn't, they couldn't do nothing with Thanos. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be real with you. Who are you telling me who's the good and the bad guy? The U.S., all these people who are in eat hate B and B. They think it's some kind of scammy China, da, 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 all this political stuff that don't mean a dang old thing. When CZ don't care about what none of these people think, we know the world needs this, right? Just like in uh, Black Panther, who y'all think? Oh, we love T'Challa, T'Challa. Man, forget T'Challa. You know what I'm saying? Forget all that. You know where I'm from? Killmonger was a star of that movie. You can't tell me who the star was. I I was hoping he killed T'Challa. You know who he was talking about helping? Yeah. I ain't, going, I ain't going there today. He talking about helping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was a difference. But some of y'all didn't see that movie like that. Some of y'all seen, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 no. You know where I'm from? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. We ain't, we not. Anyway, y'all know, know I'm going with that. That's, it, CZ doesn't seem face hurt. And that's important. That's important, bro. That's why I like what Elephant Money is in. Like, bro, no, we ain't got to be on Ethereum. No. Why y'all? What, what are you doing? No. Look at her and said, Muddy, I'm a high school teacher. I'll tell you more than half the material I mandated to teach is completely useless to these kids. Honestly, it's like the system that wants to keep people down. Hurt, 
you you deal with these kids. I had a career once upon a time where I dealt directly with kids too. Let me tell you something, Herb. You work in a high school, you see it, and you know this just moving moving cattle. Most of these kids don't have a chance, Herb. And the biggest thing beyond that is they the schools, you're a teacher, so you probably know this. The schools, this is the problem with the schooling system in the Western world. They only teach you about college. That's it. Go to college, go to college, go to college. And that's not what these kids are going to no. Half of these kids need to be working with their hands. Half of these kids can be welding, building stuff. It's different stuff to do. The education system gives me a, a big, it's a big, I have a big issue with the herd. You know why? Because it's not setting these kids up to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem, herd. You know, as a teacher, you know that. It's not setting these, not to work. It's not setting these kids up to be creative and do something with their lives more than just um, slack. You know what I'm saying? And then they find ways to get through high school and they find ways to get through their jobs. They turn it to the people that do half the work just so they boss, just, just to make sure they boss is pleased and then go on about their day. You see what I'm saying? They don't care about nothing. So, yeah, bro, the, man, the material that we use is useless to these kids. What are we talking about? Why did not I learn to define school? Why don't we know how to do taxes? Why don't we know how to have kids start businesses? Why don't we know how to get kids uh, grants on how to um, be creative and start different things? Why is when you look at TikTok, it's all this um, rando dancing, stupid thing. Oh, everybody got to dance now. Everybody, one, two, everybody, grandma want to do a one, two step dance that don't mean a damn thing to nobody. Y'all watch it too. You know what I'm saying? Twerk videos, whatever y'all watch. Y'all know I ain't lying. It don't make no sense. DeFi is, bro, it's a need. But yeah, yeah, thank you for saying that, Heard. It's broken, man. The, the systems, these systems are broken, but we can't allow the DeFi systems to be broken too. All right, so I'm almost done through this. Some of y'all like, oh, come on, buddy, get to it. I'm going to get to it just a second. Saturday, chill, bro. It's just, we got time today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, drinking y'all coffee. I ain't got nothing going on. Uh, Dougie said, people don't want to help themselves. I've tried to help broke ass people with mad debt. And they would rather stay in a situation with kids than listen to see what I'm doing. It's crazy. Dougie, Dougie, you know what made me so mad? Because I'm, I'm right with you. You can't tell these people nothing, can you, Dougie? They got kids, and that's what make you mad. Why are you not listening? What? You don't sit there and talk about your other money. You got kids? Huh? You sit there talking about this hostage farmer. You got kids? Do you know what you're doing? You're not even going to look at what we're doing over here? Like, it's, it's, it's crazy, Dougie. It's crazy. It's like... Sometimes we feel like we the crazy ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm not, are you dumb? You're not going to look at what I'm doing? I'm making money. I can help you. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. All right. Go clock in. You know what I'm saying? Go. <sighs> hey, your kids running the street because you ain't got, whatever. What up? Fly, fly, pulling up. He said, hey, family. Super pumped about the upcoming Elephant Money Farms. It's happening this Sunday or Monday. Oh, you putting dates on the fly? I ain't put no date on it yet. I ain't put no date on it yet. Shout out to you. Um, Doug said, you cannot help who don't want to be helped. Look, you can bring a horse to water, you can't make them drink. People do not want to learn that there is a better money system that could change their lives for generations. I deal with people talking crazy every day about crypto. Exactly, Dougie. Exactly. But what would happen if we gave up, Dougie? This is the thing. What would have happened if Muddy didn't have y'all on this morning? We got a couple people on, right? What's half the people y'all know doing? What they doing right now? What they doing right now? You know what I'm saying? What are they doing right now? Why are they not? places like here learning something that can help them get more money or get their lives better right they just won't listen dougie so we gotta it's the, the problem is we gotta get rich so then they'll listen that's how that's how it works this world in the education system shout out to you heard for that comment earlier the education has created a monkey see monkey do why do you think all the tiktok videos look the same they're doing the same stuff why do you think people want to hear certain kind of program stuff oh money can you talk like this and do that's why Y'all programmed to think that way. It don't have to be like that. All right, G say, yo, loving the morning shows, money. Ooh, yeah, you can some done. Some of y'all doing that y'all work right now. Oh, it's all right, bro. Hey, buddy, on the, in your AirPods and all that. It's all good. All right, Dougie said, they seriously laugh and mock me. It's crazy. I don't say anything now. I just keep grinding and I get the last laugh. And very soon. Right, Dougie. Now, we got to. It sucks, bro. In this space, we got to be the better people. Because you do. They laugh at me too, Dougie. You know what I'm saying? I'm in, you know what I'm saying? Mid 30s, we're tired off of this. And people laughing at me, especially old people. Older Gen, Gen Z's, they get so, I mean, Gen X, they get, no, not Gen X. Uh, boomers, they get so mad at me. They, oh, how did you, what, what are you doing? How did you, you that ain't real. You going to, like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Like, whatever. Hold on, y'all.
it, it only matters what you take and do with the information, though. You know what I'm saying? Some people just use the energy to hate instead of, like, hey, man, what you do? Let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me, come let, me, let me sit next to you. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me. What, you, oh, you're going to come on to the DeFi Crypto Show and then hit that like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, Dougie, try to stay. Look, that's why, you know, that's why we have the DeFi Crypto Show because you're amongst peers, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it is, it is. We're going to talk about contracts. We're going to talk about all that stuff, too. But I, the main thing to me is this life stuff that people just always skip over. And that's why, you know, to me, the why is always important. I used to ask, I used to tell all my direct reports all the time, you have to have a why. I know you work to make money. What's your why beyond that? What's your next step? You see what I'm saying? Ooh, y'all would love to work for money. Y'all would love to work for money because I, I don't care if you stay with my, my, my company or not. I want you to be a better person. If I make you feel like I want you to be a better person, you're going to work better for me anyway. You see what I'm saying? So that's what the word is about. These smart contracts, Drip and Animal Farm and all these trash contracts, right? They're doing, they're doing the opposite of that, right? They're doing the exact opposite of that. They don't want you to know other things. They want you to sit there and think that somebody's going to help you all, all your life. And that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All right, Blockhead. All right, let me get through these. Let me get through these. Shout out to y'all, man. Pull up, pull up. Blockhead says, CZ out here uh, talking about buying banks. He's on a totally different level than Vitalik. Yeah, yeah, Blockhead. Um, I think Vitalik just was too young when he took it over. He didn't, he didn't have, Vitalik doesn't have people skills. I told y'all a story about somebody I knew that, that knew Vitalik. He does not have people skills at all. CZ at least has p uh, some variance of, of people skills. Um, but yeah, Blockhead, I think CZ is the truth in the future of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all sitting here looking at Ethereum like that means something. Um, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, that's gonna be fully like the regulation highway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just I'm saying. Um, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about the contract. Okay, we're gonna get into that in just a moment. Oh, Tay. All right, y'all like, oh my goodness, buddy. Can we get into it? Please, bro. Please. All right, I got y'all. Some of y'all, we're gonna talk about these farms today. We got a like, lot of stuff to talk, talk, talk about. So don't. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't go nowhere. Get that. Listen, take y'all shoes off. You're at the house anyway. Take y'all shoes off and relax. You know what I'm saying? We got some, we got some time to talk today. Again, y'all know this is not no five, 10 minute show, man. We, we really, it's just therapy. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. It's therapy. I'm going to teach y'all how to make some games. Um, I'm gonna teach y'all some different things as well that I'm doing, you know, but it's just therapy. You know what I'm saying? You, it's, it's okay to be around like-minded people. Like Dougie said um, earlier, he's like, I'm crazy in the real world. I'm sitting there making five, six hundred dollars a day, and I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what my girl said, um, uh, what is that money? I forget the name. That he's like, let it make it dollars. I'm nuts. You know what I'm saying? Like, you dumb. I'm crazy. He's like, yes, I'm crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm going crazy, crazy, crazy. Just <laughs> which I know, I remember. Some y'all know that song is this thing in the past. Yeah, I'll be crazy, but. Over here, come be crazy with me. You know what I'm saying? Come be crazy with me because we're making games. We're going to show people how to make games, and we're not going to stop doing it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Appreciate y'all talking about the farms, the Elephant Money Farms. Um, Again, we're talking about technology today and a better tech. So I'm going to tell y'all why Elephant Money and Zen have better tech and how we're going to use these farms. Everybody's going to be able to make some money. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to make some money. So just sit still. You know what I'm saying? No taxes. No charge. No charge. Dougie said, they say, don't forget me when you get that money. I say, I try to help you with the knowledge. I did this on my own. Nobody showed me. I'm still on my own. But I got my, my man Money Mo. Dougie, you know, definitely get a Money Mo. Dougie, this is how we even came. Again, we're, we're like-minded people. Because you know how we got here? How the default crypto show even came about? I didn't even want to do influencing. I didn't want to. I just wanted to make some money. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first started. But then I'm like, man, it's deeper than that, man. People got to, you know what I'm saying? People got to have somewhere to go. And they don't have nowhere to go. All you get is shields with these people. But that's not how this place needs to be. You know what I'm saying? But then people are too, oh, I want a two-minute video. They, they don't they don't have the, the patience or even the, the wherewithal to understand where the, you know, where you're getting the better knowledge from. You know what I'm saying? I'm not up here cussing and you know what I'm saying, telling y'all about cars and girls and gambling all day like other shows do. I'm I, there's no point to that. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all got your own personal friends that y'all like that stuff with. Yeah, you know, I probably like different stuff to y'all. So is it is. But yeah, Dougie, listen, listen. In DeFi and crypto, you're alone. With the money crypto move with money mo, I'm along with you, bro. I like how you said that. I like how you said that. We doing this on our own. They think somebody came and gave us this knowledge. They think it's a college course on this. No, no. You're looking at it. You're talking you're, right now. You, congratulations, you're listening to a vet. You know what I'm you're listening to the uh, expert in this field. I've been here five years. You know what I'm saying? Like so, this is what it is. Oh, so today again, 
This is DeFi Crypto Show with Money Mo. Make sure y'all hit that like. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe. We're talking about how Elephant Money and Zen is next level DeFi. We're also going to talk about the OAFC and is Ethereum centralized. We're going to talk about these things. All right. Um, make sure y'all stay in that chat. I'm about to come do my thing. Make sure y'all stay in the chat. Also, um, beneath us right here, in right in the description of this video, is my link tree. Make sure you come to the Muddy Mo link tree. This is the best place in DeFi to be. You're going to get confused. Y'all going to go to somebody. They're going to tell you about their favorite project, and they're not going to tell you about the world of DeFi, bro. I don't even care if you like my favorite projects. All I'm going to tell you is this. You know what I'm saying? Like, all I'm going to tell you is this. I'm going to give it here. I'm going to make it available to you. So come through and check out the uh, the link tree. Um, and I ain't going to lie to you. I need it for myself because sometimes I lose a, a site or something. The link tree helps me. You know what I'm saying? So come back. You know I'm, I'm going to be real with you. So I'm like, oh, I go right here. You know what I'm saying? So you always know you know the contracts would be right here in the link tree. Also, I have the, very, the my favorite, very favorite ones at the top. Elephant Money is at the very top. I got Furio. And I'm going to farm Piston Race. Um, buy Swap. Um, also, I'm going to touch on buy swap again some of y'all not using buy swap and y'all losing money for no reason if you're swapping cryptos if you swap do you swap bnb do you swap busd do you swap usdc especially on binance smart chain why are you not using buy swap then you can make more money you know what i'm saying like don't that's dumb you know what I'm saying? like that's like getting zen that's just don't do the don't be lazy some of y'all just go to pancake swap naturally don't be don't be that that guy don't be lazy you know what i'm saying go over and get your extra money it's, it's for you um also we got piggy bank on there drip uh zen this is where zen is um make sure y'all go on to mint y'all free zen i'll talk more about that in just a momento but you gotta make sure you're getting that free zen bro this is free stuff it don't matter if it's bots get it get it get it just get in the game you know what i'm saying it don't matter if it goes to nothing get it you know what I'm saying? there's no reason not to have it also at the very top here we got all the social media links um if you're interested in contact the money mo come up there um and at the very very top here is the contract for a wallet address so getting in elephant money this is the one you're using copy that paste that put that in the partner bing bang boom that's it um not the whole thing you know what I'm just the address um and last but not least the best place to contact muddy or anybody talking about this DeFi stuff um the best some of the best people in the whole space come on over to the good folks at the, the muddy crypto movement here in the telegram if you're not in telegram you'll know what's going on you know what i'm saying you're, you're lost you're behind you know what i'm saying so come in the telegram you ain't gotta you know some of y'all don't want to talk like that i get it i get it just come in and see you know what the guys are talking about bro it's always some it's always something lit. It's always something good going on. Oh, say, let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Now, oh, also, real quick, I'm having a different type of content coming. Um, I'm going to have some very consistent content coming. Y'all going to be like, ooh. I, I, I had to really work on some things in the background, editing and stuff, but um, I think y'all going to like this. <laughs> I think y'all going to like it a lot. Um, so just understand. You know, and I hope that I'm different than others in the space to understand that the content that I bring y'all is going to be um, a, a mixed bag. And I try different things, too, but it's a mixed bag. I want to keep y'all entertained. I don't want y'all just coming in. Just, oh, we made money. Go home. No, no. Are you not entertained? Listen, if you're entertained, it's going to make it a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? What, what they say? A spoonful of sugar make the medicine go down. Y'all see Mary Poppins? A spoonful of sugar make the medicine go down. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the dance. Y'all got the umbrella spinning all. Y'all know all that, bro. Listen, listen. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Why not? Oh, tell it look about it. Let's look at this nomics. Let's look at nomics. Let me show my screen right here. We good. Um, so now, um, y'all know there's other um, sites that combines all the information of all these, you know, different blockchains and different tokens that we have in crypto right they suck you know so i'm gonna be real with you they suck they're trying to be traditional finance crypto market cap which most new people are going to use is the most i guess it's the first mover it's the oldest so that you know um it's trash they're they're biased against the projects which is not good coin gecko too um so nomics to me is the fairest of those kind of aggregators just so you can see what's going on a lot of y'all want to know what's going on in the space this is where you come. You know what I'm saying? This is how you can just see in a, in a quick glance. All right. Let's talk about it. Global market cap today is 1.1 trillion. A trillion, a trillion, a trillion. That's good. That's good. So the global market cap um, is down in volume. I'm sorry. The global volume is down a little bit today. Um, But the global volume is still, what, 250 billion? That's how much is moving in all the crypto markets every day. So. You know what I'm saying? Like, isn't this? Um, Bitcoin is moving up, y'all. 21,286 up 2.79% today. 
you know, it's always a good thing for Bitcoin to go up. You know what I'm saying? And let me see. Do they have the dominance? Let me see the Bitcoin dominance. I got to find where the Bitcoin dominance is on this. Um, So, yeah, so that's that's a good look. You know what I'm saying? You know, rising tide raises what? <laughs> All boats. You know what I'm saying? Everything. I'm going to be real. Everything going to go up if Bitcoin go up. It's just, it's what it is. First one. Um, Ethereum, the one we having a lot of issues with, is up to 1633. Um, and y'all better believe this too. Institutional money is going to try to make Ethereum work. To be real with you, I think we sound like the dummies, especially if you're not if you're not an institutional person. You sound like a dummy promoting Ethereum projects. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't even know how devs are even creating over there. It's a cesspool of centralization. It's going to mimic the world we live in, bro. I'm sorry, Ethereum is trash. How long have I been coming here telling y'all Ethereum is trash? I mean, kept saying it. Theorem is trash. Theorem is trash. Theorem is trash. So it just is what it is. Um, all right, y'all gotta get out the telegram. Y'all come on. Y'all need to the telegram. Y'all better come live and say say it live. Um, but yeah, it's just how I feel. Everybody has their different thoughts about it. Um, uh, people, oh, I love it, Theorem. They're gonna go ride that wave until it's gone because they're followers. They don't see the forest through the trees. We see it. This is trash. They've been overcharging us for years. You know how I many hundreds of thousands of dollars that me and my friends have lost to their miners for no reason. Transactions don't need to cost $500. $500. Just imagine going to the to the gas station. You come, you want you want to buy you a, a bag of chips and a soda. You swipe, go to swipe your car and say, "Oh yeah, so it's going to cost you $8 for the chips and the soda, but yeah, it's going overall your balance is going to be $725." You go, like, oh, "Okay, that's cool." That's you cool with that? That's how Ethereum was doing us, bro. That's how they're doing right now. It's to make these certain miners money, right? No. You know what I'm saying? Like they can go all this, all this OAFC, all this mess is coming through Ethereum. Now, that's why we'll talk more about BNB later. Is, that's why I try to tell y'all, bro, you have to be an umbrella or you're going to be rained on. Stop going. Listen, I'm going to tell you something real quick. Some of y'all, y'all ain't pulling up right now to this, right? Because of you're waiting on the algorithm to tell you what to watch, right? Don't wait on the algorithm. They're going to always send you to where the most people go. Most people are dumb and most people are shallow, so they just want to scroll stuff. They want a 30-second video to make them laugh, <laughs> make them feel good about themselves, and go on about their day. Don't be that guy. You're smarter. You're better than that. Also, y'all better keep talking to me in that chat. Ooh, this ain't just my show. This is our show. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me in that chat. Don't play. Don't play. Y'all doing too. Don't play, now. All right. Uh, let's keep it moving. So we got our stables today coming in at 3. Five and number seven. These are the tokens that are basically a dollar to a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So um coming in at number four, my favorite altcoin right now. Um, yeah, my, probably my favorite altcoin, period, right now. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be BNB. Um, it's number four, it's it's looking at that Ethereum market cap. If it can get up to 200 billion, which I think it could, um, we're gonna be on a magic carpet ride, especially us in DeFi. You know, Ethereum is old DeFi. We're new DeFi. And Binance is is certainly it's certainly a blue chip, but it's the best token that we've used for DeFi thus far. Now, we got other stuff coming, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly coming. You know what I'm saying? But I will tell you this. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing been as good to us as Binance has been. I'm just being real with you. You know what I'm saying? Like the better projects that make us money is on Binance. Hex don't make no Hex make you money if you was in early. And that's what it, now if you if I'm just comparing hex, hex, a lot of people get it confused. Look at hex, the only thing down today. Hex, um, essentially is going, yeah, you can stake it, you can cool, but it's just old tech. You know what I'm saying? It's just old tech. Don't nobody want to use Ethereum. Don't nobody want to, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's old tech. You know what I'm saying? So it's you have to understand what you're looking at when you're looking at it. Binance Smart Chain is costing us four, five cent a transaction. So y'all sitting here waiting, and it's another thing, it's costing y'all time. Ethereum is wasting our time in life. We already have better tech. So, so people to get paid, y'all sitting here waiting and spending all this extra exorbitant amount of money just so people can get paid, right? Rich people can get paid. You know what you're dealing with. You know what you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And then you get all these people just, like, even with Zen, let me say this real quick. Even with Zen, it's just disgusting me. I'm like, why are people so dumb? I want to follow the dumb botters and the dumb scammers. Listen, bro. Oh, you're going to hold more money. It's be listen, bro. Listen, listen. Every dog has his day. But eventually, there's going to be something, somebody, something new that comes up that takes its place. That's the natural progression of things. Y'all going to die with Ethereum? You know what I'm saying? What Y'all weirdos. You know what I'm saying? Why do y'all care about Ethereum so much? I haven't done nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? But cost you. Charge up. Tap. Ethereum ain't, Vitalik ain't done nothing but rock y'all pockets. 
They just pocket checking y'all. Coming up, what you got? What you got on my 40, homie? Just coming and smacking them pockets, tapping them pockets. Stop letting Vitalik tap them pockets. You know what I'm saying? No. No, 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 no. We're done. We're done. And the same thing on Zen. Let them go buy the Zen, bro. They, they bought it that anyway. They got all these other Zen MT. That's cool. But Ethereum is the problem. Not Zen. Ethereum is the problem. So they need to have all that stuff come on BSC. Why not? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's stupid at this point. We're, we're, we're looking at idiots. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they got all the money. The money's going to follow the best projects. But the problem is the, the, the best projects don't get enough notoriety. Why? Because you got all these shields just talking about things that don't matter. I'm looking at one crypto show today. And they sit up here talking about all the regulations is cool, but they sit up here talking about what tokens is going to go up and go down because of this. You don't have to sit here and think the stock market is the best tech. Y'all think the stock market is the best tech on how to make y'all money. Y'all really believe that? Huh? You know how many times the stock market has been? Man, listen, bro. That's the most corrupt. This is the closest thing we got over here is buying this smart chain. Not Ethereum. It is what it is. All right, let me keep it moving. All right, so we got XRP coming in. Uh, 49 cent. Uh, we just spoke about XRP a little bit earlier. Y'all know what's going on with that. Uh, we got XR, and I'm sorry, we got Dogecoin. Ooh, now, uh, money experimented a little bit. Doge showing y'all know we we defy, we do that. That's what we do. We make passive gains every day. In case y'all didn't know, we don't, you know, a lot of people. Let me just slow down for the people in the back, the new people too. Welcome, right? This is Money Money DeFi Crypto Show. Hit the like, also hit the subscribe, right? Um, generally in stocks, what you're doing, you most people aren't day trading. So generally what you're doing, you're buying a stock. Just say your stock was Avalanche, right? You're buying a stock and in hopes that over time, the value of that stock's rise and you can sell that stock at a higher price to get gains. Essentially, in a simple, it's not that simple, but in a simple way, that's what's going on, right? However, People don't have the ideas on how to make money or they don't know who to listen to. They don't know who to listen to us to realize that we're using something called smart contracts that not only just makes us money, it generates us money on a daily basis where we can spread out and do things with it in the moment. In projects like Hex and any projects um, and other tokens that you see up here, it's all old technology. It's ways to bring people, old people in to get their money. Most cases, I'm being real with you. A lot of these things, a lot of people go astray. Is oh, we're going to day trade. We're going to do this. Most people can't day trade. You think if it was, it was easy, everybody be doing it. You think I wouldn't be over day trading right now if it was that easy? It's not. You're going to lose. A lot of people going to lose. What DeFi does, it eliminates the reason for you to wait for somebody who have to pump this for you to make money. So essentially, in a lot of these DeFi projects, some of y'all, oh, I love. Let me just give you a random one. That's not a blockchain. Um, oh, I love. You know, Crypto International, that's my favorite. That's my jam. I love it. I love Huabi. I love what they're trying to do in the world and all that good stuff. It doesn't matter what Huabi is trying to do in the world if you don't realize how the money's made. Huabi, if you bought this token, right, in most cases, they don't have other use cases. And the only way you're going to be able to make money is that what? Some dummy come up and buy it and raise the price. You have to sell it to make money. In DeFi, we don't have to sell tokens. That's why we're going to talk about this elephant money farm and how important it is. Ethereum Classic, you have to sell it in order to make money. Chainlink, you have to sell it in order to make money. Uh, Chainlink's not a good example. Oh, who was it? Monero, you have to sell it to make money. Bitcoin Cash, you have to sell it to make money. In DeFi, we're creating smart contracts and creating us games that we don't have to sell our principal. So it's really, really important that people who don't know what this is ask better questions and listen to somebody's. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing illegal about it. None of that. They just, it's too good to be true or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool. Stay over there. Go clock in to Amazon. Get your work 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. Miss all your babies. Miss, miss, do all that to make $8 an hour. You know what I'm saying? And feel like you're nothing. And still, and still, Amazon, them kind of places that hire a lot of people, they have the best tech in there. Now, they're using that best tech to pay you as little as they can. It's, it's weird. All right, let me keep moving. Y'all know more. So back it's Saturday. DeFi Crypto Show, hit the like. All right. I was saying all I have to say. I dabbled a little bit in those chain. What those chain looks like to me is a novice chain. They're four to five years behind. Again, these people come over here thinking, oh, we're going to create this and yield and this. It's already here. They just don't know we exist, right? 
Because why? Because y'all want to go give them y'all time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to go listen to people who talking about, oh, buy your doge, which is cool. Buy your doge token, which is a joke token to us. Been a joke token, right? But now since Elon says it, it's a big deal, right? Whatever. All right, let's get moving. Let me hear if y'all keep talking to me in that chat. We got um, Cardano at 43 cents a day. Uh, Solana, dang, Solana 14% at $37. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? What else? Ooh, Avalanche up 6%, $20, 18 cents. What else? What else? Cosmos up seven percent. A couple more. Algorand up to forty-four cent, up eleven point four four percent today. Um, just a green day, y'all. Terra Luna Classic. Now, some of y'all like Terra Luna. I'm gonna be real with you. You know, we can talk about it. it's a place to talk about it, and you know, it's just like the, the gospel song say, "I once was lost, but now I'm found." You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with Terra Luna, um, but there's a lot wrong with Terra Luna. Let's let's look at this because a lot of I'm gonna call them news, but a lot of people who are on the other side of, of our algorithm. So basically, you see the oh, he has a hundred thousand subscribers. You see those kind of guys, they talk about Terra Luna because it's new tech to them. Burning mechanisms is a new tech to them. You know what I'm saying? Burning liquidity uh pairs is a new tech to them. We've been doing that for years. Luna is old tech, it's cool. Oh, you got this, they got this. You see this? Let me see this 34% next to Luna. See, then this is why nobody's going to tell y'all these things. I just want to tell y'all these things that you can see in the background, right? Luna has um, 34% transparency. That's a problem. That's a problem. Basically, that means a couple of rich guys own most of this Terra Luna Classic. You know what I mean? Oh, they're going. it's going to burn. It's going to make more. Cool. It just looks like it's going up with the market right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, all I'm trying to say is this. With this Luna Classic, I just don't be a follower so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, to me, you have to step back when you look at a project or something that you want to be a part of. This is a token. Look at a token that you want to be a part of. How am I going to make money? And how the the whales in that contract going to make money, right? The burn mechanism is, I'm going to be real with you. Let me just say this it's inside a tip, right? The burn mechanism doesn't mean nothing on these projects. You know why? Because usually from what I've seen in the past now, if you know, you don't know about this. Oh, I got to burn. I got to burn. I got to burn. You're dumb. You're, I can see you're dumb. I mean, let me not say that. You're learning. You're learning. That's what I should say. You're learning. If you keep not learning, then you're dumb. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works. If you keep not learning, that's what makes you dumb. You know what I'm saying? But while you're learning, I know it's new. Welcome. There's more than two devs. And <laughs> people say it's two devs. I'm like, are you? Anyway, Luna Classic. Um, Another one, of, to me, I'm going to be real. Some of y'all ain't going to want to hear this because I know y'all got some money here. A lot of money. It's a noob trap. It's a noob trap. Just like um Shiba, just like Doge. It's a noob trap. This is not new tech. What they're trying to do with this token. And what's gonna happen? Oh, I was saying what's gonna happen. Generally, what I've seen happen in all these oh deflationary, deflationary, deflationary. What happens is people sell off before you the deflationary kicks in the matter. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what that's why what Elder Money is doing with the supply shock is exactly what Terra Luna wants to create, but is doing it with a smart contract instead of hoping that people buy and sell this thing, right? Now, Terra Luna, I don't know. Y'all know more details than me. It might have staking, some other use cases, but these people are having problems because, again, they don't know we exist. They're three to four years behind. Um, and, you know, Terra Luna's a little different, but I'm just saying. Uh, generally, that's what happens. And you're sitting here waiting. Oh, it's waiting. While you're waiting on the deflationary to kick, deflation to kick in, right, it takes a whole lot of transactions for that to happen. And I'm just giving y'all the nitty gritty because nobody gonna have nobody gonna tell you about Luna Classic. And I just, you know, I'm always the the weird guy that gotta tell y'all the truth. It sucks, you know what I'm saying? But again, while you sitting here waiting on this deflationary stuff to kick in, the whales are dumping. And if they if one or two of them dump, then the price is already going down. And then when that happens, what happens? Everything starts going behind it, just, doosh, 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 just jumping off the cliff. People just selling. You know what I'm saying? So that's how FUD and FOMO, that's how that works. And that's how Terra Luna to me again is a noob trap. Now. If you're in it, figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be real with you. That chart don't look no better than no other chart that I'm seeing. So, you know, you can wait. It's going to take hundreds and hundreds of thousands of transactions to make the deflationary piece on this even matter, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all can think differently. I, it, is, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I just, my thing is I have to teach this stuff because people come here and say, like, oh, I'm going to get in some ApeCoin. I'm going to get some Hedera. I'm going to get some, and you don't even know. What's behind these stuff? Like Ave. Oh, I'm going to get some Ave. You don't know the what Ave is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ave actually does something. You know what I'm saying? It's a lending. But it does something. You know what I mean? So um, it's, it's, we just here to teach the people. All right. Let's keep it moving.
good. It's Saturday, bro. So I just maybe I'm just a little talking today. It's all good, man. Y'all talk to me in the chat, bro. We just having these things, bro, because people don't understand. We can talk about all the specific contracts. I can talk about the mess all day. But the main thing to me is getting information to people that they wouldn't be privy to. You know what I'm saying? They don't listen to people like us. They don't come over to the DeFi Crypto Show and get this real knowledge and then ask the questions that they want and get the answers to them. They don't do that. They don't do that. They want to feel good. Because they just want to feel good and tell their friends something. And that's what I had to under. This is what I had to understand. My mama like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes she just do stuff to, just to tell her friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'd be in a house playing, and I don't know why this was cool to them, but it was real cool to my mama and her friends to whoop their kids. I think I said this before. You know what I'm saying? So she would always say, to get off the phone, she would always say, girl, let me whoop these kids. I'm about to get, let you go. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you got to whoop me for? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, let me pull up Elephant Money real quick. Let me see what y'all talking about in that chat. Let me see what y'all talking about in that chat. Appreciate y'all pulling up, bro. Um, and again, this ain't no short show. Um, this type of content, it has to grow on people. You know what I mean? They have to sit here and, and sit here for hours and you know, listen to somebody talk about some childish stuff and not get anything out of it. It don't mean nothing to their life. You know what I'm saying? It didn't, it didn't do a thing for them. Um, so it is what it is. All right, spliff. Spliff. Somebody tell Spliff in the chat he needs to come on. You know what I'm saying? If you gonna come live, don't you blow my phone up right now. You know what I'm saying? Get out the chat or come on to the live. You know what I'm saying? Come say that stuff live. All right. Um, let's see. Let me see what y'all talking about in the chat. Let me see what y'all talking about in the chat. Oh, let's talk about it. G said, yeah, BT made the right choice with Binance Smart Chain. It's plenty of capital and way, uh, way more cost efficient versus Ethereum. Isn't there more volume on BSC? Um I haven't looked at the volume. We have to, we, we can go take a look at the volume in just a second. But yeah, G. Um, and this is why I keep trying to say about Bank Teller and Elephant Money, why I say, nah, bro, I drunk the Kool-Aid and brought them. And, and, and then in no fanboy stuff, it's just the best tech, bro. I'm going to talk about the best stuff. You know what I'm saying? That dude look like a genius. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Like, bro, buy this smart chain could stay. You know what I'm saying? Ethereum might not stay. Y'all don't realize that. Um, so it is what it is. What up, Crypto Wonder? Ooh, y'all go check up Crypto Wonder. Listen, Crypto Wonder, who, matter of fact, Shout out to Crypto Wonder, bro. I, I give people their flowers. Crypto Wonder sparked part of this conversation with the OFAC. You know what I'm saying? Like, he sparked part of this. Shout, shout out to Crypto Wonder, bro. Always coming with some facts. Um, Nakamoto. I said, facts, money. Binance over ETH all day. That's why the Alphabet boy has been fighting CZ for years, and he <laughs> and he's for the people. Right, right. They can't do nothing to CZ. See what I'm saying? I keep trying to tell y'all just like... um. See, some of y'all didn't know about uh, what was that movie I talked about? Uh, <laughs> uh Black Panther. Some of y'all was like, Oh my goodness, you thought I thought the man, forget that dude. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no real king. Killmonger's my king. CZ's the king of this, not the talent. You know what I'm saying? It's just who you looking at and how you see him. And then you look, and then if you go back, y'all look at all the bad guys and all the old cartoons I used to watch and all the you know, movies and things like that. Half the time, some of the bad guys weren't really that bad. Like, man, he's just trying to save his kids. Hold on, bro. Like, I actually understand that. Like, it's you, you know, we make who we want to be bad guys, and they make us to be bad guys over here because we tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what y'all have to see through that. Uh, drip D5 Wiz in draw. Dang, you know what I'm saying? He got a on there. All right, drip D5 Wiz in, in. Hold on, wait. <laughs> I can't even read that right. He said, Animal Farm is so far ahead of any D5 uh, project created before. Uh, millions of dollars are being paid out. Um, that's dope, bro. I'm, I'm glad you, you know, feel that way. Um, but I, I, I'm gonna be real with you, D, uh, Drip D5 Wiz, Win or whatever. Um, the people from your community, they don't come here often because, you know, the, the what what you just said, you don't really have proof of that, and I have proof that that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? So the fact Drip D5 Win Z Drop, you know, the fact that you got all that stuff in your name, okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that you're even here is you're hearing another side of this, right? I don't agree with you. Animal Farm is made to lock your money up, bro. It's not made you no money. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm gonna be real with you. You can add it. You know how I know it hasn't made you people millions of dollars drip. This is why you lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, now this is when what happens. I, I appreciate them coming over. I don't want to discourage people like him from coming over because this is a learning. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this is a teaching. It's a teachable moment. You know what I mean? You said millions of dollars is being paid out. I'm in drip, DeFi, win, drill. Over here, we're not moved by um, FOMO. You just you're just promoting right now. You're trying to promote something that's not true. Um, and I and I'll be honest with you. I'll be real with you. Um, there's no way 
that that contract is paid out millions of dollars being paid out. There's no way. You know why? Because dogs are being locked. And, then, and nobody's paying a 90% tax. So please know about your contract before you say things like that. I get what you're saying. I appreciate your zeal towards DeFi, right? But just understand there's better projects out here that's a lie to you, Deep Drip. And then any influencer that has told that to you, they can come up to my show. I got. I can give them the phone line. They can call up and we can just talk. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to make sure the people are clear on it in Drip, DeFi, in Wind, Gen Dro. You know what I'm saying? All of that stuff. I just want to make sure people clear on it, bro. And it's obvious, bro. It, I'm going to be real with you, Drip, in DeFi. To be real with you, and it might not be you, but most people put too much money in there early. Not now. It might have been months ago, but you put too much money in there. You know what I'm saying? And now you need it to work, but it's not. that's not going to will to work. The best thing you can do, Drip, is go to a project that's going to pay you better. Now, if you say, you know, it's better than any project ever created before, right? And I give this mess time. You know what I'm saying? Because... Um, to me, and I, some of us over here, we're smarter than this, but we see this person as an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about, dummy? You listening to? You know what I'm saying? Ray and them, Stana, you dumb? You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't know what they're dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how, but I'm, I'm going to be nice today. You know what I'm saying? I'm being polite because you need to open yourself. You, it would be great for you to open yourself up to other things. Now, I see your um, your photo here. You know what this might be? This might be Forex, y'all. See, now this is not, see, look, look, look. it might be BB. This was what happens. It might be Ray. This is what happens with these people, but this is why they're not um, they're not astute enough to come over here and have a real conversation because there's no facts backing these things. They want you to fill away, and that's not what I'm going to allow to. We're not going to allow it to happen over here. No. You're not going to come over here and make people feel good and go away. No. And lie. No. You're stealing money. No. So Drip DeFi, Win Z, all that mess, all that name, Drip DeFi, all that. You can come up and feel free. To, I hope you don't feel, you know what I'm saying, uncomfortable with commenting. Feel free to comment about the the project that you like. However, I will tell you this. When you say things like millions of dollars is being paid out, you need to provide a proof for anybody making hundreds of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not seeing that at all. And I'll talk about that contract in just a moment. All right. See? You see how they do it? Now, why they do that, y'all? Because y'all ain't hit that like. Hit that like! You got to hit that like and hit share. That's why they do that. They they see so little people over here, and they see so many hundreds of people in, like, Ray's live that they think that we're just talking about nothing. They think that we're just funny. They don't know that we're actually talking about knowledge to get people paid, right? That's We're the best-kept secret because of people like Drip, DeFi, whatever his name was, right? He is, you know, to be honest, just childish. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of childish. So you come over and you don't come over with facts. If you can show me that people have made millions of dollars being paid out, we will stop everything we're doing and talk about Animal Farm the rest of the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can show me that right now. Um, but you know why it hasn't happened, Drip, DeFi? It's because y'all Y'all devs, I mean, not even y'all devs, y'all um, influencers, the people who we know got more money, more than you, right? They are not saying that. So you're saying things that even your team leader is not saying. That's Drip DeFi. You're the main, you're one of the main issues in the space, right? But unlock, unlike the projects that you like, Drip and Animal Farm, unlike them, I'm not going to alienate you. You're welcome to come over to Elephant Money and make real money. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? There's no beef. There's no war. It's you making money, you and the, your computer. And, and then, you know, it's funny, Drip D5. They're not even going to know. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're not even going to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, make you another wallet. Do that. You know what I'm saying? They're not even going to know. You can, still, you can come make money, and you know what I'm saying? And still go over there and do that. That's okay. They're not even going to know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, some of y'all know about that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to know. They ain't going to know. Do it right. Put it, Put it on the bed. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Shout out to you, though. Now, Drip D5, I guarantee you, if I came to y'all communities, and I've already been kicked out of what telegrams and stuff like that for no reason. I haven't even said nothing in there. That's what makes it even crazy, right? They targeted me. Um, so that means y'all scared of me, Drip DeFi. Um, so if that's you, Ray, if that's you, uh Stunner, if that's you, who else is it? Drip Topia, whoever I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Either one of y'all, um, come on over, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll I have an open, open forum for you. You know what I'm saying? I would love to hear where y'all coming from, but don't come over here and embarrass yourself because you're gonna sound stupid. That's why they didn't come over now. That's why they always are urged to not come talk to us over here you know what I'm saying? like because they will get thoroughly embarrassed it's bad it's really bad you know what i'm saying it's bad or worse than you think it is what it is uh dougie said drip going under four dollars uh wonder boy ray ray must not be looking at the furio chart still hitting the strong 550 right right now dougie you know furio's holding strong now furio's a stable now um well it better be a stable. you know what I'm saying? but um yeah they're playing an old tech game and initially now you got to understand we're dripping what they're doing over there a lot of their reasonings is changing it changes with the wind it changes as it's convenient for them you see what i'm saying um but yeah they, they plan all game oh you can sell it you can sell it when the price goes down you're selling something of a cheaper value so that means you're treadmilling you're running the same place 
So yeah, I agree with you on that. Drip is dead, bro. And and then the problem is, it's the problem is you can't say dead because it's a slow drain contract anyway. That's what a certificate of deposit is. They don't even know what type of contract they're in. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not gonna just die like that. And not just that, their leadership team is highly incentivized to keep it going. They have a lot of it, right? So they're gonna, so they're basically gonna do basically a, a personal deflation instead of a contract doing it on drip. They're gonna hold it in their wallet until they see fit. Okay, enough people, enough dummies that came in to put their money in, and then they're gonna start selling on y'all. See what I'm saying? So instead of letting the contract do the work, just like they do the injections, which is not a contract, we don't want people doing stuff. We want a contract doing stuff. That's what Forex does. He has all these injections and stuff. That means you're not a dev, bro. That means you don't have nothing dev up. You you're feeding us a, a basically a hype. This is a hype with injections. Drip is a hype with Animal Farm with injections. Animal Farm is a hype. That's what it is. Who cares if it has blockchain involved with it? It's still a hype because the way it pays you is from a dev who feels like when it's appropriate, they're going to put some money in that they stole from other projects in our space. Allegedly. You know, in my hood, they say, no pause. You know what I'm saying? No pause on that. You know what I'm saying? No Vaseline, no pause. You know what I mean? Clowns. But now, these injections, again, it's like sand through their hands. It's just it's dying. All this fake TVL, uh, ain't no hundred million dollars. If it was a hundred million dollars in that contract right now, do y'all do y'all not know that most of the major um influencers in the space will be talking about it? Y'all know what happened before. See, this is what they don't want y'all to understand and believe. Before what happened, it, they did have the kind of anticipation for drip. It was a lot of it, right? Um, and we saw a lot of um enthusiasm and a lot of money coming in. But you know what that boy messed up eight months ago? When he the moment that he did all that fake stuff and, and found ways to lock y'all up. That project was gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just it don't matter what you say, bro. You know what I'm saying? It just it don't matter how you feel, bro. You can't will that to not be the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, some, some of them trying to will stuff to not be the truth. You can't do that, bro. You can't, the truth is the truth. It is what it is. Dougie said, the question is, how much has he made on the farm since launch? It's not millions. Even with the stolen pig injection. Nope. Not going to believe that. Right. Right, Dougie. I'm going to be real. Boy, losing money right now. He losing money. He already stole 11 million. He's losing money. You know what I'm saying? Like, but well, oh, this injection, injection. It's to make it save face. Ain't nobody selling dogs yet. Okay, they're not selling dogs yet. You don't even know. It's gonna be a price subscription for another six months. So y'all gonna wait six months to say that, oh, this is the best farm is making millions and all that lies, right? Lies. Right. We're not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? And then Doug, listen, they don't know we're smarter than that. You're not gonna come over here and just lie to us. You can't just do that. It don't work like that. No, no, no. We're not gonna just believe you, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, you know what I mean? Like, we know we seen it. Oh, say, let's talk about it. Elephant money. Elephant got them bags. Yeah. Listen. <sighs> Special project. Special project. We see right now it's um 329 on the NAMIS market cap. Transparency's looking good. Look at all this green. Look at all this green. Um this is going to take us back. See, we're going to talk about the elephant money farms today. All right, let's get let me get focused now. We're going to talk about these farms. Um, when you see this type of green, when you see the type of mechanics that's going on behind this, um, it's just it's just like watching. Have y'all ever seen somebody who, you know, to me it was like the rapper. It was a couple people, but the rapper Two Chains. I remember him when he was he was called Titty Boy. You know what I'm saying? I remember seeing him. I'm like, it's something different about him. He's going to blow up. You know what I'm saying? I just knew. I'm like, he's going to blow. He's going to blow. He's going to blow. And sure enough, he just blew up, right? Your eyes and your ears of what you're hearing and what you're seeing about elephant money is not deceiving you, right? If you want to be heard about things, you're going to find a way to be heard about them. So go ahead and be heard about them and stay to yourself and lose money, right? If you are willing to look outside of the realm that you've already been presented and see what's going on, you will see that over here, this is where the energy is going. This is what, what, what all, the, all the people are going to be, be moving into. You're going to be behind. You're going to be like, oh, I remember I seen him at that show doing that, doing that concert. I knew he was going to be good. And it ended up being good. It is what it is. What if you could have been on that train with him? See? But people want to be against stuff so much and want to um, basically be a part of tribalism so much that they don't care. They want friendship. It's more important than money. Me being a friend with these guys over there at Drip and Animal Farm is, is better than money than me. We just make fun of people all day and Ray just plays cartoons all day. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what people are signing up for, but that's what it feels like, you know? Um, okay, let me see. Let me see. Dougie said, uh, 
You know who is in Furio? I was glad to see this dude make a video showing his account, Mike the Investor. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, they all come one by one. Right, Dougie. Now, I know what Mike the Investor is doing. Um, and shout out to Mike the Investor and Scott the Investor, too. Um, Scott the Investor has already been in Furio. Yeah, some people have drank the Kool-Aid more than others. They now let me let me give you some insider tips, Doug. You it's Saturday. We got, y'all got time. We got time today. And it's just family here anyway. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? We, we chilling. Um, Mike the investor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Scott the investor had already been in Furio, right? Mike the investor obviously getting into Furio. The reason, the reason is because there's holes in the ship at Drip. There's holes in the ship over there at Drip. That's why this happened, Dougie. That's why it's happening. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not surprised they're in it because they're not making money in drip. They're not making money in number form. And the biggest thing, Dougie, is they're in as a full. So I'm in the full. So I know what they're doing, right? They can't make money off of people in that contract. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to go somewhere where they can make money. And what they're doing, they're trying to steal all the fair weather drip people. It's going to be some people that's not going to ever go nowhere and it's going to die with that ship over there drip and it's dying in the phantom form. They're going to die with that. Cool. You know what I'm saying? However, there's a small few of their influencers who, like Mike the Investor, like Scott, like who are not in the in crowd. They weren't in the first room, right? So those dudes segment their own influencers. They need Scott and Mike the Investor, right? But them to talk about Furio already lets you know where the where the where the wind is blowing. It's it already lets you know this is going to be Animal Farm and Drip and all these things are going to be the a historical, you know, a historical change when we move on to these better things. It just is what it is. But shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. Um, again, now, Dougie, let me say something about those kind of guys because um, they're cool. And I like Scott the Investor. He's very astute, right? But, Dougie, he's no astute that nobody's talking about elephant money. Mike the Investor either. They're not. You know what it is, Dougie? They've been on that drip network algorithm. And the thing is, everybody in elephant money, not everybody, but everybody over here on this side, everybody who has not drunk in that Kool-Aid, got out the mud we got on our own like the reason you're here most likely is because somebody's either shared it or da, 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 you ran across whatever you know what i'm saying but then you heard it like, oh i like this it's different right what those guys do is based off that drip algorithm so they're gonna they're gonna see that to jump over to furio after being so heavily into drip it's gonna be weird for them you know what i'm saying just oh there's some influence and stuff like that to give y'all man you know what i mean somebody y'all like, you know, a lot of people don't think like that but now again dougie um, I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, we, we keep an eye on people in the space, and I do too, you know what I'm saying, so I like both of them dudes, um, but again, you know, those are the people who might be smart enough to even come up with the other money, if they, if they smart, you know what I'm saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, but all I do know is this, is they smart enough to not sit here and act like things are working when they're not, and they're not, they haven't made enough money to be, um, to be honest with you, that ingratiated to it, the need to just have to only stay in drip, no. You know what I'm saying? Why? No, hell no, no, why? That's dumb. Not doing it. All right, Rosa. Come on, Rosa. Let's look at this. We got one more. We got to keep it moving. I got a lot of stuff to talk about. Let me hear you. I got to pick up the speed. Y'all keep talking to me in the chat, though. Y'all the ones keep it lit. Let's see. And also, y'all know this DeFi Crypto Show with Money Mo. Make sure you hit that like. Also, hit the subscribe. I can help your mama to make some money. You can't do it what you got. You know what I'm saying? I, I can. We can help over here. Come on to the good folks at the Money Crypto Boom. We can help them make money right now, especially with this Elephant Money Farm we're about to talk about in just a moment. All right, let me go to Hex real quick. Let me go through Hex real quick. Down to number 18. Hex is the only thing that's red today. Looks like it. One of the only things that's red today. So, here's what it is. Is what it is. Let's talk about it. Ooh. I like that. I like that. I like that in the thing. He said, what's up? Hitting that like. I see you, the thing you're pulling up. I see you. I see you. Okay. Doug, look at Doug. He said, make sure y'all get your Powerball today. Oh, that's where everybody at today, huh? They getting them Powerballs at 1.2 billion? Listen, I'm going to be real with you. Look at the odds that y'all got to win. I'm going to put mine in. I'm going to put... I do, but we do it. My, you know, my wife. You know what I'm saying? Miss Buddy, but listen, let me say this. Y'all know, people show we talk sometimes. We are just a part of it because, you know what I'm saying? I just want my wife to be able to tell her friends and her mom and them. That, oh, we did. It's just, you know communal stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just stuff that they like to do. You know what I'm saying? But so we at the gas station. I'm looking like, I forget because I don't play no, you know what I'm saying? I'm in defi. I don't need to play no, no lotto. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, I hit the lotto every day I wake up and hit, hit, the, hit the hit the sale or the, you know, hit the hit the buy button. I, I hit, that's what I'm, that's my jackpot. You know what I'm saying? 
However, you know, so I just, you know what I'm saying? I was like, baby, let's go and get a get a get a power ball. You know what I'm saying? Let's go and get a power ball. So she go in and see the see the line. The line almost out the door. She look at me like, nah, we ain't gonna get no power. She's like, hell no, we ain't gonna wait on this. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was actually getting gas. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody else was just wait. They, you know, they block all the parking spots off to wait to get the power ball and all that stuff, right? So my wife, you know how it is, bro. This is how the muddy family is, but y'all already know that. My wife, we think smarter, we work smarter, not harder. She let me get this phone out. I didn't know. No, I don't play this. I'm not a gambler like that. So I didn't know that. You can do the power online. I'm like, oh, for real? I'm like, oh, yeah. You know me. I'm technical. I don't, I don't, forget all that. I ain't, I ain't going to go in and punch all this and somebody put the number in wrong. Uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? Let me go to this online thing, and they gave us an extra, what is it, extra Powerball ticket. So it was fire. All I'm trying to say is just like that, you know, I know I talk a certain way in DeFi. But I'm the same person in the internet that I am in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I talk like this because we want to use the best technology possible, bro. And the reason for me wasting an hour instead of waiting in the Powerball line for something I got a one in a hundred trillion chance of winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'd rather come here and make fifty, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars every day in DeFi. Is what it is. But I still did it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you. It's up to one point six. Okay, okay, okay. Look, 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 look. Now you talking about lecture thing? Look at the thing. Say, Nick. He say, elephant is my mini Powerball. Exactly. It's all about Powerball. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't gotta go. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta go. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to them. I hope somebody, one of y'all, hit it, hit it big. Come on over here and make it rain. Uh, <laughs> look at they say it's gonna go higher. It's, it's, uh, it's worth a few bucks. Yeah, you never know, right? Doug? You know, it's worth a few bucks now. Doug. You know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I, I told you I got in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we gonna put a, we gonna put our name in the hat now. You know what I'm saying? We gonna make sure it don't say our name. That's what it really. We gonna make sure it don't come to. Me. I'm paying for you not to hit my numbers. You know, so yeah, one in six hundred million chances. Cra- like, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe in fairy tales. Like, just to me. That only certain people is hitting a lot of. I'm pers- people like me are not meant to hit the lottery. You know why? It's just me talking my stuff. Um, this is because I'm meant to um to work for it and to help people. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it if I stop working. Not to say I'm talking about working at something, building stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm a builder. You know, what I'm, I'm a creative. You know what I mean? You have to. To me, you know, nothing will come easy to, to somebody like me like that because I already had it. You know what I'm saying? It is that that easy. Um, so this is what it is. All right. Um, so yeah. So hacks. Let's talk hex. Man. Ooh. I'm feeling a little bit of heat coming up off that couch over there. Ooh. How many of y'all see belly? <laughs> I'm feeling some heat coming up off that couch over there. Y'all not like it, Ricky, right now, huh? Ricky. Ricky's starting to look like that dirty. Ooh. He's starting, he's starting to look like what he is. Ain't he? Because Jack Levin came in the game and just changed people's hearts, minds, and souls. Y'all think it's totally different about Richard Hart right now. And it's no, it, I'm going to be real with you. How can you not? How can you not? Y'all don't know where Ricky messed up. Now, I give you now. Shout out to everybody who talks about, you know, Hex and Richard Hart and all these things. But I'm going to be real, and I would urge them to, you know, help. To, I would urge them to try to find other content to talk about. Because with people like Richard Hart, is it's just like a, a dog or something that you're trying to train, right? If you if you incentivize bad behaviors, it's going to continue to happen. Richard Hart's already got the SEC on him. You know what I'm saying? We already seen that they now he really basically has to prove that Hex is or Paul Shane is not a security, right? Because he's been playing with people money. If he did like Jack Levin, didn't take nobody money, he would never be going through this. See what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, and people don't make excuses for somebody who claims to be rich. You cannot make excuses for him. Oh, he needed the money. He needed the money. How much did it cost? How much did it cost Jack? How much? Because I'm gonna be real with you, you know, it probably it probably wasn't 100 1.7 billion dollars. Um, Ricky looks like a crook right now. Um, he looks he looked like he moves in bad taste, and not just that, y'all seen him at the store buying the bags, people want to laugh, and y'all still think that's cute. He's still doing the same things, and y'all think that's funny. Why well, he got 1.7 billion dollars right now, right? Point what is that? Point one percent of the total crypto market cap. I think that's it. My math might be wrong, but Richard Hart, with his sacrifice, with those sacrifices, has point one percent of the entire crypto market that he's holding, right? Making to me, you you got to call a spade a spade. Y'all too nice. He lying. He making lies about things that he can produce. No, you don't even need all of that. Nobody's asking you to figure out bridging. He's trying to figure out a world problem, and this is the problem with him. He's the the game has caught up with him, and people don't literally don't like him. 
Once the money comes, he's done. They're not going to care about him no more. Nobody care about you, Ricky. I'm going to be real with you. And it's just it's sad that he doesn't realize it and that most of y'all people don't realize it. The problem is, is the people that, that that's promoting him that's keeping it bad. Y'all making it worse on all of us. Look at this. Not only just that, this OA thing. I'm going to tell you, the OA is a broke boy move. The Pulse Chain and Pulse X sacrifice is broke boy moves. That's what a broke boy does. And then a broke boy got a stunt for poor people. You going to buy Gucci and Louis, who are you stunting on? I can't, I've said this before, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay long. All I'm trying to say is the time has changed. Eat this is this trash now. Y'all starting to realize that. We're gonna talk more about the OAC in just a moment, right? ETH is now regulated, bro. Ricky can't do nothing for y'all. Y'all ain't see this. This look at this. Look at this. Now, it ain't all about the charts and all that. Look, but the last month is up. Got that up? No, nope, we're clapping it up. Because everything else is red. If you look at Elf Money, this is the exact opposite. But people want to say, why wow, this is so much better. It's worth staking here. 40% APY? Try 205% APR. Or if you want to be safe, you got a lossless farm that's coming. You can stake in the farm and get up to 102% APR. This is not a good project, bro. No more. It was, and that's over with. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not going to pick up. Nobody's going to want to run in Jordan Hex. Now, nobody cares about PX. Nobody cares about, I'm going to be real with you. I'm kind of getting numb to it. I lost my money. That's how I feel, bro. You don't ever want your customer to feel like they just lost. You know, everybody, never wants somebody to walk out your business establishment and feel like they just took an L by coming dealing with you, Ricky. Right now, everybody who's made content, it's, it's bigger than just, oh, see, people want to make it about just the, the, oh, how much, did you make money? Did you not? It ain't, it's bigger than that. Think of all the man hours that people put in to promote. The sleep that people lost, the, the, the all the, the relationships that's been ruined because of Hex and Pulse Chain. Pulse Chain specifically. It's life problem stuff that people like Hexicans and people like um, in DeFi who make too much money don't realize that this is real world stuff. Richard, you gave a date, Ricky. Ricky, you gave a date. What was it, March, April? You gave a date. That's a whole lot different. So giving a date, it lets us further know that you don't know what you're doing. You don't have a clue. You don't have a clue what you're doing. And not just that, you're trying to train new devs that don't have a clue what they're doing. You're trying to figure out a problem, a world problem that's never been fixed as of to this point. But it's, it's workarounds. It's ways to work around this mess that we're doing, right? It's ways to work around um, all this, uh, you know what I'm saying? All the bridging, man. What? We don't eat W dub right now. No problem. We don't need all that, bro. We, uh, sometimes Richard Hart has to do what he did with Hex. You have to simplify. When you start having problems, when people stop liking you, right, you have to simplify. What's the essence of the issue, Ricky? You need to. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. He needs. I would take a vote right now. Y'all want me to release this money to y'all? What y'all want me to do? I can release y'all money back or y'all can just wait? I'm going to be real with you. It might be more than 50% to say, go ahead and give me the money back, bro. 1.7 billion, I need my money. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what's going to get Ricky in a tough bind. And I'm just that you got this case you're fighting. It's just, it's red over here. Like, I'm not wasting days of my life sitting here to promote this dude. And it, all my influencers got to understand that. Even if you're talking negative about him, I'm about to move off of him. Even if you're talking negative about him, you're promoting him. You're promoting a contract that he's a mega whale in and doesn't speak about what those funds are, what, it, what he's going to do with that. He's a mega well in that. That stops so much new money from coming to Hex that probably never will happen. Companies have already said that they will never touch Hex because of the OA. They've already said it, right? They know stocks very well. They know when somebody owns 99% of the company, it's going to, or I can say that much, but 90% of whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a problem. Richard Hart, to me, is looking like a scoundrel. You know what I'm saying? He's looking like a charlatan. Shout out to what's my man, my man. He's looking like all of that. He looks like a crook, bro, and it broke crook at that. Who buys baggy Gucci? Like, this is what I'm trying, I'm just saying. He doesn't know how to reach people because he doesn't know how real people respond to things and act. You have to get over Ricky, bro. It's time to heal. Let's start healing. This is down and to the right. Let's start healing from this. You've made a lot of money already. Cool. There's new territories. There's new opportunities in the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't get stuck on this. Oh, Ted, let me get me. That's it, that's it, that's it. Ooh, I'm running behind. But you know, it's Saturday. I've been two hours already. 
and Saturday. That's what we're here to do. We're here to talk about these things. So now we're going to talk about these farms. We're going to talk about these main events and get off into this stuff. This is what y'all came to hear. This is what y'all came to see. Oh, say, let's see. Are we singing today? Are we singing today? Are we singing today? Man, my h 3 Odin got hot. It's crazy, bro. There it is. Oh, there it is. All right, let's see if we're singing today. Let's see if we're singing today. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. Um, it's a bit of a day in the name. Oh, it's a bit of a day in the name. Just barely. Just barely. Now, it don't matter. Some of y'all care. It don't matter what go on with the the general market sometimes we got our own lane bro so in d5 these are the projects that we're into all right let's talk about it now we already talked about hex a little bit hex four cent um you saw oh it's a pump it's a pump it's a pump right now you got whales that control hex it just is what it is it's always gonna be well controlled New people are not interested in that. New people are not interested in what happened four or five years ago. They're interested in what, what's making the money today. I got a new person into Hex. And this is why I'm saying it. I got a new person into Hex. And they're in other things in the space, right? In our space. And they sit here, they said, Muddy, like, this is a no for me. You know what I'm like, hey, this, it, New people, this is the problem I've seen a long-term issue with Hex is that, you know, you got these old guys who's trying to say how great something is that we haven't seen greatness in a long time. I told y'all, DeFi and crypto is about a what have you done for me lately. Hex ain't done a thing for us lately. I don't care what Richard Hart's talking about. I don't care the minutia. He, you can't push other people down that don't make you better. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't make you better. Stop talking about bad about other people that don't make you a better person. No, it does not. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. All right. Let's talk about it. Listen, this is something y'all tuned in for. We're going to talk about it more later, but... We, we got we talk about the general space here. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I got other shows where we talk specifically about specific projects. That's cool, right? But over here, we talk about the whole space. People gotta learn something. You know what I mean? Come on, learn you something. You know what I mean? Come on, let's people be taking my words too. I hate that. I, but you know what? I have so many good bars. I'm starting to understand why they steal my stuff. You know what I'm saying? I start to understand why they steal my lingo. Cause first off, I'm cool to them and I get that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like most view. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I I got so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I get it. They got to steal something. So it is what it is. Shout out to the, the originators, not the imitators. All right. Um, look at it. Elephant money. Listen. I'm talking about the elephant token right now. The elephant money funds are, are coming. And some people think tomorrow, Monday, whenever. All I'm going to say is this. Lossless farms. You'll be able to take whatever token we'll have available and farm to earn trunk token, which is going to be a stable. This is the best farm that's going to be happening. And the elephant token is going to be playing the back role for, for a minute because trunk is going to be the highlight. It's going to be the highlight of your day. Some of y'all going to wake up in the morning and say, how much trunk did I make today? It is what it is. The elephant money ecosystem. We're talking about new tech in DeFi. The new wave. Stop being always staking and deflationary. Y'all are so, don't be simpletons, bro. What elephant money is bringing to the world is Bertha, the elephant treasury, the well in the background that's going to keep everything pumping and flowing and keep all of us growing. And I think that's what everybody wants to look for. Um, Y'all know I, I planted my flag in the mud, bro. I am elephant money. It is what it is, bro. I've been here since day one anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, bro. I'm, But I'm unbiased to people, especially if you talk with sense. If you say, hey, man, elephant money is terrible because of this, I'll always listen to you. But y'all have to see what's going on. Now, we're going to have to talk specifically what's going on in these farms um, and exactly how to do it. I did that yesterday. Go check out the elephant money raffle party, which I did yesterday. But all I'm going to tell you is this, because y'all y'all are MVPs. Y'all here pull up with money. Don't forget about the elephant token. If you forget about it, ooh, that's going to be the moonshot. Now. Moving along. Now, look. Oh, also, real quick with the elephant price. Y'all see what's happening, right? It's going to find some stability, bro. We we here. We here. We seeing what's happening. Now, let's, let me do this HGR real quick. But well, let's talk about trunk. Y'all look at this chart. And I'm going to tell y'all what's about to happen. Y'all know, money. I got a crystal ball sometime. I'm about to tell y'all about what's about to happen. Hold on just a moment. So, hold on. Hold on, y'all.
Now, with these farms, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. It's essentially, if you've gotten Zen, I don't care what other project you're in, if you've gotten Zen, and other projects like that, what the Elephant Money Farm is going to give you an opportunity to do is you're going to be able to take pretty much a stable, a token, right? And you're going to be able to earn more tokens from it. There's also a way you can get in, I'm going to say free of charge, but very, very cheap. These Elephant Money Farms is going to be the first real use that I see of bees in. It's going to have a hopefully a bees in trunk pair, right? It's going to allow people to onboard into this, pro, in this project for basically free. So I'm going to say this. If you're listening right now, you know, I almost lose respect for you if you don't get free stuff if you hear. You know, I don't know why you're here if you don't want to get the free stuff. That's the it's not hard to do. You know, says I don't. It takes one transaction. However, what I would say is this: Don't sit up here and, and, and talk about you know all these ways why oh elephant exploit all these dumb reasons on why elephant can't work, and you're not sitting up here seeing what's going on with these charts. This is this is not a regular situation, right? And a lot of y'all is if you don't want to get in for free, you know, I don't. There's no way that nobody can do to help you. You just want to hate on this. You just want to be against it. You want this not to work. And that's the weird part about it. You can, and then the funny part is you can have it work for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you want something not to work where you can have it work? Anyway, the trunk token is significant because it's going to be a farming token, right? It's going to be some more of it locked up. But the main thing is that this has a cap. Elephant token does not have a cap. The sky's the limit. What, what Jordan said, the, the ceiling is the sky, the slide, something stupid, all that. Truck has a limit, a dollar, and it's hopefully just stay at a dollar. Elephant doesn't, but trunk is going to have a lot of use cases, and we're seeing that right now. Y'all, hold on. We're gonna talk about the the farms in just a moment. This is the most exciting thing in DeFi. This is gonna be one of them things. Is where were you? Look at the price just went up as we speak. Let's keep going up. You can find where were you when trunk was less than a dollar? Where were you? Right. We talk about all these other projects with this old tech. Right. The best dev. It's right here. You know what I'm saying? One man show. Cool. Bank teller. Done all this, man. Been through all this, the fires and all that stuff. This is figured out. You just got to you gotta be the, the smart enough to, to be take part in it. If you need help, it's not hard. Don't be lazy. Boomers and Gen Xs are very lazy sometimes. I don't know how to work it, so I'm not. I'm just comfortable over here with my ETH, and I'm going to hold it. All right, all right. Cool. But you sitting here going to work every day, and you got people half your age and retired off this stuff because you playing. Right, because you want to be against stuff. You want to live like think like the old world people. Stop thinking like that. Ain't nobody over. Ain't nobody new buying no hex right now. Is thinking they get rich. That's not happening. Or whatever you in. You know what I'm saying? I hate saying hex. I'm just saying any project, beat Bitcoin, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Most of them are not. You waiting on other people while we over here making gains every day. Trunk and elephant let you make gains without needing somebody. I don't need somebody to buy hex, right? You know what I'm saying? For me to sell it at a gain. I don't I don't need that. You know what I mean? So I keep saying hex. I just love hex. You know what I mean? I know I did. I, no offense to the hex. But I love hex. I know that. I'm a hex. You know that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying there's a, a group of people who don't get what's going on, man. You missing out on some of the elephant money. And then you got even worse. You got bad influencers talking against the best project. How does that work? You know what I'm saying? That's popular to talk against the bad project. But hey, I'm going to be real. All my religious people know this. You know what I'm saying? Like, they shoot. They beat up on Jesus. You know what I'm saying? What makes you think you ain't going to get beat up on? You know what I'm saying? Nah, all y'all don't believe me, y'all get it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? They beat up on him. You know what I'm saying? So what makes you think you ain't going to get a couple couple whips? You know what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. I tell my kids it all the time. They beat up Jesus. You, ain't, you think you're you, you going you to leave this earth without some 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 bumps and some bruises? And Elvin has been through its bumps and some bruises. It's mostly because of manipulation and bad people. But we ain't going there today. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, we ain't doing all that today. I'm going to keep it moving. Um. Okay, and the thing said, you know, the seven to fifty million can help you build um if you're an entrepreneur. Facts, <laughs> right? No, I ain't there. We need that. We need that. We need that. The thing said, Richard Hart needs to chill. Yeah, he does. And I'm gonna be real with you. Thing, he don't need to chill. You know what he needs to do? He needs to work. Give us a date. Put a date on it. In business, it doesn't count unless we have after every meeting we have to put a date on when we're meeting again, and we have to put clear cut task for each individual that we can come back and so we have something accomplished richard hart does not have that gene in him and i'm gonna be real with you nathaniel this is give me think about richard hart the problem i think i have that 
guys like Jack Levin does he the issue he doesn't have is that I don't think Richard Hart is a professional. Not to say you need to go to college and go to a certain, but I don't think he has the professionalism to know exactly what he's dealing with. I think he guesses. I think he's a salesman who understood one subject really, really good. And I'm gonna be real with you. If you are mining it that early, you should. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he uh, he's overrated to a lot of people. He's smarter than he's not as smart as some people who let him off to be. And he's definitely, definitely. I don't care how IQ smart you have, y'all think he is. He's definitely misses a bunch of screws on the EQ side, and that means something. A lot of people in deep. That's why money most here. I talk for the people. I do a lot of the EQ stuff. Now they the IQ guy. They the smart Jesus guys. I do the emotional stuff. It's the people stuff. It's bigger than that. Look at the thing. I'm always itching to get more trunk. Right. Now, before I move on talking about elephant money, let me let me say this. Just to kind of close it out. With elephant money, listen, listen, listen. Again, this is a dollar token. Right now, you see people buying it. They're getting, they're getting a natural 3X. Nothing else in the space is going to give you a natural 3X with very, I'm going to say little, but with not so much in putting to it. Y'all don't think the volume on this is going to be up? Free to get in? We're not going to make you stay. We're not going to hold your, your rewards either. What farm is doing that? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I, I'll wait. Yeah, yeah, we wait. Come on, bank teller. Come on, bank teller. Let's go. Let's go. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Take your time. We can promote it. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. We're all excited about those farms. We're going to be making money hand over fist. And I'll talk more about that when I get to it. All right. Big fur. Big fur. Now. Let me say something. Let me say something. I like Furio and the progress that they make. I like that. I like that. Oh, before I forget, let me say this. I got MGB back from, if you were in Ooze or any project like that, I told y'all MDB is trash. We'll, we'll talk. I, I'll get to that in just a moment. I just didn't want to forget that. I saw what that looks like. It should be the MDB. If you did, or if you're supposed to, you did the Ooze, you... Put your address in, your, your MDB should be in your wallet. Um, I'm not waiting on no other token. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have no more time. No. I'm selling. No. Bye. Um, so we'll talk more about that when I get to it. But big uh, now, nah, nah. I don't poo-poo nothing that's making gains. Shout out to whoever said that, you know, other influencers in the space are jumping over to Furio, right? Furio is, I'm gonna be real. If anything, elephant money would be the alien contract. It's nothing like nothing that y'all see. You know, Furio is of the same elk. You know, what I'm saying? it's the same species. You know, what I'm saying? as Drip and you know all these other projects and whatever. You know, the main thing that you see with Christian and team that I like, and I'm seeing that I like, is that um, they feel accountable to the people. You know, it's deeper than the numbers. Let me let me pull back. It's not just about oh we, this part of this this this, this number. This, that's cool. If a dev feels accountable to the people, that goes a long way, right? In making sure that people are comfortable and people will go above and beyond for your project, even if you're having some struggles. You see what I'm saying? So that's why, especially all devs, it's really good for you to embrace people and meet them where they are. Now, Chris and them do a decent job of doing that. Some other teams, they need, they're not the people to do it. The leaders aren't. That's cool. Get other people to be that link for you. I like what Furio is doing um, as far as that's concerned. Now, real quick, let me tell you what concerns me about Furio. Um, and it's not a big concern. It's small. But I look at the things that other people aren't going to look at. Now, don't get it twisted. We're making games every day. Still join Furio. My link in the description. we still here making games. And I'm going to talk about it more. But the issue I have is that, to me, Furio, the, we're gonna talk about the, the trade with they had a losing day. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there because that could, that could be me, me being too right, and I don't want to be right about that. But the fur bet is what I'm starting to see a problem with. Um, I don't know where those funds went, and I don't know what they need to do. There's a lot of casinos out here though, um, and fur bet is not, you know, you could make some gains out of it, and I don't know what they're gonna do to make a different type of casino, but. If you're looking at the future, because Furio is going to have a max wallet problem. If you're less than a thousand fur, you like me, we're going to just keep counting about it. We're not, we, it's, this will talk. You know what I'm saying? But when he, I know they go, oh, you can do the fur max and go here, go there. That's cool, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Because if I just 
bought twenty seven thousand fur. I just want to get paid from it. I don't, I don't want to do all the extra stuff. But anyway, all I'm trying to say is, Furio has some things they can work on, and I'm getting kind of slowly. I'm the only one in space just because it's been stable for a couple months now, which is great. We have to look at what the future holds. What's going on with Fur Bet, right? People sacrifice. I think I sacrificed for that. Yeah, I did. What's going on with Fur Bet? All right. Hold y'all feet to the fire, Chris. See, y'all did good so far by me. I Listen, y'all don't get nothing done with me being nice. As a, as a manager, I have to realize that some people don't work like that. You got to be a straight. You know what I'm saying? Relationships, too. You can't be nice. Man, some of these women don't want to be treated nicely, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? You got to treat them like they want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? What you know what um, but for your, all, all together, let me go back, though. Let me kind of clear it up. I'm not flooding for your at all. Um, I, I my main main thing is pushing projects like this who has some hope to get better. If they don't have hope, I don't talk to it. Have y'all noticed that? If they got some chance to do something, I'm gonna say something to you. I think fear of them have a chance. Um, the problem here is gonna be that like every CD contract is at the long run, it's gonna be sustainability. I think they got some things working on, but what's going on with Fearback? We need some updates. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's keep it moving. I think they focus on day trading a lot right now. Let's let's focus on Fearback. I promise that. Let's see what's going on. But I like fear, though, especially short term. You're gonna make some gains here. I don't care what you're talking about. Like, if you're in other projects, you're losing. This price doesn't change it for you. I told y'all. Fury was going to blow drip out the wall. I told y'all that months ago. I said, nah. I said, as soon as I seen them do this elements, I was like, oh, yeah, that's going to that's gonna kill drip. Drip is at like $8 and $9 at the moment, I believe. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's going to kill drip. Oh, you crazy. Drip, 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 drip. Look at drip. Drip going down to a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all think I'm lying? It don't matter what. Man, listen. I'm telling you what I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. But Fury being stable helps us. I um, mean, you can make games from it. Let's keep it moving. Let me pick up speed. I got to pay up, hurry up, hurry up, big time. My fault, y'all. Maybe I'm just in the mood to talk. You know what I'm I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Y'all talking. Y'all ain't talking to me in the chat, so it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Let me hurry up and get through this. Y'all like, hey, hurry up, buddy. Takes long. All right, got you. Um, where am I? Drip. So now, I'm trying to stay in a positive vibe today. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news to people. You know what I'm saying? But this has been injected. And this has been artificial the whole time, you know. Um, if this is centralized, they'd have already been at the SEC knocking, you know. Um, it's only so long you can get told the certain same things before you before you're the insane person for believing it. I'm gonna be real with you. Drip has so many drip in the wallets, so many new people just compounding, making getting more of a debt for this to pay off. This can't do for to pay its debts. And I'm going to be real with you. I said before, the drip is not going to die in a sense of, oh, it's going to rug. And it, it, first off, it probably won't happen like that because of how it's built. But because of this leadership team, too, their pride, everything, they got everything into this contract. You know what I'm saying? They need y'all to keep spending your money and drip. But y'all not dumb. Y'all see what's going on. This is old tech. Just because you fake like it's working don't mean it's working. Listen to a real dev when he told you, oh, this ain't going to work, bro. I already done the math, bro. Don't, don't check out. You know what I'm saying? But they want to hear make multiple wallets. The team, leadership team got 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 wallets. Probably full of drip. You know what I'm saying? So they think that system and lying to y'all and making it seem like it's something that's actually working is going to be better off. You know what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't want people to act like they know how to do stuff, especially when it comes to my money or my life. I'm going to be real with you. Some things you gotta have zero tolerance on, and with y'all money, y'all have to have zero tolerance with these FOMO dudes. All these little dudes lying to y'all talking about drip gonna be fifty dollars, even ten dollars. Get it to ten dollars. At this point, get it to five dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry. I some things I I need to know that you're gonna be an expert at it. My pilot, if I get on a plane, right? I uh-uh, I can't have you guessing and acting like you know what you're talking about. I need you to, do you know how to fight this or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather take my own chances, get the video game out, get, get my phone out, let me give me YouTube how to fly play. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather take my chances. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for people to still be sticking around at the party, I stand around the party too late. People that stand around the party too late get shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? It's just the riffraff. It is what it is. So riffraff right now is still talking about that project like it means something. Drip ain't paying nobody no, no more money. Only people making money off that and still talk about it is have been making money out of that for years at this point. Not new people. New people ain't making no money out of there. Look at Doug. He said, I feel the fear your devs care about my bag, the little guy. They're not afraid to make the big decision for the best. 
I sacrificed the fear bad, but the market as a whole is slow and timing will be everything. Right, Dougie. And I, I agree with you on, I think, the, the fear your team. That's why I even talk about it. I, I think they care. Um, and I also think, like, Bank Teller care. With I think these different teams care, you know, and you can see that. Um, it kind of kind of bleeds through. Um, and, it, yeah, you're right, the little guy. They care about the little guy coming up, and that's a big deal. And these other teams don't realize that they're looking for whales. And I disagree with some, oh, Will, this elephant, I need Will, 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 Will. Um, I, I didn't mean that. But anyway, um, but yeah, you need whales, but whales are hey, whales follow stuff too, right? Whales follow trends. Drip didn't have all these money, all this lot of money in it. You know what got it popping? It's trend. It was trendy. People liked it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what got it. Or people liked the promotion of it. Let me be more specific. People liked the promotion of it. It was just trendy. You know what I'm saying? That's what made it it. You know what I mean? So People have to know what makes things work. It's more than one way to, to, to skin a cat, you know what I'm saying, or shave, whatever. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying, but it's more than one way to get to an output. Oh, I, get, I need to get investment. Around. Cool. Institutional money, cool. It'll come. I guarantee you get a thousand, hundred thousand people out here that we're getting rich off of this. I guarantee you, they ain't a, how you think they're going to run away from it? You taking money out their pocket. They're going to definitely rock with it. That's all I'm saying. It's two ways of coming things. Drip did that. Um, But yeah. Um, the fear of death, I think they care. Now, my thing, Dougie, let me talk about fear bed real quick. I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I, we got to stop. You got to stop putting the bear market on stuff, though. It's not about the bear market. My fear bed ain't out. That ain't got nothing to do with the bear market. That's a be real. It's a dead thing. Also, it might be a permission thing. Um, it's a, Even though it's a lot. Of, I'm seeing a whole bunch of. I seen a Dogecoin casino pop up. It's a whole bunch of them, right? Um, But with this. You know, it comes down to, uh, to me. You know what I'm saying? With you know, you know, you're talking about the sacrifice on that. It comes down to them what they're doing on their project. They can they can clone another. You know what I'm saying? Like they can clone Big Fury if they really want. It's not. I don't know on the devs. I don't know, but I did know this, and this is why I didn't like what they were doing and bringing Fury so early into the fold. I thought that that was that's like a passion project once you've already figured out sustainability. That's something that you do for fun. Um, people are expecting to make money off of it. It's got to have some kind of time frame on it. I think they bit off more than they can chew, and I think they should just, you know, I don't, I don't know if, you know, they say, oh, it's almost this. I, I don't know. I don't know. And I think it might be best in some situations, especially to get out of the, the quote-unquote sacrifice, is to just re reimburse people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be real. Reimburse people. So this is what I think. Oh, Ted, let's get it moving. How y'all moving? How y'all moving to Google on this Saturday? What y'all doing on this Saturday? Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Some of y'all watching that. God, I already know what time it is. Some of y'all got to catch them games. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a pro guy. You know what I'm saying? When you get old, you just turn to a pro guy, you know? um, All right, let's talk about it. Because I said, I got main events and all these things. I got, let me hurry up. Um, so, All right, so pigs. So now, we'll talk more about these farms in just a moment. But you have to understand what you're looking at. There's nobody who can make money fast out of pigs at my farm at this point at all. I don't care how much money you got. Now, just that they've done this. And I don't think they've known they've done this because they this is what animal farm pigs and drip do. They laugh at people who don't have as much money as them. If you haven't stolen as much money as them, they laugh at you. You're broke. You don't have enough money. They think everybody has thousands of thousands of thousands of dollars to believe in this little boy. That's what they believe. They believe people sitting here waiting with hundred thousand dollars waiting on, on forex. They they thought people waiting for eight months for him. That's the thought, right? All this new money is supposed to have coming in, right? I'm gonna tell you the issue that they have. If all this new money is supposed to be coming in, we just waiting. Now y'all now y'all playing a waiting game, just like oh we waiting on scratches for drip. Ain't no scratches gonna help nothing. If farming, let's say this, let's say this. If farming doesn't help pigs, what makes you think some rando? scratchy game they don't even pay you don't even pay this contract they are all it pays a third party something right what makes you think that game is going to boost this we're gonna stop being idiots now we're gonna stop being dumb the problem here they're delaying the inevitable when pigs the pigs and dogs will dump dogs especially they got all this staking that you must do you can't sell without getting a 90 percent tax all that stuff is criminal I'm gonna be real, it's beyond criminal. There, I've never ever seen a contract that had that much restrictions and had that much money involved in it. Ain't no way. Ain't no way a hundred million dollars is gonna follow all these restrictions for this little boy. Y'all think a hedge for a VC group is gonna sit here and listen to him? Ain't nobody dumb like Olo. You dumb? 
Ain't nobody stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I'd rather go get my money to Richard Hart. I'm going to be real with you. This little dude is not capable. He's not able to do this. And he's running out through this whole uh, 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 rinse, wash, repeat stuff, lying to y'all. Oh, I got a delay on this and this and this. He's trying to exp- over-explain simpler stuff. You know what's funny? He's trying to over-explain something so simple. I'm like, oh, he think he just, he think he's so smart. Well, guys, and if you don't understand it, then this and this and that. I'm like, you talking regular, they just speak regular English. You're not, and then, uh, it's because you bore people to see. <sighs> people get sleepy. You know, I'm trying to hear that fox. You know what you're talking about? Pinocchio 5X, my bad. You don't know what you're talking about? Lying. This little dude be lying. The jig is up. This is what happens. People working in law enforcement, they've seen this. This is what happens, right? You know, now you you you, you grasp it on straws, and then that circle will get smaller and smaller, right? Dude who um, assassinated Obama, Osama bin Laden, he's like, you know, his circle just started getting smaller and smaller and smaller. We knew we were getting close, right? It's getting close, um, 5X. Good luck. You better inject the hell. You better, you better inject everything you got. You better inject everything you got. And I'm going to be real with you. You might as well let pig, uh, pigs is done. That's not going to work, bro. But people, listen, all people in there who's people who had their money in there, bro. Ain't nobody in here. Ain't nobody new in here, bro. And we can go look at the blockchain because I think we now we need to start showing people proof. They, Because they, because the dude came in my chat talking about this is the best pro- pro- project ever. How is this the best project ever? Are you serious? See, I don't like idiots. Let me let me some name call. I'm just saying though. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you what are you talking about? Oh let's talk about it real quick. Somebody look at Sim. They got the little reactor working. It's oh, we're gonna get back to peg. We're gonna do it. By golly, we're gonna do it. Look at him. They trying, they try, they trying. Um, and I can appreciate trying. I, I get the effort. I acknowledge y'all effort, M. Sim. But I'm gonna be real. It's still a little club over there that I don't like. I'm not. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. Um, I don't like AJ. I don't like it. I don't care if it's. Oh, that's controversial. Some of y'all. Oh my god. I don't like AJ. I don't like him. You know why? I think AJ is smarter than what he lets off. And I think that I'm gonna be real. I think M money is created for a certain few people to make money. I'm gonna be real with you. That's why I don't like him. You know what I'm saying? I don't like them. It don't feel like it's for everybody. It, it feels like y'all, it's, it's all this. You got to be a whale to get in these projects. It, that's what it feels like. You know, money and ain't going back to Animal Farm Pigs. I told y'all, I would put a, you know me, I'm not going to blow no bank on no Animal Farm Pigs, especially if we've been waiting for eight months. I'm, about to put, I'm not putting a thousand dollars. You dumb. I'm not putting no money with this little boy. But if you don't have a minimum five to ten thousand dollars in Animal Farm Pigs, this is not for you. What the animal farm team don't fail to realize, this is how they're so dumb. They don't realize these things. They fail to realize what got them hot was not the rich people. It was the poor people that got them hot. In drip, it was poor people. It wasn't rich people. So in pigs, now you're asking for only rich people to come over here and make all these exorbitant gains after a year's time, bro. No. No. I'm, no. I, I go to my, you know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with real traditional finance if I got money like that. I don't need to, why do I need to play with this little boy? And he making all these mistakes. My thing is this. Now, let's talk about animal farm real quick. With all this stuff, right? Even after the eight month delay, he still had another delay on the delay. This is the problem. He still hasn't gotten it right. Even with the last, oh, well, we still have to wait on dogs. Nothing's ever right with this little dude. He's too allowed to be wrong. And y'all just sit here, just let it happen. Whatever. All right. Let's talk about it. Pistori. Listen, listen. Piston is trying something, and y'all know they the. I ain't gonna say culture, they culture vultures. They, they steal everything, bro. I don't know. Ain't nothing original. They had nothing original ideas since the, the dang on uh, cars. You know, that's the only, that's the last original idea they had. You know, everything else is stolen from somebody and tweaked. Uh, you know, maybe not, everybody's not a creator. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to them. They're talking about they're doing the LMS, which is, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's going to help. I think they're going to have some major issues with keeping that going, though. I don't think they have enough money. Um, and Furio has a lot more of traction and wallets and people that's behind it. Piston, don't nobody believe in it no more. And that's the thing. Nobody believes in it no more. So it doesn't matter. Oh, y'all want to do this, do this, do this. It's to get y'all paid. They don't feel like it's to get no, nobody else paid. This thing been down in red consistently for a long time. That means that that's, you know, like, I mean, do what y'all do. We, we hope it comes back, all that stuff. But we ain't holding our breath. Oh, say, let's talk about it. We got to talk about these Paul Shane boo-boo contracts or boo-boo tokens and 
keep it moving. You know that? Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Um, you know, and I'm not, I'm a leader. I'm, y'all know, I, my opinion's gonna be my own, bro. I don't listen to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Um, to me, I think Maxi, and I think that, you know, anything involving Maxi, Hedron, Icosa, Hedron, um, yeah, Hedron, all that. I think as Richard Hart goes, these contracts go, bro. This is a problem with the market and people don't, they feel in a way. Jack just came out and embarrassed this dude badly. Ricky, he looked like a stone cold crook, bro. He looked like a stone cold crook. Am I lying, bro? Ugh. All I'm trying to say is, is, you know, Maxi down 4% today. It still looked like a final four. Um, Hedron still around. I call Sa still around. This is boring now. This is boring. Um, you know, only the, the hex wheels are making money at this point. A lot of money. It's boring. It's boring. It's an old show. It's an old song and dance. We're done with you, Ricky. Um, pay people money back. I don't care about. I'm different. And we're gonna talk about the OFC in just a minute. I don't care about what nobody else thinks. I am not like nobody. You hear Muddy? My literally, I have to say this because my peers are my own. Uh uh-uh, uh, Ricky, you're a thief to me. You're a thief. That oh wait, I, I see what you was doing. I ain't like that. Mm-mm. I don't just I don't believe in you. I don't believe in you. you know what I'm saying I know. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, go back look at the old OA contract. Uh, the OA lobby. I'm sorry, the transform lobby and all the what the OA was doing, bro. That man, he don't need no hex. He got other. Anyway, uh, all right. Let me let me just go. Let me go ahead. All right, let's talk Zen real quick. Not about a hair on my Zen, Zen, Zen. Look at Zen. Um, Zen's down 50%. Expect it. It's going to keep thumping. Um, I'm not as interested in Zen no more. I told y'all, I don't care nothing about no Ethereum. Y'all dudes are dumb. You know what I'm saying? Go over there, stay over there, keep paying these people. I'm not, no. We make, this, this is what the followers don't understand. Oh, it is, it's been here the longest and all this. Who cares, bro? Ain't nobody, we're, we're making our space worse by believing in ETH. But the rich guys, they don't care. That's what they made their money. They don't know nothing else. They can't, they can't teach old dog new tricks. That's what it is. Pause Doji Doge. Oh, okay, good for them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Grizzly up to uh, 3%. Cool. Um, h is still just dying. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's talk about it. Let me see. Ooh, y'all still on. Y'all still rock with your boy. Shout out to y'all. Make sure y'all talk to me in the chat. Listen, this is a DeFi Crypto Show with Money Mo. Make sure y'all like. This is y'all show, bro. This ain't about me. You know what I mean? Y'all got to talk to me. I have stuff to talk about. I'm not. I'm just going to be a 10 show. I'll be about here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all kick y'all shoes off. Y'all want to hear this stuff, too. It ain't just me. Oh, crap. Y'all still there? I still got y'all. Okay. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad. I think the to be acting funny. Hold on. Let me get my screen together. Let me get it together. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm about to check y'all out of chat in just a moment, so I got some, some things to get to you. All right, so let's talk about it. Now, we have to talk about the bigger space. Now, shout out to all the people who pull up to just to hear about Elephant Money Farms and you know all the stuff that they like. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a contract that they like. I like Elephant Money too. Um, but you got to understand what Money Moan DeFi Crypto Show is. This is for the space, bro, for all of DeFi. Don't subject me to just one or two contracts. You know what I'm saying? Money Moan is bigger than that. And what I'm trying to bring to y'all is bigger than just that. Now, one or two contracts can be the catalyst of it, but don't. We're not stuck in one place like that. You know what I'm saying? So don't... Anyway. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Look. Now. 51% of Ethereum blocks are now compliant with OA, OFAC standards, raising censorship concerns. Let's talk about it. I'm going to get right off to this. This is the first main event. Let's talk about it. Now. I don't even got long for this. Um, Because I just need to make sure y'all are aware. This is kind of a... Make sure you're aware of something. Right? All these new people, oh, I'm going to build on on Ethereum and this and that and this. I seen new influencers talking about they get a new token, made it a month, literally less than a month ago, and still chose Ethereum. I'm like, oh, you don't get it. You don't understand what we're doing. You don't know what we're doing. Let's talk about what this means in DeFi. All right? So basically... He, he says, we reached another sad milestone. And censorship 51% means that if the censoring censoring validators would now stop attesting non-censoring blocks, they would eventually uh, form the mechanical 100% censoring chain. 
All that now, I can't stand how people just use all this smart stuff to say. Let's just keep this very simple. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it very simple. The OFAC, the Office of Foreign Assets Control, the entity in charge of enforcing the United States in economic sanctions, right? Um, are <laughs> are centralized entities that are that act as trusted mediators between block producers and block builders, right? So they're going to be the mediator. So basically, it's the government. You know what I mean? Basically, the government come in and tell block producers and get in the middle of that mess. Block producers, block builders, what's going to happen, right? In this way, all of Ethereum proof of stake validators can outsource their block production to other builders. We're learning here, right? This metric tracks how many blocks are building OFC compliant. Do the Ethereum's upgrade in POS census, the MVP boost has enabled to. Uh, enabled to a more representative distribution of block proposers rather than a small group of miners under proof of work. All right. So basically, um all y'all trying all y'all sitting here, if you have to put it in layman terms, all y'all see is what's going on is this is going to be more censored now. Ethereum, the whole blockchain, more censored. Even deeper. Let's go a step further. Right. Hopefully it doesn't get to this point. But what that also means is that just like with your bank account, right? No matter where you go in the world, they can freeze your bank account. They can now probably freeze your blockchain if you're on Ethereum, on the Ethereum blockchain. They can probably free, freeze your, your wallets. That's what this is basically saying. Basically, it's more regulation. Um, and Ethereum let them in the door for some reason. Uh, let's see what else they talk about. Um, oh, now look. Speaking of Cointelegraph, uh, Lacan Freeney of Labreeze noted that in the case of hard censorship, that it would... That would mean that no matter how long you waited, no matter how much you paid, you would never get to a point where those sanctioned transactions would get included into the blockchain. So now, nah, this is taking it even more specific, right? So basically what they're saying is if you got a sanctioned transaction, it won't even make it to the blockchain. It don't matter what you did. So if you're in DeFi or in something that the regulatory bodies are not making taxes or funds off of, right? They can sanction those transactions and you won't, it don't matter if you pay something to whoever, you're not going to get a dime from it. Is that what y'all want? All y'all ETH Maxis, let's talk. Hex people, whoever. If you're ETH Maxi, right? Nothing better than ETH you, right? Is that what you got in decentralization for? So if you choose a project that can make you some money, right? Of course there's going to be black hats and bad actors. We get it. But if you choose a project in DeFi, a smart contract, right, that can make you gains just because it's not making a governmental body a lot of gains, you can no longer use it. We're going to block that. We don't like this person, right? That person got to pay us. This is a shakedown. If you want to talk in regular people terms, this is a shakedown. This is extortion. They're extort. They're going to start extorting these black producers. These black this is the game. Why y'all think it's lobbyists in real life with, with all this political stuff? It's a game. They're trying to create a game of decentralization, and they think that Ethereum is the only way to do it. That's why CZ looks over at Binance Smart Chain look like a genius to us. No, don't let them do it. They've never fixed nothing. What have these people fixed? They break in stuff and got rich people richer. That's it. What you think they're trying to do over here? Get rich people richer. Now, if you're in DeFi, you already know. If you want to offboard, if you want to ramp, most likely you're gonna find they're gonna find a way to tax you, bro. So now you get now this is the difference because a lot of people don't know this. Now they're stepping into the blockchain. They can step into the blockchain on Ethereum. Step into the blockchain and physically say, "Hey, you muddy right there. This OX whatever. Yeah, I don't want. I don't. I don't. I don't like. I don't like how you look today." You ain't smiling at me. You ain't say hello when you came in the door. I'm gonna go ahead and, and stop you from using this um this project. Um, it's called Hex. I'm gonna stop that. So you can you not only will you not only would your funds be gone, you won't even be able to see it on the blockchain. You just delete. You hit the delete button. A blip, right? This is what just happened. This is what Ethereum is. Ethereum is no longer decentralized. It is a hundred. It's hard to say hundred percent, but it's it's centralized. Fifty one percent is a hundred percent, but whatever. It's centralized. I don't want to go through. It's centralized. Let's just put it like that. Um, ah, let's keep going. You know what I'm saying? And this is some things like again, I don't, I don't like talking about these things. Shout out to Crypto Wonder because he 
he brought this to the front of my mind, but how important this is and how important uh, chains like Binance Smart Chain is, it, it, it's, we can't speak about how important it, it, we. I can't say enough how important it is, bro. Let's just put it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've already seen. Now, they, they give the examples here. Maybe what they say. According to Library's fa- uh, page, there are currently seven major um, boost relays, including Flashbots, uh, Max Profit, BioX, whatever, all these block names, all, whatever, all these things, right? Of these seven major relays, only three do censor, only three do not censor according to the AFAC compliance requirements. OFAC compliant relays will not include any transaction that interact with Tornado Cash, Smart Contract, or any sanctioned wallet addresses as designated by the OFC. Now, I'm going to let me get to this point because this ain't, this is a little bit broader than DeFi, but y'all have to learn this stuff too. If you don't know the bigger picture, you're not going to understand why we're doing what we're doing, right? Let's think about it. Tornado Cash is the ops. A lot of bad actors are using Tornado Cash to be anonymous, get their money out and into the real world, whatever, right? However, let's say this. What do you believe in over here? I believe in decentralization. Tornado Cash is cold. It's cold. While bad things happen, bad things happen. Forget cold. Bad things happen with cash all the time. At every second of the day, bad things are happening with cash. So for... The OALFAC, the Office of Effing Our Lives Up, you know what I'm saying? Them to say that it don't matter who you are. If you interact with Tornado Cash, if you ever interact with Tornado Cash, we're going to sanction you, right? So right now, they have control over your wallets and ETH. I don't know what that means for other wallets. All I know is projects like Hex that's on ETH, right? This could be a problem. This could be a problem. Now, I don't even know. Now I got to think. Since Richard Hart was so ETH heavy, right? This is why you shouldn't be a fair weather. This is why you shouldn't talk so bad against things like Binance Smart Chain, Ricky. Ricky! You got a lot of bad stuff to say about CZ, right? But you got a lot of good stuff to say about Vitalik. Right, right. I don't even want to go there, but whatever, right? They're doing this wrong. They're doing this wrong. I'm going to be real. And then Ricky always complained about Maddie. Oh, they have an admin key that they can they can hit the button on you guys. You do too, Ricky, with the OA lobby. Same thing. You have that same thing. So don't, don't sit up here talking about Polygon. Don't sit up here talking about how bad they are. And you sit up here on this dummy Ethereum chain with a tiger who don't have a, who have no control. But they are the tiger look drugged up, bro. They have a tiger. Listen, bro. They have a tiger. They get, they give him a whole bag of Skittles full of, full of pills. It look like, bro. That little dude, something ain't right. Is Vitalik AI? Could Vitalik be AI, bro? He look like he could be AI. I'm sorry. Anyway, all right. Let me keep moving. Anyway. Getting back to this, and this is why I took time because some of y'all, oh, just talking about my contract. No, it's bigger than your contract. If you are, I'm gonna get just say Zen. Somebody just said that I spent ten thousand dollars in Zen fee. I mean, in minor fees to get Zen, right? Zen is on multiple blockchain. So you meet on the Ethereum blockchain. What the Ethereum blockchain comes out that year, it's 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 regulated. Da, 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 da. Right? Then what you gonna do? Right? Now, people in the real world feel like they're missing something, missing out on something, which they are. In crypto, they feel like it's a bunch of us, people like me, you know what I'm saying, who's too young to be that successful and whatever excuse they want to make. You know what I'm saying? He didn't go through the dues that I had to go through and didn't cross the fiery sands and some stupid, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't got to go through that. We, we don't, I had an easy button. You know what I'm saying? I had a shortcut. You know what I'm saying? We got a shortcut. DeFi is the shortcut, right? They want this. This is good to them. Now they can come over and play. You got the People that's already manipulating the stock market can come over and play. You got all these other traditional finance bad actors. See, all of us want to talk about the, the, the DeFi bad actors. Let's talk about real life stuff. You got politicians. You got every, most C, top. If you're in a conglomerate business owner, CEO and all that, and you definitely got some shady actors. Like, come on now. What are we talking about? Y'all rather trust them though, right? Give them all the control. They control the government, too. So give the OFAC, let them come on in and take our, uh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Ethereum is no longer decentralized. It's over for it. All these smart contracts, it could be over for them. What if they can cut off all your smart contracts, which they can do? They just come in and say, you know what, I'm going to delete, 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 delete. This is going to be off the blockchain. We don't, we don't, because 10 years ago, five years ago, you you interacted with Tornado Cash, we're going to go ahead and, and, and blacklist your account until we figure it out, right? You have to pay us taxes on everything that you've already taken out. They can go back and see that. 
They can retroactively go to your tax shop from old stuff, bro. This is the problem. Y'all cool? Hey, damn, it's King. And all oh, these Eve, Mother Eve Max, he's at. Y'all dumb. This, this ain't a good look. And then to build off of Ethereum at this point is even dumber. Leave this alone. That's why I'm so mad at Zen. Like, man, forget Zen. I'm B-Zen, bro. I'm B-Zen, bro. I don't care about them other people, bro. They don't know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't know what they're talking about. And then the problem is, this is the thing with me in life. You know, when you have your parents raise you respectable, you believe too much. You believe too many people. Sometimes you need to have a healthy distrust of people. You know what I'm saying? That's how money, sometimes money keep a healthy distrust. I don't, uh-uh, I'm not going to just come up and trust nobody. You know what I'm saying? It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, bro, ain't no trust in no, no, we don't want them over here. No, it, it ain't no way around that. Ethereum is officially centralized, bro. Some of y'all don't understand all that. Is okay. <laughs> don't worry about it. You know it just is it. just no. You, I know you ain't worried about Ethereum because y'all ain't trying to pay them fees anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, come on over to the good guy team. I'm liking Binance more and more and more and more. And I'm going to tell you, I like it even more that projects like Elephant Money is holding a lot of it. You know what I'm, I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be real with you. I'd rather trust the new regime than the old. They don't know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, the politicians. Did y'all see uh, Nancy Pelosi? Uh, what is it, Pelosi? I don't know who it was. It might have been Pelosi. Um, and, I, and I'm not political, so I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? But I know she was attacking crypto, and she made it into a politic thing. And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't care what side you on. That's like saying we all don't need fresh air. We all don't need clean water. Wait a minute. Crypto can help all of us. We're not going to dumb down society so this lady can have an extra $100,000 in her account and her kids can just, just screw over that money. Because that's all that's happening. Have y'all looked at the air list? Go look at the heirs of all the people who are in traditional finance. The world is changing. Stop thinking like y'all used to think. Oh, I need to go over here and buy this and this. You, you try to go play that game? We got to keep, all I'm trying to say is we have to keep this as pure as possible. All the heirs right now are Let's say there's solo acts, right? A lot of a lot of princesses, a lot of girls. The Walton, it's a lot of. I ain't gonna go with a lot of. It's a lot of them, but it's a lot of single heirs. What does that mean? What they gonna be spending all this wealth on, right? Why did their parents even do all that? Why they been uh, uh, disenfranchising people for so long to get y'all money to waste it? That's dumb. These people don't have a clue, but these are people that run the world. So these are the people y'all want to come over here and ruin DeFi. They get to choose what's right and wrong, right? They get to come put down a hammer on y'all. Oh, no, no, I don't like this DeFi project. That dev, he didn't, he didn't check in with us. You got to come check in. If you don't come check in with us, you got to, uh, we're going we, we gonna to delete y'all people off the blockchain. They can delete stuff off the, stop it, bro. They'll just take y'all money. That's what they're saying, bro. Just like in real life, bro. Take y'all money. All right, let me see. Oh, my bad, my bad. Let me check y'all out of that chat real quick, real quick. So shout out to y'all, man. Listen, I know y'all was talking about how we make, you know, pennies and dollars every day. Cool, we're going to get to that. But some days, bro, you got to slow down and, and see what's going on in this space or we're going to be messed up. And now just that, you know, and talking about um, Ethereum and stuff like that, this should, this is why you need to listen. This should heavily, heavily affect what you do with Ethereum in DeFi. Right? If I'm new, I ain't minted my Zen yet, right? I might mint one wallet is in. But other than that, man, it's looking a little centralized over here, man. I ain't it may I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting nervous about hex. It's centralized. Let's eat this. It is. So now now the hexagons think about this. Because I'm a hexagon too, right? Just think of okay. They own all that stuff. Just think, now you know how Ricky don't get along with people. Let me say this. Shout out to you, Doug. I'm gonna get to your comment in just a second. Let's talk. It's Saturday. Y'all watch the DeFi Crypto Show with Muddy Mo. It don't matter unless you hit the like. Hit the like. Hit the like. Let's say, right, that Ethereum and all these OAF, OFAC, they pick and choose who they like. Y'all know who is the most unlikable person right now or one of the most unlikable persons. Ricky! Don't nobody like Ricky. Don't nobody like him. So now you got to think. This is the truth. Because this now we got to think about Hex. You have to think deeper. Stop thinking so shallow. Yeah, some people, and this is why I love this show, bro, because we get a chance to really break stuff down and get into depth. Ain't no, we got to move on to something else. But what makes you think these same people, they don't like Ricky now. What makes you think that they're not going to say, uh-uh, that OA, I don't care what you're talking about, all this fake, you know, oh, freedom of speech. You can say what you want. 
But when you take people money, it's a different thing, Ricky. Uh-uh. You took a lot of money here. What's going on? Oh, it's not a security. It's free speech. Uh-uh. 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 You ain't, uh, ain't nobody paying for no free speech. That's free. So what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I'm trying to say is Ricky doesn't know how to make friends. He doesn't know how to politic and create relationships. He breaks them. He t- he exudes how smarter than everybody else he is. And he'll do this the same with these government people. And you got to play their game. Right? You ever seen somebody who has been in the, the, the penal system? They institutionalize. Right? They know. Not just... You know, but they know once you get in front of a judge, it don't matter what I say. It's nothing to say no more. Don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? The police pick you up. I don't care if you're guilty. It's guilty. You, you, you know, you're guilty of painting the, the wall red. You got paint on your hands, paint on your shoes, paint on your face. I, I want to speak to a lawyer. The institutionalized people understand this, right? You know who don't get it? People who never been through it. You know what I'm saying? They don't get that. They don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you, because they believe people are going to be good people. They believe they ain't been in prison. They don't know these people don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? Like they trying to catch you up. They're trying to find stuff to put more on you. You know what I'm saying? So shut up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shut up. I'm saying in real life too. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? Like don't say nothing. Let your lawyer speak. You don't have words. Your words will get you in nothing but more trouble. Same thing here. You know what I'm saying? Over in this, Richard Hart is unlikable to y'all. So what makes you think? The U.S. or uh, whoever, ain't no matter what country, is going to regulate this, not like him, and because because of the OA, right? Because all that money he got in that OA, and just say, you know what? We deem this to be unfair. We see like you have an extreme advantage over your users in this contract, and we're going to take this out. And they just wipe it out. Everything. You can't go, you can't go uh, bridge nowhere, ain't nowhere to run, ain't nowhere to hide. Ethereum is now in that range. So now we got to hope that people like Ricky. Are y'all betting on that? Are y'all betting on that? Y'all betting that people like Richard Hart? We in trouble. We in trouble. Uh, that's all I'm trying to say. Now, I might have been going too deep. Y'all know this. Y'all know I'm a thinker over here, so I might go a little too deep sometime. It is what it is. I just need y'all to understand what we're looking at here. This ain't no regular stuff. This is bad. And most people who don't know what we're talking about, they're going to just, it's going to go over their heads. You know what I'm saying? So I can't let that happen to y'all. Oh, Ted, that was one of the main events. I just had to talk about the LFAC and how Ethereum is no longer decentralized. It's centralized. So here's what it is. And to me, it's been centralized for a long time since they had, the, you know, paying these miners. Paying these miners out of my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Get your hand out of my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, y'all ain't doing that. No, 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 no. Look at, she said she like my Doug, Dougie Litton. I like that, Dougie. She said, I feel the fear your devs care about. Okay, I said that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Dougie said, if they want, the U.S. to be regulated, uh, they, if they want to be U.S. regulated, it's why it's taking time. If not U.S., they can be offshore and let it out. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Look at Kurt. Talk to him, buddy. Ooh, cut that up. What up, Kurt? Cut that up. Cut that up, Kurt. Nice, nice to see you, Kurt. Nice to see you, Kurt. Kurt be pulling up to the Elvis Money raffle parties. Y'all know we make money during the week, too. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just a weekend thing. We make money all day. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Kurt for pulling up, man. Appreciate it. Seeing you, Kirby. Y'all know also this is, Muddy, this is the DeFi Crypto Show with Muddy Mo. Make sure y'all hit that like. And when y'all come in here, man, y'all gotta leave comments, bro. And they know, oh, I'm just gonna listen in. No, say something. I can't see you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Say something. You know what I'm saying? Speak to you. Know, if you come in this house, you say something. You say, you say, speak to everybody. I don't care if you gotta go by one by one, shake everybody's hand. You say hi and bye to everybody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all good. Uh, all right, Dougie said, How many other people would have gotten in if they knew the tax would be 90%? It's crazy. Right, Dougie. We're talking about baiting and switching. Pinocchio boy has baited and switched people. Y'all yeah, know how I get into depth. I talk to people stuff for this, right? And I talk, maybe I should talk about it now. Okay, he's baited and switched people, right? And then are trying to take the old mechanics on what happened before. Is I'm talking about 4X, 5X, Pinocchio boy. He's trying to take the success of before and translate it now. But Doug, you bring up the biggest point. We're not a dumb investment group. And he's assuming that we're all stupid. Right. We didn't sign up for 90 percent. Now, we know things have to change to make projects more sustainable. That's not the issue. We get it. You know what I'm saying? All projects have to do some tweaks. So we're not going to be inconsiderate and say, oh, no, devs can't touch the project. That it, n- ain't nothing going to be completely, completely done. However. The problem is, is that the 90 percent tax is a whole different. 
I I wouldn't have automatic. I wouldn't have committed my money to nothing that's gonna take ninety percent of it. Nothing. I don't care how long you talk about waiting. I don't trust you, five X. Nobody trusts you, so that's a problem. But nobody would have got into that that farm if it's at ninety percent. You that's crazy. Ninety percent tax. Just want to hurt people so bad. Sorry, y'all know how to do it. Do not check the comments. Sorry, I'm keep it going. Just a second. Let me see. Living la vida crypto. What up, la vida crypto? No money. It's not even ETH. It's not ETH has 400K validators. Americans are still using Tornado Cash. Anyone can be a validator anywhere in the world. I got you. I got you. But the issue is, la vida, is if you, if OFAC has that power, they can come and do anything with your ETH, bro. We can still use, okay, we can still use Tornado Cash today. Cool. I'm not, I'm not saying that. But once it's on the blockchain, Levita Crypto, it's on the blockchain. That's my problem. You know what I'm saying? My that's my problem. And you saying they can't stop transactions? That I, I don't. I don't agree with you, bro. I know they can. I know they can. I know they can. I don't agree with you on that at all. Yes, they can. Don't sit here and think that they can't do that. That's I'm. I, I'm, I'm trying to tell you because if that's the case, you know why can't people hide money in real life? I'm not saying we need to hide. I'm just saying like no. The authorities that be, you know, they're like, they will come take that. I, I just disagree with you. You might believe that they can't. I don't want people to, to sit and get the, the pipe dream that they just can't do nothing to you. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, they, how do you go? But now nah, you said they'll go to jail, right? You Now, a hacker can't do it, right? But they can, though, because who's jail you going to? They jail, though. Crypto? Levita Crypto? You know what I'm saying? I, I get what you're saying, though. I get what you're saying. Um, but I think OFAC can't. I think they do have the authority. They will get the authority to stop transactions. You see what they already said about turning the cash. Even though you can still use it, now you, you know, it don't matter. You're still on a blockchain. They can, if they wanted to, they can go back and block blacklist all them, 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 uh, them addresses if they wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Also, U.S. Treasury can sanction BSC. Um, and if you as an American get caught using it, um, you're going to jail, but you can use it anyways as long as you know uh, the risk you're taking. Now, I agree with you. Now we now we agree, Nvidia Crypto. They can't. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to say what they can't do because I know what they can do. You know what I'm saying? Now, how you maneuver? You know what I'm saying is all. Now I'm rich on this. You know how you maneuver in the midst of this is the most important. That's of the most utmost important. Um, yeah, they they could try to sanction BSC. However, it's gonna be a little harder for them on the BSC side. You know what I'm saying? They have no control over there. You know what I'm saying, but I get what you said a bit of crypto. But yeah, I agree with you on that. But you know what I'm saying? It's how you're using it. You know what I'm saying? You can go to jail for any of this stuff. They, they can plant some on you for real. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? But it's how you use it. Um, and knowing the risk you take. I like that. I re agree on that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I think they I think they can OFAC can stop transactions. And not the way that we think it. I think you're thinking of it in a technical way. I'm thinking of even a strong arm way. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just I'm just saying, bro. Like they the super, they the super police, they got unlimited means and limited access to stuff bro i just don't i wouldn't keep it in my mind what they can't do i would assume that they could rather than rather than assuming that they can't do something you see what i'm saying but we on the same page you my dog levita i like that big dog i like that uh oh shout out to crypto one he said man you're much needed in space buddy salute i don't crypto one appreciate that bro appreciate that uh, let's talk about it. Dougie said Binance halted their chain. I think things can be done that nobody is completely aware of. Right now, yeah, right. good point, Dougie. And you live the all right. Binance has halted their, you know what I'm saying, chain too. All in all, I'm gonna be real with you. I'll be real with you. At some point, we gotta believe. My thing is, is I'm just not believing this old factor with ETH. That's my thing. I like BSC too. BSC, you know, people have problems with the control that CZ and them have. I get that too. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think I'm just playing one side. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I try to stay neutral, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm thinking of it long term of what I didn't see happen to my people. Like, life ain't fair. And all y'all who think life is fair, um, shout out to y'all for y'all comments. All y'all who think life is fair, y'all going to be rudely awakened. Life is, to be honest with you, life is very unfair. In this world, this life we live in, um, just like 50 said, the good die young. I ain't eligible for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it don't make sense. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I just got to keep moving with the pundits. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now, I'm running out of time. Shout out to y'all. Good conversation. Good co Cut that up. Cut that up. Good combo. Good combo. Definitely get some money more. Y'all lit on Saturday. I see what time it is. Um. All right, so what are we going to do real quick? Let's, 
And I think, man, I'm gonna have to have another show this week because we have so much to catch up on, y'all. Um, I don't want nobody to be confused about nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be very clear. Um, and I want to talk about these projects and give them the the, the just do that they deserve, you know. Um, so hold on, we're going on three hours too, y'all. So let me go through that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through these contracts. Um, I'm gonna go through them fairly quick, you know what I mean? And some of y'all be like, no, oh, money, take your time. Nah, I'm gonna go and get through them, you know what I'm saying? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into that main subject on elephant money and zen. All right, so um, y'all just hold tight with me. Let's get through these contracts. Uh, feel free to keep y'all comments coming, bro. Y'all keep me going. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep me going. You get the pe- tell you, I'm telling you, I get that feeling in me. You know what I'm saying? You get the oh, get them move your shoulder. Then you get to moving up. Hey, then you move both of them back and forth. Hey, then you got them. Oh, hey, 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 that's how it starts. Some people say, Woo, some people, like, hey, it's, where are you from? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. All right, let me get to it. Let's talk about it now. These people want to tell you, oh, let me say this real quick. Thank you. Thank you, Dougie. Thank you, Dougie. Dougie, I think you're right, bro. We got to move fast. I, I think you're right. You know what I'm saying? I might not be. Now, I'll go live, y'all. So I might not be 100% accurate with everything I say, but y'all get the gist of what I'm trying to say and what can happen. Uh, shoot, shout out to everybody with the details, though, because y'all help me. You know what I'm saying? Dougie said we got a year and a half before this gets bad, regulatory. Um, Because y'all got to think now. I ain't trying to teach none, but you got to think how the regular economic systems are working in this world, right? It don't matter where you are in the world. They're failing. They don't understand at this point how to keep economies rolling. Um, with the, we're using the same economical technology that we've used 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 years ago in wherever you are. You see what I'm saying? Most of y'all are. You see what I'm saying? So with that, you got to understand something. If you're keeping the economics behind, you're keeping the technology behind, you're keeping the education behind, you're keeping your people behind. Technology wins wars. Technology is everything. Whoever has the best text wins everything. Everybody else gets nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's literally how it is. Literally. Best tech will always win. So, just understand. Y'all know how I get on my soapbox every night. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Speaking of best tech, this is not a good example of best tech. You know what I'm saying? This is bad tech. <sighs> drip is suffering bad it's hemorrhaging it's at four dollars and ten cent um what happened let me tell y'all what happened it's a cause and effect people were waiting and there was so much lies and, and, and untruths being spread about what's going to happen when animal farm comes and how much drip is going to pump because of it all of these lies and this is the problem we said it right here on the d5 crypto show hit that like we said it here we said this we don't see we do numbers over here we don't see the numbers that back up what you guys are saying oh just believe just believe just believe right right church collection plate church collection plate we got five offers coming around just believe right this is what happens when you just believe people who lie every day they lie professionally now if they make videos every day lying to you they're lying professionally they're the best that they they get really good if you do anything over ten thousand times you're an expert at it right They've lied to y'all over 10,000 times. They're really an expert at lying to you, right? Because you got to be the dumbest fool to sit here and think a contract that's been holding, basically been on hold for eight months, right? That took a lot of people's funds. And I'm going to talk about how Forrest took some money. See, we got to go back and say how he's been stealing to keep these TVLs up. We're going to talk about that, right? I'm not here to be negative today, but I got to be honest because people are dumb. You know what I'm saying? So you sitting up here in this contract with dreams of making 365% on whatever you deposit, which the price is getting lower and lower, so you're probably treadmilling. You're, look, your total deposit and drip is going to, the UST is just going down. But, oh, I'm just doing better. Just believe. No, no. No, 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 no. And I'm going to be real. If I'm going to believe, I'm not going to believe stupid people. I ain't saying they stupid, but they stupid. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. Let me see what Levita Crypto said. He said, only OFAC compliant validators are affected. A new validator pops up every 12 seconds. On ETH, so while OPAC can censor compliant um, validators, anyone with 32 ETH in computer anywhere um, in the world can validate. Got you, got you. Let me be I got you. That's, thanks for the information, too. Um, but if you say only the L OFAC compliant val validators are affected, um, I don't care about I mean, I know we can do you know. now. I, I see where you are. Let me meet you where you are. I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're right. I'm not saying you're wrong, but what I'm I'm trying, I'm at the, just, just the next level of it. You know what I'm saying? Of when somebody don't care about none of the specifics of the new, you know what I'm saying? They don't care about none of that. No, stop that. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if the OFAC, 
only the OFAC ones are um, affected. The issue is, is that a new person that wants to deal with ETH, they're not going to, you know, it could affect them long term. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? We want to know everything that can affect the OFAC, even if it has, what is it, 51%? That's over half. You know what I'm saying? They own the company. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So I get what you're saying, though, um, but good stuff. Um, he said, our, yep, so our transactions will be processed on a slower block. Yeah, if you, um, yeah, and that's, you know, occurred about 400. Occurred, think about ETH currently 400K validators, BSC has 21. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good information, Levita. Now, nah, thank you, Levita. Thank you, Levita, because you letting us know, you letting people know, too, that our hope ain't lost. You know what I'm saying? We still have a validator, but I know what I'm seeing though, with this OFAC stuff, though, Levita. You know what I'm saying, too? I, I agree with you, but you hear what I'm saying, though. Thank you for that, though. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, So, yeah. So, anyway, so um, coming back to this, you know, we kind of stopped believing in pipe dreams and things that won't come to pass. Disney really messed y'all up. You know what I'm saying? Disney messed y'all up. Y'all think every story has a happy ending. Y'all think everybody has the possibility to be a good person. These people are just not good people at this point. They're still instructing y'all to be a part of this. Saying that the Scratchies game is going to get you rich off of this. Scratchies. That's what they said. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these things. New people coming to Animal Farm is going to help y'all. Where's the new money? We're going to look at that. Ain't no new money coming to Animal Farm, bro. That's old money. Um, But, yeah, so Drip, um, it's the worst of the CD contracts left. Because it's not supposed to be here. It should have already been dead. It's like, um, it's like a vampire that can cheat death. That's what Drip is. And they've been cheating death by stuff from other projects. We ain't going there today. It's like a vampire that can cheat death, right? The problem is, is that you align around way longer than you're supposed to be. So then things, you think it's cool at first. Oh, we just still around. We're still around. We're still around. But things start getting very in, unnatural. You see what I'm saying? Unnatural things start happening because you're supposed to already be gone in the timeline of things. So with this drip team now. The drip and well, how I'm correlating to drip is they're supposed to already been gone because they're not good coders. They haven't coded this project to be great. They've willed it to be great. They've used human EQ, right, to feed off of emotions to get people with not a lot of money, but some money to get into this project. That's what they've done on a mental level. They don't even know that. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll tell you what they did. They don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so it is what it is. Uh, but the main thing is, is you know, this is for the old heads, right? At this point, you know what I'm saying? Drip, it's been pending for a long time, but it probably won't be. And if it pays you a penny a day for a long time, do you care? Um, and I think we're at that point with it. Oh, Tay, I just I gotta stop spending my time on stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just can't, can't mess up my tea. Y'all know how I am. Y'all know how I get. Ooh, I don't play with that. You ain't gonna play with my piece now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, uh uh, you're gonna play with my piece. And this contract right here is playing with my piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, Pause, you know what I'm saying? But it is. Oh. I had to take a, <laughs> a, side, a little pause for a second because I don't even know where to start with the, like, all right. Let me just start here. Let me, it's so much here. Now, don't get it twisted. Appreciate y'all pulling up to the DeFi Crypto Show. We're going to talk about the elephant money farms. I have not forgot about you. There's just other things I want to discuss. I might have something special for y'all on that too. All right, let's talk about it. You see what's going on here, right? This is, I, I don't want to explain their contract because it's its too much to explain that you're not going to get money from. You see what I'm saying? I'm not doing all this work to explain they stuff that they don't even know how to explain to you. Ray on, the, Ray on the live last night don't even know how to get paid out. If Ray, let me say this, let me say this. It was 100 and I looked, it was like 100, 200 people on his live last night. I'm saying like, what are y'all listening to? He don't even know his own project that he's swearing by. He didn't even know. Like, look, 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 I'm going to show you what he didn't know. I'm like, dog, you're an idiot. Now, people like me, I'm cool not knowing because I got y'all. I got y'all in the chat to help me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a dummy. Y'all know I'm I'm just, I'm barely making it here. You know what I'm saying? LaVita, tell us about the, uh, all the other stuff. Everybody here helping me. Because y'all, I don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I do know this. <laughs> I said, this little dude here, like, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Hold on. Let me go to their main page. It's just so much fluffery and lying. Oh, my God. He's already spent our money on fighter pilot jet fuel. He spent our money on jet fuel, bro. This little dude playing, man. All right, man. Let me get through all this mess, man. All right. Um, 
it's too much to explain for a new person. If you knew, I'm going to be real with you. I don't care. Now, here we go with these fraudulent. Show this on the blockchain. Can you show this on the blockchain? I know they can't show this. Ain't no way, Ray. Now, now, see, this is where scratch a lie, you're going to find a thief, right? Forex can't stop lying to people. Now he's just he's stuck at doing it. So yesterday, this TVL was at 100 million. This is why we call him 5X now, because he said he had a half a billion in here. A half a billion dollars. That's what he said. Now he changed. Oh, that was wrong. That was wrong. How's the how are you getting the AI here wrong, but everything else ain't wrong? Slow down. See, y'all not asking the right questions. This is why Muddy Mo, me, listen, Muddy Crypto Movement, we ask the right questions. Forex, if you can't get this correct, the TVL has been broken. Because I know you didn't gain no 25 million, 28 million in one night. That's a lot in total value lot. So I'm, I want to know where that 28 million, it was 100 million yesterday, a couple hours ago. So where did you get 28 million in total value locked in a couple hours that we ain't heard about, that we haven't heard about? Right. This is fraudulent. Anybody who has to do this, it's the reason why he got this big and bold. He wants you to focus on this to keep your mind up for all the money you're not making here. This is a hostage situation. Ain't nobody going to go walk themselves into jail. They ask you to sit here and, and check yourself in the jail. You do the crime, just go and check yourself in. I mean, I mean, yeah, everybody going to just sign the paper. Go ahead and get you, take your clothes off. Go, on get, go through booking. They, that's what he's basically telling you to do. And he's telling you to be an idiot. Are you dumb? We don't have time for these farms. We're talking about the elephant money farm today. This farm is, listen, this is the last time. I'm not even address this no more because I'm tired of the lies. Anyway. So for 28 million, did you, he said he injected 2 million. So you're telling me 28 million, people had 28 million dollars which is waiting to go in this, in this farm yesterday, right? See, 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 I, I just, I don't like this. I don't like this. And this ain't backed by no code or nothing. This is just a number, I bet. It's a dude tripping. Piggy bank. Oh, I'm sorry. Which, which scam should I go to? You know what I'm saying? Like, because I, I'm not putting no more light on a bad farm. This is a bad farm. And if you don't think so, you're lying. You're lying to yourself and to other people. Somebody just came in my chat. He is a brave individual. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you for the bravery. You know what I'm saying? You die. You die bad. You know what I'm saying? 30, 30. You got a 30, 30. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of that, I can't get up off it. Um, but you got a 30, 30. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't come up here with that mess. We're smart people. We think. We think over here, right? I don't. I could spend a week breaking down the lies here. It's just no point to that. I, I want y'all to be in a, in a good mind space, bro. I, I really do. And this ain't going to help you. It's not. It's not. I'm in complete opposition to what they're doing over here, right? And because I'm a, now I'm a minnow. Y'all know I'm a minnow animal. I'm never put another penny here. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. They ain't never get another penny from me. Hopefully, none of my listeners either. For real, we're not the dumb ones. You know what I'm saying? But either way, I've had thousands of dollars in here in this platform, and now it's just dwindling because I'm looking like, why is it just being staked to stake to stake to stake and spread and spread and spread and spread? This is what this little dude is doing, just spreading out y'all money, staking y'all money for longer times. Now I'm just at the front running it, right? Oh, all this value lock. Don't nobody care about value locks. That's the problem. He's trying to get institutional money. But the problem is, ain't no institutional money will ever put their money with this little dude. Oh, the rewards vault. We gave a $2 million injection. This is not an injection that he put here. This is money that was already belongs to the people. Oh, let me say what this little dude just did. Hold on. Hold on. See, this dude is a thief. And I'm, it's proven he's a thief. 5X, Pinocchio, all that. Thief. Show you what he did. So now, you know people who bridged over, who was, who was stuck by him in the early parts of this contract, right? Who, after an eight-month hiatus, didn't have the, the wherewithal to, to keep up with his, 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 his Kool-Aid drinking and his, his clicks, right? They couldn't keep up with all that. They had work. They had real life. They had other products they wanted to be a part of that actually makes them money. They wouldn't, farm, they wouldn't hold out on them. So what they do, and I got to add this. So what, what he basically did, and, oh, let me show you. I, might as well, I can show you better than I can tell you. And I'm not saying this long because I'm, I'm in a positive space today. Let me get through this real quick. Shout out to y'all pulling up and rocking with your boy on a Saturday. 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 All right. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can show you better than I can tell you. Yeah. I mean, I can show you better than I can tell you, bro. I'm not out here lying to nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, see, that it's small things like this. You know, the devil's in the details of things, right? And this little dude, got a, he got a tail. If you're a poker player, you know, to, poker, poker players have tails, right? 
So if you're in the, I'm an OG, I'm an old, I'm a gray beard, right? You, I say, okay, I could have claimed my dogs or I could have just said credit it. I say, you know what? Money lost to me anyway. I ain't put no moment in here. I'm going to go ahead and credit it. So now that I'm crediting this, I get to claim this at a small 2% per day. This is the old site. That somebody don't even, I'm not even showing it because somebody don't even know what this is, right? The old site to come into this and then I have to actually stake it here, which I get to charge the fee on that. The stake, then I once I stake it, then I get my dogs token or my pigs. You know, my pigs token, right? What do I do with that? Then I have to stake that. I can spend my pigs, but I can come. You're not, you're not gonna get bad by you're gonna you're gonna do bad by spending your pigs. So I can come here to the piggy bank. Or if I get dogs, just say if I you know come into a random farm, I got my BTC, USDC pair, whatever, and I want to farm, right? If I come into here, I have to wait again. So whatever I farm in these farms, right? I have to actually. I have to actually get that reward and stake that reward so I can get a piece of that. So it's like you're working for, you went to college for four years, five years, all that stuff, and you're working for the 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 owner's daughter's 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 friend. That's what you're doing. She just knows somebody. That's what you're doing. This ain't paying nobody no money. And y'all need to stop playing with yourselves. I'm, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Pause, but y'all know what I'm saying to say. This is a weirdo contract. This little dude ain't paying nobody. Why don't you have this information available? It took you eight months to get the UI, correct? Why can't you get the dog circulating supply available? Because you don't know. Why is it, I don't know the lawyers who source? So you're going to charge me 90% on something that I don't even know what the tax is. What am I being taxed on my, if I want to take my little one dog out? What am I being, what, what is the, what's the tax? This is an incomplete project. This is how you know it's a scam. It's a shell corporation. Where's the metrics on the lawyers who score? This is a very important to people. If I don't know my tax deduction, why, the, why is the point of me being in the farms? Because I don't know when I can actually get paid for these farms. Not just that, it ain't about the farms. It ain't about making money. Let me make my money back. I'm losing 6% by getting into any farm. This is a scam, people. Do what you want to do. You think you can make money over here? Go do it and, and, and make it rain on me. Cool. You, I'll give you your kudos if you do that. But I know what I'm saying. I don't care if you're rich. That's why these guys are quiet about it. You think if their influencers was making money, they wouldn't be saying the things they're saying right now. They're making excuses. Everything's an excuse. Oh, well, you know this now. Uh, you know, we're waiting on this now. And this and this and it. It's always something, right? Oh, you know, we're waiting on scratches. You're always waiting on something. What I tell y'all, the most valuable asset in life is time. These people are not wasting y'all money. Y'all money already in it. They're wasting y'all time. Are you going to sit here and not spend your drip to wait on scratchies? Are you going to sit here and wait on these, all these investors, all this marketing money that he spent, he lied, that he's quiet about now? Now you see how first five don't talk about these invest, these influencers that he had, right? Right. Right. Uh, wait, we're done here. We're done. Is you finished or are we done? Go check out that video this week. Is you finished or is you done? You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. <laughs> we out of here. No. Um, living la vida crypto. Is that drip look bad? Yeah. 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 Look real bad. Not looking good. It's not good. Furio is drawing people now. True. Living vida crypto. Furio is drawing crypto. Let, let me go to Furio real quick and then I'm going to talk about a main event and I'm going to let y'all go. We're going to got the main event and that's it. Um, But, uh, you know what sucks? I'm going to have to come back and catch up with Zen. I don't got time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how long? I'm too long-winded, bro. It's too much to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I can't do this. Y'all see, see why content creating is not for everybody, bro. I can't get on and make no 10-minute video out of all this. You know what I'm saying? Like, how? How can I, bro? And then I'm bouncing off of y'all. It's not me just talking. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it is what it is. Um, I, Now, Levita Crypto, I like what you're saying. Furio is drawing people now, right? But I like that last word you used. And this is how I'm approaching it. Y'all can approach it how y'all want to approach it. I'm approaching Furio as a now project. This ain't a long-term project. You know why I think that, Levita? Because I don't want, you know, people will stay two, two steps behind um, if you hear about what's hot. If you hear about what's hot, you got to think. People like Muddy Moan and Muddy Crypto, when I'm not talking to you, I'm just saying in general. People like Muddy Moan and Muddy Crypto Movement, we, we are the ones who make something hot. You know what I'm saying? Furio is just hot right now to talk about because other things are going down and things like that. But Furio, and they know this. They, I think even if I had Chris on, I think he'll admit this. 
the one drawback to Furio. Now, I'm not saying don't get Furio. Get in Furio if you're smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, if you want money in the short term, get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, get in. Like, simply. I ain't trying to, no financial advice. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in it heavily. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I would not say don't get in if you need the money. You know what I'm saying? But if you're looking for long term big investors, you know, our space looks dear, different than a investor space. You see what I'm saying? Furio is going to be finding hard pressed to find sustainability, right? They already kind of messing up with the fur box. Trade have negative trading days, and that's not a good vibe for betting here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to slow down. I don't want y'all going head over heels for the next big thing because now nah, Furio's great. I'm in it. I promote it. I mean, I promote a lot of projects. You know what I'm saying? But again, if you don't make yourself aware of these possibilities of things down the road, because you know, Furio paying 2.5%, that's a very, very high tab. It's expensive. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not going to act like we're in an imaginary world, like this doesn't exist. Like, even 1.75 is a high percentage per day. Um, so, you know, we have to be very careful on, you know, what this contract is. It's helping in the short term, yes. Um, it has, now, do I think they can build towards sustainability? Oh, yeah. I think they could, um, you know, kind of build the, build the plane while they own it. You know what I'm saying? I think they could do that. You know what I'm saying? But you also have to understand that it's people maxing out every single day. So go look at the, the Doom analytics. It's a lot of people maxing out every day. Um, and, it's because of that two that two point five percent is a high percentage. So you just got to know what you're looking at when you're looking at it. Um, now we're in fear. Now I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna talk crazy now. I'm still making money in fury, yo. It's what it is. So you come make money with me, team buddy. We doing all that. Now let me talk about the squid all. Cause some of y'all doing good. And some of y'all ain't doing good. Y'all know how I like to. I like. I, I gotta talk my people through it, bro. It ain't no just oh join my team. Then I'm just. I don't even know. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, To me, oh, shout out. To me, some of y'all are, are getting this thing confused. Yes, it's a stable at 540 for now, right? They have to make sure they trade to keep that at that stable rate, but it, don't, it shouldn't change much as far as, as long as there's liquidity, right? And now some of y'all hate this because I, you know, some of y'all hate me. You know, some of y'all love me, hate me. You either love me or hate me. Ain't no in between with me. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all hate me because I, y'all, y'all feel like I'm fudding y'all bags when I'm really just giving you information on how to make better decisions with your bag. It's not a fud of your bag. You know what I'm saying? Anybody listen to me to um to to as a final yes or no on something? You know what I'm saying? Like that's not and you shouldn't either. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not what it's going on. Um, what I'm doing is is I'm giving you something that nobody else would give you. So if you're sitting here thinking. Um, that the world, the sky is red all the time. When you go outside and see it's blue, you're not going to be surprised. Don't be sitting there, oh, I didn't know how it happened. Because you're responsible to people. And people are doing a lot of different types of techniques on this team building here. Um, just understand, as a team builder, you're responsible to your team. Don't be irresponsible. If you tell them you're going to, you know what I'm saying, do what you say you're going to do. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, so now, that's the negatives on Furious. Let me talk about the goods on Furious. It's good team building. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fast and it pay good. I ain't, ugh. We forget the long term stuff for now. Let's think short midterm. You know what I'm saying? Right here, what we're trying to do with this muddy wallet. Shout out to all, and I got influencers on this team. I got regular people. This team is lit, man. Come on, join Team Money and Furio, bro, because we're gonna get this account maxed out. And then I'm gonna show y'all some tips and some tricks that nobody's going to tell you on what happens on the max account if you're underneath them. You see what I'm saying? Oh, come on, see, that's why Team Money different, bro. I'm different, bro. I'm not finna just give you 10, 5, 10 trunk a month. I mean, then uh, what is it, fur a month and then call it a day? No, no. Teach a man how to fish. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. People giving you 5, 10, 15, uh, 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 what is this, Fury all month, what does that really do for you? Especially now, if you're a mentor, that, that does a lot for you, so shout out to you. I'm talking about if you got a, 500 of these things, eh, that little bit, bro, I'd rather you give me information on how I can do better. Like, tell me about Fur Max. Tell me exactly what's going on. I don't need to be excited about something all the time. And that's what people need in fear need to understand. And in deep, I need to understand. Our influencing needs to adjust from, oh, just a happy, happy, joy, joy all the time, some Ren and Stimpy type time, until we can be happy when things are good, but we also have to recognize when things aren't good. You can't just fight through that through the through the bad days with good. Oh well, you know, yesterday we made all that money. Say, clap for that, clap for that. No, 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 oh, 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 no, oh, oh. However, I'm gonna tell you, as far as sustainability overall for you, I think it has a ways to go. I like what it's doing here right now. This is paying us. I don't even know how much this is. Um, 
let's say 20. So we, it's about $100 a day. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, some people, that's not a lot of money. But to people like me, it is. You know what I'm I need that, bro. I need all that. How many of y'all don't need $100 a day? Y'all too rich? Cool. Give it to me. You know what I'm saying? If you don't need it, give it to me. Um, But this is Furio. I like Furio. Um, the main name of the game is to compound your way to success. Furio is a time game. As long as they keep the liquidity up, it's a time game. It's not a, oh, the price is going to change game. The price, we already saw what happens with bad projects when you talk about price all the time. You see what happened to Drip? How many times How many, How many? many times have the leader of that project said that the price is going to explode? How many times have the people of that project said the price of, no. And they've all been wrong because they haven't done no math. They're just sitting here saying what they want to happen. They want to will it to happen. And it, DeFi and real life don't work like that. I can't will myself to get a paycheck if I don't do no work. You know what I'm saying? Like, how? What? How? What? Y'all ain't even got nothing coding. This dude told me he injected $2 million. What is the eight months of code supposed to be doing then? What was that? When it's supposed to help you not have to inject so much? Right. Mouth dry on. Dang, my bad, y'all. Hold on. So. All in all, let me leave this here. Furio is a good look. It's a good look. You know what I'm saying? Like, Furio is a good look. For the short term, maybe midterm, there's still some things to figure out. There's nothing wrong with that, though. Don't sit there and think I'm fudding. No. You know what I'm saying? Understand. I'm so different. You know what I'm saying? I'm so different from people y'all here in the space that you have to train your ears to hear what I'm trying to say and how I'm trying to say it. You know what I'm saying? Like, my wife, no. Like, I could yell. Not yell at her, but I can yell. And she know I'm yelling out of a place of passion. It's because I love so hard. It's not because I'm so upset. You see what I'm saying? So y'all have to understand that when I talk about fear things like that, I'm in it. I mean, Elvin Money, I talk things about it that could be changed too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to help anybody by evaluating them and giving them all A's. If everybody gets all A's, there's no reason for a grading system. Does that make sense? And that's where we are in DeFi. Every project that a, a, that a, a centralized influencer gets behind, right? It gets all A's, all A's, never, never a B, never a bad days, all A's, right? So there's no reason for reporting. Y'all just shilling fake stuff until it dies. Are y'all willing to let that happen? Let these guys just shill the fake stuff. You get a small percentage. They get a percentage of your percentage, right? And then move on to the next fake thing to shill, right? I know JVP. Yeah, he does that. All right. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Oh, it's the main event. This is the main event. Now, I'm supposed to be talking about the new tech of Zen and the new tech of Elephant Money. Elephant got them bags. Yeah. Ooh, I got to say it like that. Listen, listen. All that stuff I just talked about, I'm going to be real with you. Now, this might be my opinion. I get it. But it pales in comparison to what's going on over here. Let me break this down simply. I'm gonna practice something. Let me, let me, y'all be my guinea pigs. Let me practice on how to sell this simply. Let's talk real quick. Shout out to all y'all who just pulled up. Shout out to all you, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate everybody who pulling up, bro. This is just family, too. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, let's break it down simply. As an entire project, we're gonna talk about the farms. And as veterans in the space, we're very excited about the farms. As a project, though, you have to find ways to continuously it's sight and bring new people to the project. It don't matter what project it is, right? With elephant money, the one thing that it's figured out, and if you haven't, I want to clearly say this, and if you have questions, if you doubt, it is not, I'm not going to attack you. I just want to know what you what you think or why you have reservations still. And after you hear about these farms, why you still have reservations on a lossless, you know, riskless farm. I don't, you can get free money out the thin air. I don't, anyway. And the peg is going up. Wow. You know okay. It's just, it's just, we're getting crazy here. Elephant Money has figured out what no other project has figured out. Working on full, full, full decentralization, but close. It's the elephant treasury. People try different things. You know how people try to fly airplane, try to make airplanes, and you know what I'm saying? Try to make first off, they had the wings, they try to flap like birds and then they had the, the, the multi-layered thing. They did anything to try to fly, right? Right? Right now, you're talking against elephant money right now. You're doing anything but trying to fly. These other projects have already proved themselves to be unworthy. I'm going to be real with you. 
I'm gonna be real with you. And if you've been in elephant money, even if you've been in, let's say you let's let's not talk export, let's talk the last couple months. If you've been in elephant money, you've seen your elephant tokens rise in value. But the one thing you haven't seen is this trunk price going back up, and that's what we're on the brink of. Um, it's going up every second. People are buying it because it's cheap right now. The farms that are coming to elephant money are lossless. I mean, there's going to be no impermanent loss, right? None. Free. You ain't got to pay to get in. Or oh, it's not a 3% fee to get into a farm. No. Just come farm. Even better. I didn't even think this was going to be happening. It's even better. Cherry on top. It's paying you trunk. Not in your stampede. Not in putting in another smart contract for you. I appreciate Bank Tell on that too. It's coming directly to you in your wallet. There it is. No questions asked. No questions asked. Dial out the door. That's what we used to say. Sometimes in our little corner stores, we used to have something for like 99 cents. You know what I'm saying? They rather didn't care. They didn't dial out the door. You know what I'm saying? Like, dial You know what I'm saying? They ain't reported correctly anyway. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, but ultimately, um, just knowing what, what to be a part of and knowing what works and what's not working in space is crucial. Right now, if somebody tells you they're making money in some, some other project, you know, I, I would love to know what it is. Um, and then the biggest thing is the how. The how has been figured out here for Elephant Money. This is why this technology is already the next level. And it can't even stop there. Including the Elephant Treasury, which is making some leeways on coming back, right? You have three projects on the, this is just the trunk side. Let me talk to these three projects. You got Stampede, which is, all it is is a six. A CD, a certificate of deposit, like at a bank. Same thing, a bond, right? You have staking here, which I call my checking account. I'm gonna tell y'all why. You know what I'm saying, just a minute. And last but not least, we have a third piece that's not here yet, but it's gonna be the farms. I think the farms is gonna be the savings. It's gonna allow you to take all of your whatever y'all got in y'all lending programs and Ave and um, what is it, Venus? Whatever y'all got y'all y'all lending all y'all money in, right? This is Elephant Money has just transformed into being something bigger than just a DeFi project, if y'all didn't know that. It's transformed itself into being, um, to be real, uh, you know, a, when I say wallet, I, I know we say wallet lightly over here all the time. I mean a real wallet. Some of y'all holding 50, 100,000 BUSD just in a random MetaMask wallet. There's no reason for you not to come into Elephant Money and farm when you're going to be able to pair these blue chip these blue chip tokens. This definitely gets the money more. Bing, oh, it gets a bing. You listen. This is not regular stuff, right? I can go through and explain and, and all the the mechanics of things, but all you need to know is this: it's not a liquidity pool that's going to be coming with the farms. It's not going to be liquidity pools. It's dual staking, right? Also, every the one thing that's going to be common across all these pools are going to be um, the trunk token, which is at 35 cent. Now we saw this at 20 cent a week ago. Y'all remember? Everybody stressing, cussing me out. Money, how could you ever talk about elephant money? Because I'm smarter than you. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's pretty much why. Don't please don't don't question it. Just ride with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry. Like, I wouldn't be here if I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't I'm not a Johnny come lately, bro. Like, I know what I'm saying. Like, I know what I've been seeing. And the thing is, if you go, but even if you go back and look through the history of money mo, you'll see I've been right about I've been early on stuff, and I'm I'm the one that take those risks, but let me see right now how many views we got. We got 14 people on right now, right? Other people in the space, they put a zero behind it. They have that many people watching. I don't have a lot of people watching. That's why y'all got to hit that like. You see what I'm saying? Because all this information that could come from me, it gets muffled by fluffery. Oh, we're going to mighty leader. That kind of talk. Silly stuff that don't mean nothing to you in your life. Don't mean nothing to your kids. What we talking about over here means something to you and your kids. You can make money every day. There's nobody doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? We st now, we're trying to do that through DeFi. We haven't gotten there yet, so we're still working on it. You know what I'm saying? Baby steps. But this elephant money farm, you know, if it's not a risk, is this going to be zero risk for y'all. Zero risk. So if it's not a risk to get in, I don't I don't understand why people hate. I Maybe I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Um. Jono said, any thoughts on the upcoming ARC project? Ooh, Jono, thank you. My bad. I mixed you and Lou up. Jono, 
What's up with your fantasy team, bro? You've been getting smashed, bro. You better go change your team, bro. I'm telling you, I'm just saying. Um, okay, the Ark Project. I have had an opportunity to read to the Ark Project. Um, oh, I'm definitely, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely probably jumping in. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of this space. So um, people, you know what I'm saying, be hating, but the main thing is, is how I see it, projects like the Art Project and other projects. I'm not going to get into it today, Jono, um, but thanks for bringing it up because I think somebody else has some questions about that. Um, but projects like these that's in the space, um, you got to understand, if we sit on our laurels and we say, oh, we got everything figured out, we're never going to keep advancing. So I want everything to be pushed, even Elephant Money. Banks want to be pushed too. You know what I'm saying? Like he's been kind of in, in, in the land of his own. Ain't nobody creating nothing. Everybody else copying. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, so I like I like what I saw from art. I did read the white paper a little bit, or what they had of a white paper. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I don't. I think we might be doing that, John. I don't know. I don't know. Again, as other projects go out the space, even though to me, in my opinion, you got projects like Elephant Money that is on a different level than these other projects. We still, we still regular people. You know what I'm saying? Now, whales, they don't like that. They don't like that. You know what I'm saying? They want to pick one project, stay in. You know what I'm saying? Us. We vultures of this game. We about to get it from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what y'all got over there. We coming over there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like with a kid. You know what I'm saying? Some Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? So you, who cooking over there? Who cooking? Who cooking? Oh y'all got macaroni over there. Okay, we're gonna be over there about five o'clock. Okay. Oh y'all got. Oh y'all. Oh y'all fried a turkey. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be over there about four. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's the same thing. How it is in DeFi. There's no reason to choose up unless it's bad projects. Now, I've looked into art. I'm gonna look more into it. I'm gonna get a little bit more strict on what we're getting into. But I, again, I have took a look at art. Thank you for saying that, Jono. I have taken a look at it. I think we're going to take a look at it uh, going forward. Um, and if anything, if y'all just love whatever, if you just love Animal Farm, if you just love Elephant Money, whatever you love, right? You, what you need to do is you have to keep getting new, uh, getting new updates, getting new downloads, right? Your phone, your computer always tell you keep upload, upload, download, download. You got to get new updates on what's new because maybe your project might be moving towards the older side. Maybe your dev might need your help. You never know, you know what I'm saying? But you have to be aware of what's going on. We're not gonna act blind to everything. It's, oh, it's just my project. Oh my god, I don't see anything else. It just doesn't work. Yeah, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's never worked for anybody. What up, dude? D said. Hold on. D said, what can you do if a dev block your wallet because you had too many tokens because you came early? It's a very new project that went up a little. Um, so I got trapped in a honey pot. Oh, D. Yeah, that sucks. The honey pots. Um. You can do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the dev, that's his, that's his code, that's his project. It really sucks. And now, you know, you say he said too many tokens. If it's not like a forex situation, it's like a five, it's like he would do. You know what I'm saying? You can't beat me. Stop. Pause. 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You have more money than me. No. No. What? Boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your lame. But yeah, it sounds like that happened. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's anything you can do about it. Now, um. Dude, this is the problem with decentralization too. It we have to trust sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And this is why we got to make sure we pick the right projects because if we trust the wrong people, they gonna just do this. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like in real world, you know, we look for track record. You know what I'm saying? What, who have you worked with before? Like what have you done? At this point, some of these dev teams need to start interning with other dev teams, and that don't happen because it's, you know, all of them think they got something special going on, but they all are just copy and paste and editing. They all doing the same thing, unless you like bank teller, which you're creating your own new stuff. Well, most of them not. Most of them just copy and paste. You know what I'm saying? Like, just want to make money because they know how to copy and paste. So, um, all that's to say, D, um, it sucks, bro. I, I, don't, I hate, you know what I'm saying? People even act like that. Um, but yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if it's too much that you can do. Um, unless, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Not your keys, not your crypto. So, they got your keys. Dang it. Oh, got your coins. Dang it. It's oh, just bad people. You know what I'm saying? I hate that, D. But uh, D. I know you're over here in Elephant Money. Come on, you're in the right place now. Why? Clap that up. We're in the right place. See, 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 see. We all make, see, see. We all have little, little hiccups that we got to get through, little, little obstacles, right? But it's where you end up. That's what matters. You know what I'm saying? Dougie said, the money don't lie. Fio is financially way better off at five months. The drip was at five months. Right. The taxes are crazy at 0.5%. The devs are doing this right. I agree with that, Dougie. I agree with that. Yeah, Fury was way better off financially than Drip ever was, bro. At that point, you're right. At that point, right. Um, now, Drip did have a pump, and that was due to marketing, which happened, at, I think, at the six-month range. Um, but either way, the money, you got to – the money the honey, Dougie. You know that. The money is the honey. You got to follow that money. And the money's at Furio. It's not no Drip. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody – 
I, I don't even see new shields with drip. I hope they're not shilling drip. That's that just be sad. You know what I'm saying? Look at Doug. I just look at the money. Doing analytics shows the story and plays it out. Thank you, Dougie. Yup, we got doing analytics. Now, doing analytics is basically where community members can create, you know, ways to an, an, analyze. There, what else? The word I said it right. Analyze different DeFi projects in the space. Um, and it's a big, big, big um advantage to use Dune. I use Dune every day. So shout out to you, Dougie. Yep, good stuff. Oh, Tay, let's talk about the farms. Let's talk about the farms. If y'all want to know more specifics about all these elephant money things, go check out the elephant money raffle party yesterday. It was fire. You know what I'm saying? I, I went through all this. You know what I'm saying? We went through strategy too. On here now today, I just want to tell y'all why this is the be best tech now and moving forward, right? Because I know y'all excuses. I know. You know, the most dangerous people in the world is, you know, when I know what move you're going to make, you know, for, so that's why I ask, I always ask, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do you think? What do you think? Because I know what people think about elephant money right now. You know what I'm saying? And I know what they say they think, and I know what they really think. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at the position now where I see this, this dev over here is doing everything to keep y'all making money, bro. These are the projects. Y'all have to rely on dripping Animal Farm right now. Just imagine, we had to rely on Animal Farm. Y'all been waiting eight months. We had no other projects. Bank Teller quit. He said, no, nah, I'm done. Because now y'all got to think, it's the Money Crypto Movement. Shout out to the Money Crypto Movement. We made Bank Teller so mad. He said, I'm going to go cold. And that's what he did. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real with you. Because we were holding him to the fire. And he's a real dev. So he took that as a challenge. Challenge accepted. It wasn't the other way around. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to be real with you. You're not an enemy to me to tell me I'm wrong. I appreciate that. Because you might be wrong, and it might, it might be a disagreement, but whatever the case may be, I need to know about it. Anyway, simply put, I told y'all. Now, before I say this, go to the link tree. Elephant Money, wallet address, with the farms. The Herd Partner Network is not MLM. Shout out to Bank Teller. He, he don't want to do MLM. And I, and I get that. This is his own partner network that he created, right? Um, it's the first mover for this type of partner network. What this partner network does, and as users, y'all going to love this. This is why and you see Team Muddy. I show my team every time, bro. This team just been growing. You know why? It's because I'm coming back and I'm visible with my people, and I tell them what's real about what's going on here. You join this partner network, you're going to get 0.5% on all your roles and my roles are here in Stampede. That's it. It's what it is. It's what it is. You get more. You just get more. You can also leave this team at any time and join another team. But this project is not a, a MLM project. So you think, oh, I'm going to make my own referrals. It, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make more by actually participating and really being a part of this with me. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all the 39 people. We've been growing. Shout out to everybody who just joined. Um, that wild address is in the description below. What The reason I, I'm taking some time to emphasize this is because Bank Teller has found a way that with these farms, you're just going to connect with the part of the network. Now, why is this a good thing for y'all, right? I'm going to tell you why it's a good thing for you. It's a good thing for you because you're going to get, a, be a, first be a, be a part of a team, which I'm going to do random airdrops anyway, but I don't like to talk about that. People in my groups, people that's on my teams already know I don't say nothing. I just randomly do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be like, dang, thank you, buddy. Yeah, it might not be a lot, but it's going to be something. You know, I'm going to keep something for my people, right? The biggest thing is you're going to be getting extra for doing nothing and extra off of me. And even, and then you know, I'm gonna try to keep growing this because I'm showing it publicly, right? That only makes sense. I don't want to show the people $100. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it going. You know what I'm saying? So, is it is. Um, so, that's one point. Um, so, that's, you know, to me, that's a small piece. The bigger piece is her part of the network because y'all worried about a team leader that's willing to jip y'all, that's want to steal from y'all and just take y'all referrals. Again, Bank Teller is kind of smart for this because as a team leader here, I have to kind of be bought in. It ain't no, I get all y'all referrals. I get 10%. I don't have to, have to talk to y'all again. It ain't like that. You actually got to keep up with your people because, they again, they can leave teams. But the biggest thing is, as a team leader, I don't get paid directly in trunk or elephant directly in my wallet. I get paid through Stampede. You see this? You see this airdrop? That's how I get paid as an influencer or whomever as an influencer, right? So this is forcing me as an influencer. Now, as a user, y'all y'all going to love this because it's influencer and whoever you get under this is they have to have buy-in, right? So now I gotta have some buy-in here. I can't just, you know what I'm saying? I, I have to make sure I'm bought in as a as an influencer. So I gotta stick around. All I'm trying to say is with these new farms, it's just an added piece that nobody's gonna give you. I'm gonna give y'all extra information. With this added piece with this farm is 
yes, you can get in with the farms and you're going to do well up to 100% APR, up to that, right? However, what you need to understand what's going to give you an extra advantage is being under an umbrella so you don't get rained on, all right? Trunk is a dollar. Let's just keep it playing. Trunk is a dollar and you're sitting here making 32% of a dollar and 30, all these different percentages on your dollars is what it is. But I, again, I like how it's keeping me as an enforcer because y'all know I'm, I'm an honest enforcer. I show my drip airdrops. I show every single project I have airdrop people in. Y'all know how I'm just different. You know what I'm saying? I'm matched you like this. Though. Other people are not people like that. You know what I'm saying? But making your team leader bond in. I, so whatever. I, just say I had to bond 10 or 11, whatever. Just say I want to bond in here. Hey, come on, bro. Just say I want to bond in here, right? After I bond as a team leader, it's going to basically get me... Um, Get this airdrop will go into my bonded amount. All right. So basically, all I'm trying to say is, is this is just for the people. If you're worried about a team leader, oh, oh he ain't gonna join team, but he's gonna steal from me. I ain't nobody steal from you, but you're gonna probably do worse on your own trying to refer yourself. That's all I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's a real partner network, which really gives you an advantage to be a good team leader. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people are not gonna take the time to tell y'all how that works, but this also works with the farm. If you put it, so if I put a hundred thousand dollars in the farm, right? You you on the team, you might get a little piece of that. If you put a hundred thousand in, yeah, come on, team money. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep growing these bonds and showing the people how to how to get more money. I'm trying, I'm not trying to talk to y'all who listen right now. Y'all already in, you know what I'm saying? Because I've already, you know, piqued y'all interest a little bit. I ain't worried about y'all. I'm worried about your mama, your brother who hate crypto, who don't who think you dumb. I'm, I'm worried about your dad, who all he worried about is his pension. He don't care about nothing else. I'm worried about them. I'm trying to help y'all find a way to get them into this because you're going to already be rich. Congratulations. you in the right place. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, I'm not saying with this country. I'm just saying in general. Y'all, you're pretty smart to be here, right? It's helping the people who don't have a clue, who don't believe you. That's what it is. And because we love them, you know what I'm saying? We'll take the time to come down and play in the mud with you. you know what I'm All right. Um, so, yeah, so that's one thing I do like about the farms. It's, happening. it's going to have to hurt partner connect. Partner network, team elephant money is going to be connected um, and all that. Now, one thing I need everybody to understand, there's no lies going on over here, so I don't want you to expect something greater than what it actually is. On Stampede, which is the perpetual bond, which perpetual means what? Do you, do you, do you, dictionary, it means forever, right? Forever, so it's the last forever, in perpetuity. This APR is down, right? It's supposed to be 205%. Let me say this. The point of this site, the point of all of Elephant Money, the how you're going to make main gun money every day, in which this shouldn't end as long as you're rolling, so you should be able to make some funds every day. Now, I'm going to say how they get paid off, because some of y'all were, how, do, how, do, how you going to you pay me every day? I got you, right? This is why this is better DeFi, better tech than your favorite project, right? But going back to this, the APRs is going to be peg adjusted. So on the farms, the maximum that you can get on the, I think it's the Trunk BUSD farm, which I think is the most X's, most multiples is going to be, I think it's 102 point something percent. However, while it's, it's peg adjusted, so while we're under peg, which I don't think we'll be under peg for long, you know what I'm saying? But while it's peg adjusted, this is why it's better DeFi. Ain't no injections. You know what I'm saying? This is just better. It's just, it's just better smart guy stuff. It's just nerd stuff. I like it. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm a DeFi nerd, bro. I am the DeFi nerd. I don't care. Do something. Do something. I like this stuff. So what? So what? Sue me. All right, don't sue me. You know, don't sue me. Don't sue me. I'm just playing. Um, but anyway, it's all going to be a based upon this peg price, right? The main, I know y'all two complaints. It's been two major complaints that y'all had about the elephant money ecosystem. After I talk about it now, I'm going to get behind this and we're not talking about nothing but good stuff, right? The first thing is y'all, oh, the peg is gone. The peg is gone. People who've been, like me, been around since day one in this thing. Some of them still carry over lingering stuff. We're not letting that carry over because they can come make their money back in the farms if they want to. So they now they have a choice, nothing to talk about. Ain't nothing. We got a function. This peanuts. Now let's talk about peanuts. It started right here on the DeFi Crypto Show. Ooh, y'all know that. This peanut started right here. Yeah. Bank teller pulled up on us. He don't pull up on us anymore. No you know, he's his business. You know what I mean? But it's all good. Um, but no, um, but this peanuts is where you could take BUSD, right? And come directly into this stampede that is important to you. If you want to make long-term gains, how many of y'all want to make gains, make $100 tomorrow and be done? How many of y'all would want to make $5 for the rest of your life every day, right? Or the rest of the year, whatever. This is what this is doing. Perpetual, this 
the, the point of all this is for you to get into these bonds to help yourself over a longer period of time, right? Contract health. I don't want to confuse nobody, but let's just let me just put it like this. Trunk gets back to pay, redemption gets paid out, you know. BUSD, all this stuff goes up, everything looking good. The elephant treasury is going to continue to rise. You know why? Because what's going to become more popular? People are going to get their trunk, get the farmer. Cool, it's cool. All right, it's cool. They might even come up to the bonds and stake it. That's cool. It's always going to be something else they're looking for. And we already got it. See, most projects, y'all have to slow down and understand what a development team is doing in DeFi. They're creating separate smart contracts, right? If you're looking at this page, it's just a UI, right? Of in a simple way, is is pointing those smart contracts to be shown here. It's multiple of them in this alone, right? So, you know, all these different smart contracts, there's like, how many of them in here? It's so many of them. You know what I'm saying? Just, just understand that and understand what these people are doing. I see you, Wolfpack, pulled up. And shout out to y'all on a Saturday, bro. I'm going to let y'all go in just a moment. But these are the things that we have to talk about because I want y'all to be ready. I don't want y'all to be sitting up here and not knowing what's going on. And when it starts moving fast, you just be confused. So anyway, everybody's always looking for the moonshot. So the farms are going to come. You're going to be able to stake BTC with trunk token, ETH, BUSD, all your major favorite tokens, including BZN, which I'm not going to go in depth in today. But all these tokens, you'll be able to pair with the trunk token that was at 35 cent. So basically, right now, it's at a discount for you and yours. Get the discount. It doesn't make sense not to. Now. That's going to max out of the dollar. You'll get your dollar. You'll get your dollar. you get your dollar. It's going to pay you out. The biggest, one of the biggest things that people are going to forget about is why we are here. You got to remember your why. If you don't wake up every day and recite in your mind, know your why or see your why, then you're going to be lost. A why within this contract is to get the supply shock hit because it don't, peg ain't going to, all that ain't going to matter. I ain't gonna, I'm going to be real with you. You know, the farms don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? It might not even matter if, if birthday get up because I'm going to be real, but you're going to want to do Stampede anyway. Yeah, I'm get my money out, but whatever. You ain't going to care no more. You're going to have so much. All I'm trying to say. Key I've been doing is come over, come on, join Team Elephant Money, and then come over and buy you some um some some elephant tokens. Buy with Bertha, you're going to get a higher percentage. The key is a B. How soon can you get a B? Does it take you a day? Does it take you a, a, a month? Does it take you a week? Does it take you a year? Get a B as soon as you can. That price is going to have a supply shock on it due to the mechanisms. I told you all that new DeFi. Let's talk about it. Due to the new technology and the new DeFi that's behind this smart, this ecosystem of smart contracts. All right. So I don't know. Bank Teller have to tell us how many smart contracts it is actually here. I know it's three to four, I believe. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. The farms are going to blow things up, but do not forget about Elephant. And let's look at the price real quick. Yeah. So the the price of elephant it went up a little bit. It's been a couple of sell-offs, but the main thing, another main thing about this whole ecosystem is looking at the liquidity, bro. Look at the look at this liquidity. It's real liquidity too. And they don't, oh the, the I ain't never no, it was you know it's funny. I ain't never seen the uh I ain't oh, I ain't never seen that happen over here. I ain't never seen oh well this is showing a uh 97 tree now it's showing 108. I ain't never seen them kind of problems. Little dude be making problems. Anyway, all right, let's get back to it real quick. So last thing about these farms. So again, let me be very clear about these farms. There's no reason for anybody not to be a part of the farms. If you hold anything on the Binance Smart Chain, you can basically make some gains. The main thing is getting your trunk. To me, you want to get more trunk early. I think I bought a little bit. Let me see. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure you get your trunk early. You also want to get your BUSD. I'm going to show you a little trick of the trades, like a little extra, little extra little muddy tip I'm going to give you. Um, and then I'm going to let y'all go. Um, don't a couple tips to the wise. Don't expect the max APR. We don't expect to get back to peg. So I would expect it to be real. Even on the trunk BUSD pair, I would expect like, mm, I would say max about 50% APR, what you would get. So that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Don't over exert, exaggerate on the APRs. It's not going to be stupid, 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 crazy. We still got to get the peg up. It's still peg adjusted, which is just smart people stuff. All right. Another thing. Don't forget about elephant. Don't forget about elephant. Another thing, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. It's going to be better for you to get under a herd partner network. Now, some of y'all ain't going to believe me. Oh, I know he's lying. I'm going to do my own. Cool. Do your own. Let me know your results. Let us keep us I'll carry you rich. It's, it, let me know your results. You Because I'm going to tell you, it, it don't matter. Let me know your results. If not, if you want to make some extra gains and just understand what I'm saying, 
And now, also, even if you do choose yourself, you can always, always change teams. So you try it out for yourself and then come on and check it out. You know what I'm saying? See, see how little it works. I've tried, trust me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here by experience. I'm not here just telling you something I don't know. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but either way, um, get under the Her Partner Network. Come on in the link in my link tree and add that. It's going to help you um, to be able to earn more trunk every day. Trunk is going to be a stable, y'all. It's going to be back at a dollar before you know it, and it's probably not going to leave that. So just understand what you're looking at when you're looking at it. So you're going to have all these farms. What else? What else? So it's lossless. Lossless meaning no impermanent loss. It's permissionless, meaning that you control it, right? What else is this farm? Um, oh, it's also paying direct rewards into your wallet, not into... Oh, you got to release it? No, 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 no. Direct rewards. You know what I'm saying? Also, another big thing about this farm, because I don't know when it's going to come out, so we got to be prepared, right? There's no kind of, and I, I wish I had a visual. I don't have a visual, but I'm just going to talk y'all through it. There's no kind of, um, ah, uh, dang, this is no taxes. I'm forgetting something. It's no, I forgot. I slipped my mind. It's so much. See, I see it so much. I done forgot more than they ever learned. What you don't know make your home a permanent. Oh, I done forgot more than they ever learned. Real talk. Oh man, it was one last point about the farm. I've been going for hours, y'all. So y'all know what time it is. Um, it'll come back to me. Check me out in the Telegram in the link tree. Um, but yeah, so the main thing about the farms is making sure. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Um, about with the farms. You know, the main thing is making sure that you have something somewhere to go with these gains and making sure that you're building upon something. There's no reason not to take your rewards in these farms and say, hey, I earned this from the elephant the ecosystem. I might as well buy elephant token. I don't need all this. Also, another thing that I like to do, and this is just a muddy thing. I can't show y'all when it comes out. I'm going to show y'all all the above um, because I got to go in a second. Um, is adding LP. This is one of the biggest secrets to the game that i've been doing it for years and people don't know what's going on so once you have in our case we don't have an lp pair it's going to be dual staking if you need more explanation on that i can explain that but what you're going to have is you're going to have an opportunity um just say you get your rewards from a trunk busd right you stake both of those tokens equally and you're getting just say 100 rewards whatever right what you could do is yeah you could sell that and get your cash and you know go have a ooey good time or, or let's flip that coin over. Let's flip the coin over. What else could you do? You could buy elephant. You can come into stand. Uh, you can. There's so many different options here that you can do immediately. There's no waiting time. There is no. We hope that this happens. The one thing is you got to hear what these devs are talking about. Now I wish Bank Teller gets more visual. I hope he he will get there soon. He just do the code for now. But other than that, you hear certain devs make promises after promises after promises and have no way of backing it up have no math and no code they inject things that's not what's going on here with elephant money you can build your lp that's the third thing that you can do you can get your rewards from these farms right split that directly in half and go right back into the lp so what that's doing is building basically how much you're holding in your wallet over time you some people don't need our reward i don't need no extra ten dollars today I would like to see that go back in here so I can make more money. I make $11 next time. All right? So that is the elephant money farms. There's going to be a lot of money more content. I told you I planted my flag in the mud. I don't care if y'all like it or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if y'all like it. I don't care if none of y'all like it. You know what I'm saying? I planted my, my flag in the mud. I know what I'm seeing with the technology on this project. It's extensive. It's great. You know what I'm saying? Next time, y'all know I, I really wish I had some visuals. You know what I'm saying? But next time, I might be out. You know what I'm saying? I might have visuals next time. So um, it's all good. Oh, my goodness. I got a new person. I'm going to take the time for you. I appreciate you pulling up. Now, my um, OGs moved out. It's too long for them. You know what I'm mean? saying? I got something to do. On Saturday. It's all good, bro. I got time for y'all. What up, Wolfpack? Shout out to the Wolfpack, man. Wolfpack said, here in the movement. Okay, yep, yep. Shout out to you, Wolfpack. Okay, Cody, what's going on? Hey, bro, I got time for you today, Cody. I got time for you. Ain't too many people on. We just me and you kicking it, bro. I'm kind of new to this crypto stuff. Ah, Cody. I like this. See, Cody, you're in a position right now where a lot of people who, if you type crypto into YouTube or something like that, you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff that you won't come to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy you're here, Cody. You kind of know, so let me explain. Let me go back. And this is for Cody. So this is why I do this show, and I appreciate you pulling up. This is why I do it on Saturday, too, so you can have some time to 
invite your friends who don't know about this stuff, right? So, Cody, let me kind of keep it clean. And make sure you're talking to me. Your early 20s, Cody, that's even better, bro. Even better. Um, okay, you said you've seen tons of people making passive income. Good, good, Cody. Let me let me talk you through this because what I do here is we do make passive income. We make it specifically through DeFi. And you said you're here in your early 20s. We need you, Cody. We need people in your age bracket to get it lit on a TikTok and all that and to know what this is, right? Because y'all are the future. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like these old heads that don't want y'all to have nothing. I want y'all to have something. You know what I'm saying? So you're in the right place. I got you, Cody. Uh, let me see your last comment. I'm, I'm going to go into something real quick. I've seen tons of YouTubers make it passive income. Very good, Cody. But now you got to understand and what you see is sometimes is a mirage. Not all of them are making that passive income direct. Let me talk you through this, all right? So the easiest thing for you to do in the description of this video, um, because you're just getting started, because I don't, I don't want to go through the whole boat with you, but in, in the, just the things, the way you understand people to make money in crypto, let me pull up this screen for you. The way you understand people to make money in crypto is to buy and sell a crypto, correct? And I think that's what you were kind of referring to which is cool. That's how typically how the stock markets work, right? So there is that aspect onto crypto. However, the extra aspect onto crypto that with me, Money Mo, my, my group, the Money Crypto Movement, what we focus on is what exactly what you said, the passive income. We don't have to spend our principal. We don't have to wait on somebody else to buy or sell anything. We make passive income every day without anybody's assistance, anybody help. You see, you see what I'm saying? So now here's the markets of, I think, what you're saying, too. Don't you have to buy a token and then wait for it to go up and sell it? That's called trading, and that's the purest form of this kind of market. Yes, that you're not wrong there. Again, none of the projects that I've talked about today, none of the projects that I talk about getting a lot of gains in, that we get gains in, well, you see in this top 10 here. Now, you might see you might see BNB as a new person, but it don't mean nothing to you. It's just a regular coin to you. But this is, it's like a whole new world. You know how they said it's aliens everywhere, right? It's like once you see that, your mind has to adjust. This is a whole new world. We use the Binance coin. We use Ethereum too, but we use Binance and all these different type coins for Matic, Polygon right here. We use these coins and combine them with devs, combine them with smart contracts that do work for us. So, Cody, what work are they doing for us? The work that they're doing is the work that a bank would do for a banker, right? In a bank, basically a banker takes all these money, moves them around, and tries to make a dollar at the end of the day and then have your money when you want it to and give you a little bit on the top. Not a lot, but a little bit. Over here with passive income, you're allowed to take, just say you had $100, right? Your $100 of principal, right? You could take that $100 and make another $100 and still have your $100. That's passive income. That's what we do in DeFi. Crypto. You you went down the rabbit hole. And you ended up at the perfect place, bro. This is like the perfect landing spot, Cody. Because I'm patient. You know what I'm saying. So I want to show you these things. However, I don't have time to do it today. So you gotta rock with me, Cody. And you know, I've been talking for four hours already. You know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate you pulling up. That's why I do the D. This is the D five, Cody. Hit that like and tell a friend to tell a friend. Gather all your friends. I'm gonna tell them exactly what to do to start learning about this stuff because it's going even better, especially at your age, Cody. Um. To have peers, girlfriend, got boyfriend, whatever you got, to know about this stuff too, even if y'all don't have the money. Because what y'all, y'all age bracket is gonna be, y'all gonna be the future developers. Y'all gonna be the people who saw this old stuff. Like you're gonna be the, you're gonna be, you know what, Cody? You're gonna be the future money. I was you, literally, literally. I was able to retire from my job in my early 30s because of this. I was you, Cody, in my 20s. That look at, I would know it was something. Right now, I was early crypto. I was in it was 2000, early 2017, so it was early for me. You know what I'm saying? But I knew it was something. You know what I'm saying? It was just like it's something here. You're in the right place, Cody. Now I have resources for you. Um, again, I can't. It's gonna be hard for me to get to the, to the end point today. Um, but if you pull up the DeFi Crypto Show, we have this multiple times a week. I also go live, bro. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like because again, you know. Now also, what's special about here is we're like the we're like the official underground of DeFi, you know? Um, we got people who've made, who've made or who are making a lot of money, um, but we're just not as seen as those other crypto influencers that you've seen. 
Um, so you know, it is what it is, Cody. I like I'm gonna just make you this con let me give you this uh information and then make sure you stay in contact. All right, because I, I can't that's all I can do is give you the information. You got to make sure you stay in contact. We'll walk you down how we're making gains every day. 100 200 300 dollars a day what you, what you want how much you need 500 dollars a day all that you can it can be possible over here so cody what i need you to do in the description of this video i got my link tree go ahead and hit my link tree you see all my social media what you need to do is the first thing is you'll see stuff there but join that telegram it's all the way on to the right get telegram on your phone join telegram um, and then that'll keep you um, abreast of what's going on. And then I can communicate with you. It's a whole bunch of people in there. We're here to help you out, man. So come in there, ask your questions. We might have to start from scratch. I I got some some footage I can give you, but I, I ain't got time to do it right now. You got me? Shout out to you, Cody. I appreciate you coming on. Saying, man, I'm trying to learn. I've researched all this stuff. It's cool. You might have done a lot of research, but they don't probably make as much money as we make. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. You're in the right place. I got you, bro. Come on, join the Telegram. All right? The rest of y'all, man, y'all know this is the best place to be. It's DeFi Crypto Show. Hit that like. Y'all know what we do, man. We talk about DeFi, how we make passive gains every day. All right? Uh, Cody said, can I use Telegram without a telephone number? No, you can't, Cody, but you can hide it. So all you got to do is create it on Telegram. Um, create your, um, your Telegram uh, thing on your phone. It's easy to do. Create it. Um, uh, but then you just hide it so nobody see it. Like, no, 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 no. And then I'm I'm be real with you, Cody. Everybody on, I don't know they know no they real phone number. Everybody got it blocked. You know what I'm saying? So everybody got their phone number blocked. So it's nothing personal. Good question. And Cody, you know what? You just helped me because that question is what somebody new would think. Oh, I ain't trying to give everybody my phone number. So thank you, Cody, because you just helped me teach the next person about Telegram and what they have to look out for, because that's a common question. People helping people, this is what we do. Listen, y'all heard everything we talked about today. Pull up on us next week. We got more content coming, bro. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, everybody in the Muddy Crypto Movement. We move then. Listen, in DeFi, you alone with your wallets. You alone, right? However, you're not, though. It's not a solo spot. I don't agree with that. I, I hear people saying that, but it's not. Because you know why? Because you can't get information on your own. You can't. In the Muddy Crypto Movement, we're alone with you. All right? So make sure y'all pull up and get more information, and, you know what I'm saying, and, and talk to your boy. All right? Y'all want to hear more? Stay tuned. Beep.